In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Good morning and happy Sunday on this wonderful Sunday morning. What a lovely day it is and um, pleasure to be with you at the weekend. I'm not normally here at the weekend, but I've done a little swap, see. So I've got the pleasure of spending Sunday morning with all of you. And I'm quite excited because we've got a lot of bargains today. This first hour that we've got, 25% off amazing designer fabrics. And then we've got Yarn Lane today. In celebration of Yarn Lane, I've got my new jumper on. Um, I'd like to say I knitted it. You can't see the cow, I have to stand on tiptoes. Look, it's got a cow. Um, I'd like to say I knitted myself, but of course I didn't. Of course I didn't, it's machine knitted. But I do, it does like, if you've got a, um, a jumper with a picture on, send me a photo. I'm, it's my latest passion is jumpers with pictures. But I like this because it feels sort of springy, doesn't it? But I said, I need a box so you can see my cow. But anyway, welcome to the Sunday morning show at Sewing Street and we have got some wonderful things. But we're going to start, first of all, let me just mention the quilt behind me. <gasps> now, if you were with us um, a while ago, we did row one with Anna from um, Alice Caroline's All Liberty Fabric. I mean, how beautiful is that? All of it. It's EPP. We love a bit of English paper piecing. It's all using Liberty fabric and it is absolutely stunning. So we've done row one first and today Anna's going to be demonstrating row two and three with us. But if you haven't, um, if you missed out on row one, don't worry, we have got a few of those kits. If you've never done EPP before, Anna is going to take you by the hand and walk you through from the beginning how to do EPP to make this beautiful quilt. Anyway, that's later, that's at 10 o'clock. Let's start off with the early birds. So we've got a special deal for you today with um, what I love about the, when we do these early birds. This is one of these sort of utility materials that makes a massive difference to your sewing life. It's bosal in our form, which basically means it's a foam interfacing. Now, this is good because it's 11.99 for half a metre, but it's really wide. This is just half of it. This is 150 centimetres wide, so you are getting a lot here for your money. Now, obviously, it's an early bird. Normal price is 11.99, but we are going to take a little bit off that. We are going to take 25% off that, and the new price is... It's coming, look, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's $8.99. It's brilliant. So now look how wide it is, 150 centimetres wide. So it's a foam interfacing. It's fusible on one side. Now what it is ideal for is things like bag making that you want to be a little bit more structured. So if you're making a bag that maybe you've put wadding in before, but you want to have that really open stand up like a kind of a basket type bag, this will give you that structure but it's really, really easy to sew for. So all you have to do with, a, with this half a metre piece, um, you will get 
a lot well you'll get more than two two bag a bag front and back now these are sold as half meter pieces if you buy more than one of them you will get them as individual half meters it's not like our fabric where it will be cut as a big piece you'll get them sold as individual ones but all you do is you place your fabric you press it into place and then you sew it on now you can sew through this with a normal machine with a normal sewing machine needle and although it's thick it goes through really easily and what's great about it is it really bends i made a while ago a cat bed from this it was a really structured bed with a little hole and it had ears and it was great because you could fold it flat because it's really you know easily to fold but once it was made it stands up so you know if i stand this up you can see it actually stands up so it is foam interfacing it is brilliant it takes your bag making from beginner to professional by just simply putting this inside. Some people just use it for the bases of things. Um, I've used it when I made, um, oh, on Amber Makes, when we made our nativity scene, we used it. I've used it for things like, um, oh, loads of you have got it in baskets. I mean, it's amazing, $8.99. If we've got any left, that will go up after midnight, back to $11.99. Lots of you are multiple by this. It is a great thing. I always have a meat or so in my stash. Really good if you're making maybe like a craft storage basket. You know those circular ones with a circular base? Because it folds flat if you want it to, it will squish up, but then it stands up and holds its shape. If you've never used it before, pop half a meter in your basket because you're saving almost your postage with that because the postage is $3.95. Half of the stock has gone because you're, you're saving or because p and p is 395 so by saving your three pound you're almost saving that and it will make quite a difference and maybe you're making a fab a bag save from quite a lightweight fabric like if you're using some shirting or something if you want to give it that structure it's beautiful you can also quilt through it i made a fabric suitcase from it and i just quilted like you would normally quilt and i didn't even use my walking foot actually and it quilts through beautifully in fact you get more definition more structured and texture from this than um well we've nearly sold out of that nearly nearly sold out if you've got it in your basket you need to check out very quickly we have almost almost sold out of that but it is brilliant and if you've never used it before treat yourself oh it's gone all oh, gone wow and there's 52 of you in baskets it's all gone, all gone. Right, well, I think we'll have to move on. Should we have a look at the menu and see what's coming up this morning? So now at eight o'clock, we have got designer pre-cuts. I've got jelly rolls. I've got fat quarters. I've got um, 10 inch charm packs, all 25% off. So if you want to save a little bit of money this morning and you've, you've got an idea of what, what you want to do with a jelly roll or a charm pack, today is the day 25% off and remember that is only between now and midnight then at nine o'clock we've got Mark Francis he's already in the house I've had a little chat with him he's on for a couple of hours today he's going to start off this morning at nine o'clock he's going to be showing us how to make the sew over it t-shirt I've never made a t-shirt before have to be honest so I'm really looking forward to this because he's going to share all his top tips and techniques of how to work with stretch fabric and how to make yourself the perfect t-shirt that fits you. Uh, we've got a variety of t-shirting fabrics to choose from. The, we've got the ideal fabric. The pattern comes in two different size ranges. So it ranges from a size eight all the way up to a size 30, which is brilliant because it's great that it covers everybody. Um, and also in that hour, he's going to be demonstrating one of the sew over it jackets for us. And that'll be good because that's really nice. And again, we've got lots of bundles different fabrics for that 10 o'clock Anna Sanders from Alice Caroline is in the house as I said earlier she is going to be demonstrating row two and row three of the rainbow blooms quilt so if you've always wanted to make a liberty quilt you wanted to try EPP 10 o'clock is the hour for you um, and she's already here she's going to be showing us how to do that and we do have some of row one kits available if you want if you missed out the first time but not many but everything is on pre-order we'll talk about that in a minute so if you want to get ahead you can 11 o'clock mark will be back with us with the sew over it the ultimate jeans if ever fancied making yourself a pair of jeans 11 o'clock is the hour for you uh, it's not just jeans though because he's going to be demonstrating how to make them with corduroy we've got a diff couple of different corduroys and we've got three different colors of denim for you so if you struggle like we all will i do to get jeans that fit you 
this is the show because again the patterns are available in size 8 to 30 you can make a pair of jeans that fit you exactly that's at 11 o'clock and at 12 o'clock um well i think it's yarn lane hopefully they've done that because i'm here it's yarn lane clearance i have got for you yarn by the hank and ball i've got lots of different patterns i've got kits and it is all 20 percent off today we need to clear some space for all the fantastic new Yarn Lane products and kits that we've got coming up in the next few weeks. So we're just going to go through a few, few um, things that we've done in the past where you can grab yourself a little bargain. Anyway, that's coming up. So if you want to shop with us, if it's your first time visiting Sewing Street, welcome to our Sewing Street family and to the community. Hope you enjoy the show. If you want to know how to shop. Now, the easiest way to do it is online www.sewingstreet.com but if you'd rather speak to a human being real life person um english it's called center bait well it's actually based in the, in this building just above us 0800 001 4433 that's a free phone number and they will be able to help you either with any queries you've got or you've got with a stuck with order if you put the wrong thing in your basket or you can't remember what the code is or if you'd rather pay um, on over the phone then you can phone the corner but the easiest way to do it is on sewingstreet.com so let's have a look at the website there it is so what you need to do is go onto sewingstreet.com and then click on watch live that's at the top bar if you there it is there it is if you click on watch live you can scroll down now you can also message me there so if you want to if you've got any questions for me or any of the designers then all you have to do is um, type in the box and then Nikki our producer today we've got a new producer today Nikki welcome Nikki to the Sewing Street family so she will there she is hello she's sitting in darkness they always have to sit in darkness such a shame they should have little head torches shouldn't they They're sat, sat there in the cupboard um, she will read them out to me so if you've got any questions for me or any of the other um, guest presenters that we have on air this morning then we will try and answer all of your questions so if you want to shop you click on watch live that's on the top of the screen scroll down now everything that is available on today's show is already on pre-order there are two columns there's the column of what i've already talked about which is today's deals which is the um early bird that's now sold out and then everything else is on the other side so as i talk about it we put it on air it will go on on to the other side so at the moment everything is on the pre-order or there we are if we scroll down you can see all of the um designer jelly rolls bundles all of the those items so if you want to get ahead and not miss out because obviously we're limited in stock and it's 25 percent off all of those like the early bird just whooshed so I don't want you to miss out on these because we love to grab a little designer fabric bargain. Keep going down. There's the nine o'clock hour. These are the patterns for the jacket and the T-shirts that Mark's going to be showing us. Oh, look at those lovely T-shirt materials. So as always, we have got absolutely perfect fabric for the patterns, which makes it easier for you. Ten o'clock show. There's um, the Liberty Quilt. We have got a few of row one. That sold out last time, but we have got a few of them. And then this... And then today we're selling row two and row three separately. Um, there are all the items for the 11 o'clock hour. We've got jean zips. We've got jean den denim fabric. There's the patterns. But l even better, I think, is we've got all the accessories. So we've got the rivets. We've got the jean zip. We've got the buttons that you use with jeans. We've got the denim thread. Then we've got three different shades of denim. We've got corduroy. We've got a narrow whale and a wide whale. Um, and then further down we're then on yarn lane because uh, all the products for yarn lane will be on the sewing street website just to make it easier for you to pre-order so we've got kits we've got some a lot of sam sabido adventure and crafting kits because i know you love them 25 percent off so if you've been on and are and about whether you want to um, buy one of our granny square square cardigans or you fancy a little bit of punch needle and then if we keep going down we have got a um, lot of west yorkshire spinner pattern books limited in stock on those but we're bringing back what we do have in stock and then we've got yarn by the hank and yarn by the ball as well fantastic so there it is oh and some winning mum's two books as well and her sock pattern so what a fun packed day we have today so let's start off with designer fabric so who loves a fat quarter a jelly roll and a 10 inch charm pack we've got loads of books on the website if you want some inspiration but i'm sure you've got plenty of patterns that you think oh i know exactly what i want to make with those so nikki which one should we start with 
oh we're going to go with the tulip pink charm pack mm -mm -mm. now this is gorgeous this is a um fabric range that tula i'm going to get it out because um so much easier to see it when it's unpacked isn't it um tula actually designed this fabric when, during lockdown because she had plenty of time to daydream i presume and it is gorgeous now Ooh, let me move over my products a little bit is that better marvelous so in the pack let me just make sure that i say the right numbers there are 40 42 to make sure sometimes they have 40 just depends um 42 10 inch charm squares hang on i need to move some of my products out of the way move my little pile so i can get you in the middle there we are lovely um is that nice so these this is all one is it one or sometimes two each two each of every fabric from the tula pink daydreamer collection so this is your sort of large full scale print these gorgeous flamingos can you imagine making a quilt out of these look at the colors we've got big bright parrots I'm not sure whether they're parrots some fit love the colors all the colors are kind of um really vibrant if you know tula you know what i mean it's vibrant yellows and oranges and greens and purples i love this this is a lovely all over print it's very multi-directional but it's got beautiful the detail in it because quite often in these um complementary prints you don't get as much detail beautiful stunning butterflies i love this um spotty print because in amongst the spots is the cheetah can I, remember the, I can never remember the difference between a leopard and a cheetah. I think that might be a cheetah. Um, really vibrant. This is like your citrine green with um, rainbows. So the normal price for this one, as I'm going through, isn't it absolutely gorgeous? It's $44.99. But today we're on 25% off. So the price to you today is coming. <laughs> sorry we're just trying to sort out our facebook at the minute um wow so we you are going to be saving 11 pounds 11 pounds and 24 pence 33.74 that is a massive saving everything in this hour is 25 percent off 11 pounds and 24 i mean and isn't it absolutely gorgeous so if you've seen this one before you'll know so all of these prints we've got parrots and rainbows i'm going to go through really fast because i've got let, got let a lot to get through so you get the flamingo in pink pink as well and pale pink and look at that one isn't that gorgeous so if you're thinking about you want to make yourself a really fun bright and cheerful quilt or you've got you want to use it just to make some patchwork cushions that's a fantastic saving now if we have any left after midnight that price will go back up again the 25 percent saving disappears at midnight so have a think about it i'm going to go through all the others so you'll be able to see and choose but what an amazing price that one is right which one should we do next this one so let's do fat quarters so this exactly the same fabrics as is in the um, charm pack but this is the fat quarters so in here you get 22 yes yeah, 22 fat quarters now i'll open up one of them for you so you can see so a fat quarter these these are all American ones. so this will be um 18 by 22 inches because they do it as a half they do it in yards let me show you what it looks like so you are getting 22 fat quarters that's masses uh, we're live on facebook now it's all back back to normal so you can message me on facebook or um on sewing street if you've got any questions or you want to show your picture share your pictures of your favorite jumper with me we can share the jumper love this morning so this is great 22 i spent the weekend designing a new quilt um design that we, hopefully we're going to do on sewing street soon and i made a full king size bed quilt using 17 fat quarters and a little bit of plain fabric so with this bundle of 22 you can easily if you especially if you're doing something like 
the way you're putting plain fabrics with it with maybe like a log cabin or an Irish chain that kind of thing then you can get a you can get a massive quilt out of this and the good thing about buying a whole fat quarter pack is you have got the whole range when designers design fabric they design it so that the prints the colors the tones and the shades are complementary they all go together so you can use them in isolation or you can put the whole lot together and you will make an absolutely stunning quilt now the normal price for this is 89.99 for 22 fat quarters but it's 25 percent off today so you will be saving 22.49 wow so the price on this is 67.49 you are saving 22 pounds and 49 pence but only until midnight we are very low in stock of all of these designer bundles that i've got for you today so i don't think there will be any left at midnight so if you want them we're really busy on the phone lines loads of you've got this in baskets let me know um if you buy one of these let me know message in tell me what you're going to make with it because i always look at these and think oh now which quilt would i make with this but i'd love your inspiration it's always much better than mine all oh, fascinating if you've got an idea what what are you going to make with your saving of 22 pound 49 um remember if you haven't shot with us before there's only one postage and packaging fee applied for the whole day you can check out as many times as you want. It's 3 95 for the PMP. So if it's in your basket, it won't stay in your basket. If somebody else comes along, they can take it out. So you can only guarantee it's yours if you check out. But you can check out 395 times today or just once. Don't wait, check out. And then what happens is at midnight, your basket is closed, the postage and packing is applied and you will only be charged once. So don't miss out because we've got fantastic savings, 22 pound 49 saving on this. And, but you're getting the whole range here. I'm not gonna open them all up or we will run out of time, but that's the whole range there. Right, so same fabric, we've, go, go, we've got all of the tulip pinks now, but with the jelly roll instead. So in the jelly roll, these are two and a half inch strips. There's 40 of them. They are cut across the full width of the fabric. So every strip inside here is two and a half inch wide by the full 44 inch width of the fabric. Ideal for things like log cabin, where you often use two inch strips. Or, I mean, obviously you can cut them down as well. Really good for a very simple quilt if you want to do some quick piece and just join them all together or maybe you like doing a scrappy binding ideal for that join them all end to end diagonally and you've got meters now the normal price for this is 44.99 but 25 percent off as promised a saving of 11 pounds 24 that brings this down to 33.74 saving of 11.24 that price will go back up at midnight if there's any left very very busy on the phone lines loads of you have got this in your basket we've not reduced this by 25 percent before it's a fantastic price look at all the colors anyway moving on moving on but we'll never get through them all who should we move on to okay that must be i've got to find it there we go dan morris this is another um, design roll. Look at this is beautiful. Should we open this one? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's just do it. Oh, I was going to use a pair of scissors, but now I've managed it. Well, you can see it better, can't you? I'm not going to open the whole thing. But look, you've got beautiful floral fabric. So if you know Dan Morris, you'll know how gorgeous the fabrics are. We've got shades of bright pinks and greens and yellows and blues and leaves and florals. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now, the normal price for this is $49.99. So the, again, you have got 42 strips, two and a half inches wide, every strip is the full width of the fabric. Loads and loads of different patterns that you can use um, to with a design roll. This is gorgeous, isn't it? I love this one. Dan Morris, we love, I mean, Dan Morris is such a popular design with us. So normally 49.99, but today with your 25% off, it's a saving of 12 pound 49. So 37 pound 49, 37.49. You are saving 12 pounds 49 loads of you on the phones get it in your basket 
get it checked out because when they're gone they're gone we need to clear some space we have got a lot of new pre-cuts on their way into the warehouse and the staff are complaining they haven't got enough shelves so we need to get rid of these today 37.49 but what a wonderful what a wonderful thing to have what a gift if you've got somebody thinking birthday coming up need to buy them a little present and they're a sewer wrap up one of these i can assure you they will love it so that's the da the dan morris one um yes yeah that's the one i picked up tilda now very very impressed with this because i love tilda fabric this is gorgeous now the great thing about the tilda fabric is she uses quite a large range of colors from teals through to pinks and purples and mustards and blues all very small scale prints but they all go together so again you can mix and match these Oh, that's this one. Sorry. <laughs> Becky's pointing. Yes, I'd forgot that. Look, I've got this one open. This is the one we were talking about this morning and I've forgotten about it. So just have a, let's have a, just a little quick look at these fabrics. You've got like coral prints. This, look at the colours and the scale of the prints. We've got shells and flowers and little shells. Isn't it gorgeous? If you're thinking, I really want to make a patchwork jacket, but in the instructions it said, you need an old patchwork quilt. Well, I'm not cutting up a patchwork quilt, so I'm going to have to make some. But this is what I want to do it in, in this Tilda, because it's absolutely stunning. Look at the colours, but you can see how different they are. But they all go together. Now, <clears throat> the normal price for this design roll is $64.99. So we're going to get a good saving on this one. The saving at 25% is sixteen twenty-four. So you are saving 16.24. So the price on this is 48.74. And you know with the design roll, get yourself a couple of these and you can make a full, a full bed size quilt, smaller lap quilt, or you make the most of your designer fabrics. Choose a design where you're putting some plain fabrics in it. Make it go even further. But look at the fabric colors and choices. Saving of 16 pounds 25, but that's only today till midnight. It's only gonna go up. Look at them, purples and pinks. I love one, this is my favorite because I love teals and mustards. Look at the combination there. And because they're such a small scale print, they work really well in this design role. So that's the whole pack. Saving of 1624, loads of you are on the phone for this one. Please don't miss out. Because that's gorgeous, isn't it? All you've got to do is decide what you're gonna make with it. But let me know, always interesting. Now, I love that one, the coral print on that one. That's gorgeous, £16.24 saving. Let me put that one to one side, right? Which one should we do next? Right, so that's, is that one windy days? I think that, 70, does it end in 70? Yes. So Tilda again, but this is her windy days collection. Now you can see Tilda does have a colour palette. She has those lovely um, teals and blues and pinks, but in the, when, the windy days, it's more muted, it's more subtle. It's not quite so bright and vibrant. It's absolutely gorgeous. You've got navy, you, well, it's not navy, it's more like a denim sort of Air Force blue. And the mustard is a deeper mustard. And look at the raspberry in it. I love the prints on this, it's gorgeous absolutely beautiful now the price for this normally 64.99 so we will be crashing this and lowering it taking 24 5 24 taking 25 percent off so you will be saving 16 pounds and 24 pence so the price today but only until midnight is 48 pounds and 74 pence for the tilda windy days collection it's gorgeous isn't it so you are getting 40 fabric strips again all of them are two and a half inch and all of them full width of fabric. They do work really well as a binding. When I've got even just half of a jelly roll left, I join all of them together in any order and they work so well as a scrappy binding. Even better if you cut them in half first, then you get slightly shorter lengths. But, or if you want to do something like, you know, just bind the, um, the hem of a dress, Things like denim, I've used it, I've got um, a denim dress and I've bound the edge of that, that looks really well. Or if you've got a t-shirt that you want to just zhuzh up a bit, just bind the ends of the sleeves in one of these small scale prints and suddenly you've got like quite a cheap t-shirt, it looks like a designer t-shirt. That's gorgeous, isn't it? So you can use it for a whole quilt or put it in your stash and use it for lots of other things. Saving of 16 pounds and 24 pence, today only then it goes back up if there are any left very busy today 
Uh, which one should we do next? <laughs> right. Moda, da, 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 there we go. So this is, um, let's go to charm pack. Moda Nocturnal 10 inch charm pack. So I'm going to open this one as well because we haven't got one of these. Let's have a look at this one. I love a charm pack because you get a lot of fabric in it. And do you know, it's much better value for money, these 10 inches, than the 5 inches. I mean, I know the 5 inches are really popular, but you actually get a lot more for your money with the 10 inch. So you have got 40, um, 42. Why does it not say on there how many pieces you get? That's strange. 42. It, oh, it probably says in the back. Let me turn it over. 42. 42 pieces. Let me turn it back over. So this is Nocturnal by Moda, by Gingerbread for, for, um, for Moda. So let's have a look at the patterns and the colours and you can see whether it's going to suit the design that you want to make. Beautiful large scale print here. Gorgeous stylized flowers in navy and greens and corals. And then look at this one. I love that. Really pretty. I love this. It's like a, um, a pinky coral background. So we've got two of those as well. Then the lovely small scale print that goes with it, just a few, just crosses. That's in peach. Oh, look at this one. So there's not two of everything. Some have got two. Look at the owls. Aren't they gorgeous? But it's lovely when you look at a print like this. So you go on to the next one that's a small little sun rays goes together so well so this is why i love layer cakes because the colors aren't always necessarily ones that you'd think of putting together but they go together because they've been designed in the same palette the same range and the same tones and the designs as well there's the hours and they're all sleeping because it's called nocturnal although actually if it's nocturnal they'd be wide awake wouldn't they so 47.99 is the full price for this but not today no 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 because it's 25 percent off today Saving eleven ninety nine, so you are only paying thirty five ninety nine. So save yourself eleven ninety nine today. So if you want, if you want to make a quilt, this is slightly more modern. It's a bit more upbeat. I love the colours. They're very on trend colours. The mustards and the charcoals and the peaches and the corals. And I think you know sometimes, <coughs> if like me, you struggle to know what colours to put together. You don't need to think about it with one of these because it's all here in a layer cake. It's all there together. I love the um, constellations. But what you've got is these sort of the prints of the owl, the constellations, the stars. This is like one of those um, folk art prints. But then it just goes through different colour ranges. So you've got mustard. We're moving into grey now. I mean, wow, doesn't that one look? See, that was the one we had at the beginning. Doesn't it look stunning in the grey on the back? But these all go together. Um, and then we go into the green colour range. But there's such a lovely shade of green, isn't it? It's really subtle, like um, quite a bluey green, a sage green. And then we move on to navy. But not dark, dark navy. Oh, wow, don't the hours? It is more of a denim navy. They look amazing on that, don't they? So maybe you want to make a quilt for a child's bedroom. Wouldn't they absolutely love this for a cot quilt or a toddler bed? Or There's enough here to make a single bed quilt, particularly if you put some plain fabric as well. And it would just be absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? I love this one. It's just little foxes. But the whole thing is stunning. And you don't have to worry about choosing colours. It looks amazing on this midnight black, doesn't it? So that's the whole um, layer cake. $35.99. Remember, you are saving $11.99 on that. Only until midnight. Lots of you have um, interested in this, got it in your basket. It's been very busy today so, because we don't often do our 25% off designer fabrics. This is all about the bundles. So if you want to get this, put it in your basket because it will only go up $35.99 today. Which one? Oh, this one. Oh, and I've got this one open. Fresh Fig Favourites. That's not very easy to say, is it? So this is by Moda, um, called the Fresh Fig Favourites. It's designed by the Fig Tree Company. Again, you've got 40 10-inch charm squares. 47.99 is the full price. Let's have a quick look at the fabric. We're going to take 25% off that for you today. 
So the new price, look at the colours. £11.99 saving on this one. I mean, when, with the summer coming up, what a beautiful fresh fabric. £35.99 for 40 10 inch squares. It's fresh, it's clean, it's classic. This one just looks like a plain white, but when you see it, it's got a tiny white on white floral print. I love the little red, red and white spot. Oh, what does that say? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, pins, chalks and needles, rick, rack and grow grain, dressmaker shears and quality sewing scissors. I love that, I like the font on that. Batting and interfacing. That's gorgeous, isn't it? I think I might, I would take that one out and keep it for something. But it's fresh and clean and bright. We've got the same print there in black. Maybe they've all got mixed up, haven't they? I don't want to keep that one. Maybe make it into a little um, needle case. Then you, so you've got all of these prints, you've got little spots, you've got the writing, you've got this tiny floral pin, print, you've got some geometrics there, but it is so pretty, isn't it? I love the tiny spots, and isn't that one lovely? It's like blossom, but on a really pale primrose background. And then on this lovely um, soft coral, you've got the lettering again. Then we move into lime green. This screams summer, doesn't it? and then I think oh I like that one and then we move on to this really soft aqua but they go together beautifully look at the lime green with the soft aqua they're absolutely gorgeous when you see them all together if you have a look at a web the website there's a picture of them all so you can see what they all look like there's the same print I think yeah I'm going to take out all of those they'd make a lovely um, bag wouldn't they so four of them together to put all your sewing equipment in love this one really strong shade of um, like a strawberry strawberry red and then you've got it in a check as well and a small floral print and the red and white spot again and then isn't it lovely this isn't a really black black it's more of a charcoal black but it look it makes these um, flowers stand out and again we've got this gorgeous text so what a beautiful fabric collection so where you've got you've got black you've got strawberries you've got lime peaches it's a really um, fruity floral collection perfect for the summer so pop that in your basket 35.99 that price will go up again at midnight that 25 percent saving is only for today just so we can clear a bit of space in our warehouse 35.99 for that pack today right so this is the riley now is that the same i know that's community isn't it this one is, yeah. So this is Primrose, Primrose Hill. Now we haven't got that one open as well. So I would like to have a look at this one. I love Riley Blake fabrics. It's quite not very easy to open. There we go. Oh, it's just sold out. I'm not, I can't open it. But if you've just bought it, this is what it looks like. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? That one's just sold out. Oh, the code on that one is 25 at the end. Right, no, this one hasn't sold out. But there's only two left. Yep, there's only two left of this one. Primrose Hill by Riley Blake. Look at the colours. You've got this beautiful, um, well, like a limey green. It's the colour of the... Um, mint in my garden and then you've got a really soft beige moving into a pinky coral it's beautiful colors again this is really summery lovely one and i like all the blues you've got all these different shades of blue but they're a really soft blue so very very pretty depending on what you want to make with it uh 49.99 is the full price but obviously we are saving 25 percent today which is 12 pound 49 so the new price to you is 37 pounds and 49 pence there are only two of these left so if you want one you need to get in your basket and check out they are absolutely gorgeous i won't open it because this will be one of the two now we've only got two left saving of 12 pounds 49 to you today it's gorgeous isn't it really really pretty have we got any of those left nikki oh uh, there's a few Right, there are more of you who've got them in baskets than we've actually got. So if it's in your basket, you need to get it checked out or you're going to miss out. So it would be the fastest finger on the buzzer. 
because otherwise that one is going to go. Right, so cave. We can't have a designer fabric show without a bit of cave, can we? So this one is called the Brights Collection. 40 piece, obviously each of them two and a half inches times 44 inches. Now, you know what the cave designs are like. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're large florals, they're cabbages, they're scrolls, they're geometrics, they're always great. And the colors are stunning. So in this one, the Brights, you've got pinks, warm, vibrant, flamey oranges, moving into greens and purples, absolutely gorgeous. So it's all of the bright ones. So what, um, right, only six of this one left. Now this is 44.99 full price, 25% off today. So you are saving 11 pound and 24. So that makes this only 33.74. More of you in baskets than we've actually got and they've gone. Should we do the other cave one? So we have another cave one, and this is the dark one. So again, 40 pieces, two and a half inch strips, same price. The only one left was 44.99, and the one that we've got left is 33.74 with an 11.24 saving. Right, gone. We knew they'd go. Gotta have a bargain of cave. Oh, I love this one. I don't know why I haven't got this one. I, could, I might be able to open this one a bit more carefully. So this is Riley Blake. I love Riley Blake fabrics because they're charming, they're fun, they're lovely colours. They're always quite fresh and bright, but not super primary, just a bit more subtle, but they're beautiful. So there's a picture on the back of all of them. But let's have a little look, shall we? It's called The Community by Citrus and Mint Designs. And it's lovely. Now, I think these fabrics, obviously, they all work really well together because they're in a, a pack. But the fabrics on their own are just lovely. I mean, just look at this one. You think what you could do with this. It's ideally, you know, if you've got this whole layer cake, you could use it for fussy cutting. Look, you've got little boys on bicycles, a lady walking a dog, got an old couple there having a cup of tea, dog by the lamppost, fountain. But wouldn't that be lovely? I saw on the, um, the Scrappy Hexy fan page somebody had done loads of hexes um with fussy cutting and these would be absolutely perfect because you can get like a little person in the middle of each so that's just one of them let's go and have a look through all of them we get two of those which is handy because i like that one then you've got the same green it's lovely it's a really soft sage green with multicolored hearts on it got two of them Oh, let's talk about the price. So $44.99, this was $44.99, but with your 25% off, it is, what's the saving on this one, Nikki? $33.74, so that's saving of $11.24. So $33.74 for 40, just checking. 42, 42 10 inch squares. I love this green. This is like your sage, but a bit deeper. Isn't that a lovely print? Looks very um, 1960s, doesn't it? With your row of stylized flowers. And then we move on to the really pretty coral, which goes together, goes beautifully with the green. So if you put all of these together, don't they match well? I like that, this big floral. And then a little tiny floral, two of these. I think there's two of all of them. And then we go back to that lovely um, feature print again, but on a very pale pink background. That's so pretty, isn't it? I'd want to cut out all of these and make them into little hexes because they would look so sweet. Look at the, little, the man reading his newspaper. You could just cut around that and, and use that for a card. Two of them. So you don't have to use them all together. You can think, well, I've got a specific project. I'd like to do that. Or I've got some um, school fates coming up. I'd like to make a load of like little cosmetic bags or zip purses. You know, you could make one from each of these. When you think of the size of it, if you folded that in half, that's a um, zip purse, pencil case. And you've got 42 of them. Wouldn't your stall look so pretty if they all match like this as well? People always love a zip purse. Right, Facebook is finally live. I've had a few problems with the 
we've had a few problems with the Facebook this morning, but it is now behaving itself. So it should be on. Don't know what was done. Don't know what was wrong with it. That lovely feature print with a white background this time. And then we've got the little hearts. So you can see the same prints repeating. But actually, here's a new one. I haven't seen this one before. With houses. Again, ideal for fussy cutting. Or maybe you know someone who's moved house. Just cut out one of them and sew it to a piece of card. You've got an instant card then. And then use the others for something else. Got two of them. <gasps> Look, we've got a lovely check. Um, we've got the same print in pink and then the checks and then we're moving to the same prints but these are in the um, nice sort of chambray denim blue colour and then fi finishing with mustard. So £33.74 for the whole pack which is an amazing value. That's the Riley Blake community so if you want it you need to put it in your basket. Right, next. I think that is that one. Yes. So this is Anna Maria Horner for Free Spirit Fabrics. Love Anna Maria Horner's designs. They are always um, bright, stunning, bold, adventurous. Should we have a look at it? I don't know why none of these are open. Right, we have sold quite a few of these already and there are a few in baskets as well. Uh, but there's not many left. So the price of this is reduced now to 33.74. That's a saving of 11.24 for the whole pack. If you have a look on the website, there is a picture of all of the prints in this. But you know Anna Maria Horner, her designs are beautiful and they're bright and they're fun. That's one that is about to sell out. So I shan't open it. Let's move on. Is it a jelly roll or a design pack? Oh, it's this one. Yeah. No. Right, so I'm just trying to find the right one. Okay. Right, so this is by, oh, I'm rubbish at presenting name, Odile Bayeux, Jardin de la Reine, the Queen's, the Queen's Garden. 40-piece design roll. I love hers. I'm going to open this one so we can have a look because her fabric is stunning. Look at this. So this is 40 pieces design roll, was 44 99 Now, if you've not seen this fabric before and you love Kaif, you love the bright, bold colours you'll like this different designer obviously but if you like that kind of feel look we've got pinks and deep oranges I mean it's amazing we've got big birds on yellow backgrounds look at this it's really worth having a proper look you've got some mosaics there so if you love the bold adventurous prints I mean look at that it's like bright turquoise with this lovely leaf design big butterflies now normally this would be 44.99 which is amazing this is i mean she is the most talented designer just because she's brave and bold and uses fantastic colors you're saving 11 pound 24 look at this one it's got shoes on actually i'll turn it around look at it the shoes shoes really really busy i love the pearls on this one it's just stunning though isn't it absolutely stunning really limited this one so if you want it you need to get it in your basket and check out because it is gorgeous i just love the choice it makes me think of those kind of mexican prints where you've got those really bright fuchsia pinks and strong blues you know you get those kind of mexican style oil cloths that's the color it makes me think of and look at the blue on that it's absolutely vivid and then this one i'll turn that one around again this one's got little birds on it so 33.74 it's a saving 11 pound 24 very very limited it's about to sell out that one right the next one by um is that yes so if you love her fabrics we've got it as a charm pack a layer cake 10 inch 
let's have a look at this one look so now you can really see the fabric there are only four oh three have gone we've only got one left 44.99 reduced today look now you can see the birds reduced by look at the shoes reduced by 11 pound 24 to 33.74 it's lot i like it's really nice to see it as a full print right there are more of you who've got this in baskets than we've got so you need to get it checked out quickly there is one left so i'm going to move on from that one right mode of make time i love this fabric range i made a beautiful um a lovely quilt from this a thread spool quilt from this um fabric and in fact you could use this to make it because the strips for the thread spools were 11 pounds this fabric gorgeous 47.99 full price but obviously we're reducing it by 25 percent so the price today is 35.95 11.99 saving 35.99 each of the prints features different sewing items so you've got pins scissors you've got little cross stitches um and this is my favorite one the blue the shades are in blue coral deep coral pink gray and white and you've got little checks you've got a lovely diagonal stripe which works so well you've got a gingham pins and then you've got it again in this deep coral then it moves into a light coral you've got the the pins and the scissor print are in the gray and then you've got a pink and then you've got it white it's ever so pretty it works really really well for um quilts if you're using two strips but also your own sewing makes if you have a look on the moda website they've got a lot of pictures and patterns of people who have used this so if you search up um, make time moda you'll you will be able to find a lot of patterns that people have made using this for different things like little purses and accessories for their sewing room it's absolutely gorgeous 11.99 saving on that one was 35 what well, it is 35.99 right next oh look that's the one i picked up that's amazing we must be in sync nick and i in sync now we're on it we're on it now we fix facebook <laughs> stardust by riley blake so this was 44.99 it's 42 pieces 40 sometimes they're 42 so they're 40. this one is 40 um strips two and a half inch by the full fabric width really pretty only eight of them left only eight 33 pounds 74 saving 11 pounds 24 look at the colors in here you've got it's a riley blade color palette you've got the lovely greens um white you've got the lovely sort of very sky blue background mustards it features so much in fabric collection at the moment i'm so pleased i love mustard fabric but doesn't it look lovely alongside the brighter pinks and the pales and it's very just pretty and floral again ideal for your spring summer makes nice to make a wall hanging out of this as well that's gorgeous isn't it make a whole skirt join them all together only two only two left if you've got it in your basket you need to check out there are only two 33 pounds 74 that's a 25 percent saving there's only two left and if those two are there still at midnight the price will go back up again but we have only got two left um shall we do what's next actually we've only got th oh we've got we only got two we've got two left which one the black and white one or the colored one i like this one i was hoping to say that so we've done lots of big we've done lots of colors haven't we should we go black and white now just for a change so 69.99 full price in this mode pack you have got um 40 40 or 42 it's coming up oh why doesn't it say 17 i'm going to count them one two three four five six oh 17 17 uh fat quarters now isn't let's how should we undo it because look at look it comes with it it comes with tape measure ribbon gorgeous definitely keep that for the tape measure make a drawstring bag from one of them only five of these they were 69.99 i'm just going to lay them out while we're chatting 69.99 reduced by 25 percent 
to 52.49 that's a 17 pounds 49 pence saving can we get a big shot here? i'm gonna lay them all out it's really nice to see the whole lot because they're all black and white and gray uh, we've only got three left someone's bought two what are you going to do this message me and i'd like to know what you're going to make with them because aren't they gorgeous so if you fancy a bit of monochrome but i think it's nice that they've put the gray in as well isn't that a lovely selection they're all sort of all in baskets all in baskets quickly check out quick 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 I... oh well done jean for getting yours what are you going to do with it i think it's lovely isn't it make a nice patchwork um skirt for the summer or if you're fancying a whole new set of monochrome cushions for your living room or to put on the bed you're saving 17 pounds and 49 pence comes with free tape measure ribbon so make a drawstring bag from one of them to put all your undies in when you go on holiday and use the tape measure ribbon to go around the top be lovely wouldn't it very stylish we've only got one left and i love this one this is beth studley comes with three pieces of satin ribbon this is gorgeous we're gonna have to get all of these out so 24 fat quarters now these are beth stud we've only got one bit left i'm still going to get them out because they're so nice we use beth studley fabrics a lot and they are gorgeous she has her own color palette very signature it's beautiful clear teals purples and pinks there's only one left so whichever lucky person gets this one wow we're getting because of the 25 percent off you are saving 22 pounds and 49 pence now just think i mean I, this is making your super big super king size quilt this is and can you imagine i'm thinking what would i do with this one do you know i think i would keep it really simple and i would go log cabin because you've got different lights and darks or you know the um the star designs Maybe a really simple start. A hunter star would look amazing in this because the colours are so great. You don't need a complex pattern for it. Or just cut them all into three inch squares and join them all together because the, pat the patterns speak for themselves. Anyway, we've only got one of those left. So whichever lucky person gets that one. Oh, there's loads of you in baskets. There's one of you need to check out and then it's yours because it is absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you have a look on the website, we sell lots of Beth Studley patterns. So whoever gets this, get yourself a Beth Studley pattern and you can make nearly all of them. Wow. Right, so we have gone through everything now. Fantastic. Um, thank you for joining me in this hour. What a lovely selection of fabrics and congratulations to all of you who managed to bag yourself a bargain. I will be back with you in a couple of minutes with Mark who's going to be doing the ultimate guide to making your very own t-shirt that fits you. So over it patterns going from size 8 to 30 and we've also got a gorgeous jacket perfect for your summer wardrobe. I will see you back in just a couple of minutes time. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. 
Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favorite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Welcome back to Sewing Street. Thank you for joining me in the first hour if you didn't. And if you didn't, welcome to Sewing Street. So this hour is um, all about the t-shirt and the jacket, um, which I'm quite pleased by because I've never made a t-shirt. I mean, I've done lots of dressmaking, but I have to be on, well, I did own up to Mark. I've never made a t-shirt. So Mark is going to be showing us exactly how to do it and convince me that I need to make a t-shirt. Yeah, have a go. Yeah, I want to have a go. You nice could to put moo cows on it. Like I, on could have, I could have t-shirts. Can we see the moo cows? Yeah, I have to stand like that though, see because I'm not tall enough. <laughs> I should got you to wear my jumper because you're should. taller. We should get you a box to stand on. I know, it's not fair, is it? Because I went on holiday for a week. When I came back, I thought I'd either shrunk on holiday and it's it didn't possible. even rain much. So I, I'd either shrunk or they'd raise the desks. Maybe you just, and now I won't know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know, anyway, my cat can't see my cow now. Um, so welcome to Sewing Street on a Sunday. I know. It's nice to see you at a weekend. Yeah, and you, you're never normally here. Not normally, not normally, it's normally you Monday. You feet up, having a lion, in, breakfast know. in bed. Actually, I, nine o'clock, I'd probably be reading with a cup of tea. And what would And the you be dog reading? under the duvet. Is it the woman's own? Or um, something more racy? Oh, it's usually something crime that I can barely breathe because someone's about to be <laughs> murdered or, or like something. Like with the dog sitting on your ribcage. Yeah. <laughs> No, with the dog under the duvet. She doesn't sleep there all night, but in the morning she's allowed upstairs. She runs upstairs, jumps on the bed, and then goes straight under the duvet. Ah. 
But I, I, I don't let her sleep there all night. Our dogs are with us in the duvet, but we had to put a bandage on Clarky's arm because mm. he's been chewing his paw quite a lot. It's got a lump and it's going a bit bald. So we put a big bandage on it and cleaned it. And he was limping around the bed last night like he'd just lost a limb. Aww. This morning, when he wants to go and have a treat and a wee in the garden, Oh, sudden. Suddenly, miraculous recovery That's was amazing. immediate. That's amazing. When there's a T-R-E-A-T -E involved. Yes, that's incredible, isn't it? Um, anyway, we're going to be talking about T-shirts. Let's go through the patterns, because I want to get on and find out how to make this T-shirt. So these patterns are by Sew Over It. Um, I am, oh no, this is, no, these, all the sizes are in one pattern for this one, aren't they? confused sorry the jacket has two patterns this just has one um this is by sew over it lisa comforts company and look she shows you exactly look at the pattern let me show you a picture of how to make this t-shirt i love this because she's done this one in a striped fabric but where she's used the fabric that goes on the neckline she's made the stripes go the other way but you know it's quite off difficult to get a t-shirt that fits you perfectly particularly you know when you want it to go around the bust area and to get the waist and then whether is it too short mine are always too long such a waste of time i have to keep hemming them and you can choose then you know if you want to make the sleeves a little bit longer so many different things you can do with it now this pattern goes from size 8 to size 20 so in bust terms that's a 33 inch bust up to a 45 inch bust so the pattern is £17. It's a lovely pattern. And we'll talk through it in a minute with Mark. But what I li really like about the Sew Over It patterns, comes with really good full instructions, very comprehensive. But nice big pattern pieces on good quality paper. So they're really good to keep reusing. So that is the Bilberry T-shirt. Now we've got a range of fabrics because I know it's really annoying, isn't it, when you want to make something and you can't find the right fabric. So, oh, let me get the sample from you. So Mark has made us one earlier. This is one he made previously. It's really pretty. I think this is lovely for the summer because it's got this lovely sort of soft grey background, but with these beautiful, and if you were watching in the last hour with all the Riley Blake fabrics, um, I was saying a lot of greys and corals and mustards are really in this season, and there it is, all in a t-shirt. Beautiful fit, this is quality. Um, it's really lovely. It is, isn't it? Mm. Was it nice to sew with? It was actually, and I haven't done many t-shirts. Right. It's only my second t-shirt, so I, I was approaching it with the same trepidation. <laughs> right. But when you get to the end, you think, actually, do you know, that's not too bad. But it's thick, isn't it? Because mm. I, you know, I, I like to buy a quality t-shirt because they just lose their colour and shape a bit, don't and they? And they twist. And they twist, yes. But this is a nice quality. Mm. So this is the grey one. Now we do have this fabric. So in the bundle of the fabric, you've got a metre and a half, which I will double check. It will be enough for the largest size? Uh, well, I hope so. Let's hope so. No, it will be. It'll be plenty. Yes, it will, because this is 140 centimetre width. And actually for the largest size, well, for all the sizes actually, whether you're an eight or a 20, you need 1.1 metres and you've got one and a half metres. It's beautiful, it's very You could thick. go crazy with that much fabric, couldn't you? I know, so you've actually got 40 centimetres left over. That's lovely, Well, you could make it? it longer. Well, uh, yes, you could, uh, or shorter, or you could make the sleeves longer. Mm. You could go three quarter length sleeves, couldn't you, with, yeah. it, with the ruffle? Oh yeah, that'd What's be that? good. What's it called? Well, it's not a ruffle, but it's like a flare. Well, like a bishop sleeve shirt. Yes, yeah, something uh, like bish that. Bishop sleeve. But you know, or when you get a flare around the outside edge. Hmm. What's that called? A flare? Just a flare. Oh, I, I, I thought I had a technical I, term. <laughs> 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 That's what I would do. Twenty two ninety nine for all of this fabric. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And you know, and I think it's worth it. If you're making a t-shirt for the first time, it's worth using something that's slightly thicker like this, that's better quality, because I think it's a lot easier for cutting and sewing. Oh, most definitely. You don't want it to be fiddly. Fiddly, no. It's no. got to be easy. Then you can move on to the thinner, more tricky fabrics. But isn't this lovely? You are going to have plenty of fabric, so you could make this longer. You could make it into more of a tunic length if you want. You could change the sleeves, but you only need, you've got 1.5 meters, so that's enough for all of the sizes. That's the um, what have we called that one? I can't read them. Grey with coral flowers. I can never read that screen. I've tried taking my glasses off. It didn't look. They seem fainter than the in the previous studio. I think they've made the letters narrower. Oh, it's a deliberate conspiracy. Deliberately, yes. Yeah. No, I don't know, I just can't read them as well. So that's the one that we've got the sample of. I've got another floral one here. This has got, 
I wasn't sure whether it was, I think it is black. I thought it was navy to start with. Oh, it is navy. It's a very dark navy then with a gorgeous, I'm going to hold it up. Again, you've got enough fabric. This is the same thickness as the other one. Yeah, it is a very, I couldn't, I didn't think it was black. It's a very dark navy with this beautiful floral print. Again, it's that lovely thick tea, quality t-shirt material. This is the sort of t-shirt that you go and buy for $44.99 in a designer <laughs> shop, isn't it? Because it's a thick t-shirt. This isn't your $8.99 t-shirt. Yeah, this is your kind of designer. $8.99, um, gosh, you do splash out. Yes, yeah, so, This is more of your um, designer, like Ted Baker type t-shirt, isn't it? Which at $21.99 is a bargain, isn't it? And not only that, you get to learn how to make a t-shirt at the same time. $21.99, so that is more than enough fabric to make all of the sizes. So if you're thinking, I'm going to make my own t-shirts, because then you can make t-shirts to actually match things. But it's a beautiful t-shirt. Now, I've got three plain fabrics. I'm going to show you first. This is the one that Mark is going to be demonstrating with them. It's a lovely dusty, dusky pink with a silver. Can you see if I give it a little twiddle? Can you see the um, shimmer on it? But it's a really thick one. So on the back, you've got this lovely fleecy blacking. So this is a nice warm t-shirt. And again, it's, it's got the stretch in it it needs, but it's thicker. So this will give you a beautiful t-shirt. Well, you'll see in a minute, because Mark's demonstrating with this, because it's a beautiful one. Again, you know, this isn't the sort of t-shirt you would find in any normal high street shop. This is designer quality t-shirt. So that's $22.99, same price as the other, but it's pink with a slight metallic finish. So this it is glitters. Glitter. Be nice in the sun, because mm. you'll shimmer. See you for miles. Yes, as you shimmer along, people say, you'll shimmer Satellites today. Satellites will be falling out of their they orbit. They will. They'll be dazzled. Go, who is that with that shimmery T-shirt that fits so beautifully? <laughs> <laughs> um, mustard. Love a bit of mustard. Again, this is um, beautiful quality, really thick. It's, it's actually, you know, it's different to the other two. It's got a, a really soft back to it this one it's not got that thick that fleecy you seen this one but it's got sort of a, a th it's oh, not yes. as thick as the one that you're using but no. it's beautiful isn't it that is really nice mm. i'll just knock something over now there. the th good thing about the ochre is it goes really well ochre. with navy and gray and black ochre is a good word as ochre. opposed to yellow yeah it's not ye it's not yellow it's ochre <laughs> mustard <laughs> what's the proper word for it oh it is ochre yeah, it's okay. It's not, uh, no, it's not yellow. It's more mustardy colour. It's like a Dijon, I'd Don't say. Me, was that picture blurred? Is it just my glasses at nine o'clock on a Sunday morning? Yeah, it might be my glasses. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> this one, 15 99 Again, you've got a metre and a half, more than enough to make your T-shirt. And it is a really lovely thick. So if you've got, you know, a denim skirt or a navy pair of trousers, pair of jeans, something in grey, this will look beautiful with it. It looks stunning with black as well. So if you want to have a go at making your t-shirt, you need the bundle 15 99 and you will need to buy the pattern, but obviously the pattern is then yours to make multiple t-shirts going forward. That's a lovely colour. I'd be interested to see which is the most popular when we get to the end of the hour. Finally, before we move on to the demonstration, we have got it in turquoise. This one is for your summer wardrobe beautiful bright turquoise again it's a nice quality t-shirt fabric it's probably the thinnest one of all of them so it's much lighter weight but it's still got a nice stability to it that's why this one is only 9.99 it's sold out just sold this out one? this one really yeah well now there's the answer to your question there's the answer it? to my question now so what's the next best selling so the turquoise one is sold out right mark let's yes. go on to making a t-shirt yes now, where do we start? Can we talk to me about cutting out first, because that's where I'd be nervous. Yeah, cutting out. So with a jersey, it's a stretch uh, fabric, yeah. of course. So you do need to make sure that you're not stressing the fabric in any particular way. Mm. If you can get a nice big area on a nice big table or the floor, hoover first. <laughs> yes. Or if you've got a dog or a cat, it'll be... It'll be a mohair t-shirt, won't yes. it? Um, but you don't want the fabric to be pulling in any particular direction because that could distort your fabric pieces. So is a table ideal then? A table's ideal, uh, but it's you, it's only one and a half metres. It's not a big piece. No, that's true. We're not making a full maxi dress here. No, well, this is it. Because if you go, it might hang off the edge of the table, yes. but then you yeah. might be stretching out the fabric as it does okay. that. Okay. And that could distort the pieces um, if you weren't careful. So it's very important to make sure that those fabric pieces are not being distorted in any way. Right. Um, you can use your rotary cutter. You might get on better with the scissors. 
What about pinning? Is pinning okay? I Well, the ones I've been using, I've been fine with pinning, but if it's a jersey that's going to test it first with your pins, because if your pins aren't so sharp and you're having to go like that through it, then you might need fresh pins. Right, okay, so um, you need good sharp otherwise pins. Otherwise you could use clips to okay. get around the edge. So what, what, do we have some here? Here, Fabric here we clips. go. Fabric clips. Now, do you know, when I first saw this, I thought, they're not going to hold anything. But actually, they do, don't they? I'm always amazed how much a fabric clip will hold. I am as well. they are as good as a pin. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and particularly for working with delicate fabrics. Yeah, no, amazing. Um, we I mean, have them on the website. The jerseys I've had have been quite robust. You'll also need to, to consider investing in a jersey needle. Okay, yes. um, right, so because either the different needles, you've got jersey ones, and then you jersey, have stretch ones. Stretch, uh, you've got uh, denim, uh, you've yeah, got universal ones. Yeah, but is jersey and stretch leather. the same thing? Well, they recommended a jersey needle for this because it's got a ball point on okay. the end, so it won't, um, so rather than it piercing the fabric, it will kind of just... Okay, so best to use a jersey or a stretch needle. Yeah, although I've got a universal. I made that with universal. Oh, okay. And it was fine. Well, a universal has a slightly off sharp point anyway, so... Mm. So test it. Test it. Test but it, you use the universal it. and it was fine. I just universal because <laughs> it's a sample that, to be honest, won't be worn and only yeah, seen at a distance. Think. <laughs> I've got my eye on that. Oh, have you? <laughs> yeah. Is That's it your going size? with my summer wardrobe, let's hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Will you fit your moo cows on it? Yeah, I might have to wear underneath, but you know, it'd look nice <laughs> with my new pictorial theme. Well, if it's disappeared by the end of the mm, hour... You'll know. We'll be searching her I bags on the I should have put it on, out. shouldn't I? I'll alert security. Yes. <laughs> Now it does give you loads of tips in here. Now I've got a, this is a the proper wrap. version of the book. Actually, I've got a, a photocopied version that's been blown up. Oh, let me read then. Um, but if you have a look through, it does give you lots of useful information. So you've got a glossary there. If I put it in the middle of the screen, that might help. Oh, um, it does tell you about knit and yeah, stretch stitch. Yeah, she's covering how to sew with that. And then you've got your size guides oh, and the layout useful, guides as well. Yes, there's a sewing guide there. So you can make this directly on your overlocker as well if you didn't want to do it on your sewing right, machine. Right, but if you've only got a normal sewing machine like me, yeah. that's it's fine. It's not essential. Once you cut the jersey, it won't run. It won't... So it's fine. You don't it won't need destroy to itself. I cut this about two weeks ago and you can have a look it's not fraying in any way at all and so you don't have to finish the seam allowances no then. it just depends on your own personal you expectations of what you <laughs> want to achieve really or whether anyone will <laughs> ever show anyone the inside of your t-shirt but if you want well this is it but if you but if you're making it for someone you might want it right. to look a bit okay a bit um you know what I mean? Neater. Yes. But if you're doing it on your overlocker, just bear in mind this is a one and a half centimetre seam allowance. And if you're just going along the edges, you'll have a bigger seam allowance. So you might want to just either snip a bit off or you can use the cutter to, right. to cut okay. off the excess. Uh, so one and a half centimetre seam allowance throughout. So there's only two pieces to cut out as well. There's a front and the, there's a Lovely. back. There's the sleeves. Oh, the, sleeves. The sleeves. About the sleeves. But you could do it short sleeve. You could do it sleeveless if oh, you wanted. That's true. Um, and then there's the uh, the neck hole as well. So first of all, I we're just mm. going to pin one shoulder, just one shoulder. Now I selected a particular stitch on my machine. So you'll need a stretch stitch. So on this machine, it is. I'm going to use the lightning bolt stitch, which gives you a uh, yes. a nice bit of a stretch to it and it does do exactly what it says it looks like a lightning bolt or a zigzag would be fine but I thought why not let's uh... now it does take a little longer to get through the machine so what do you do then just have a look at your manual and see what stitch to, to use yeah you if you are on the NX7 like I am it's stitch number 12 um, but is a zigzag the right one I haven't got one of those. A zigzag would be fine because it means that the fabric, if I take this off and show you, take the pins out, it offers this I'll extra... I'll come over and have a look. Oh, okay. Just, without, a, just yeah. a little bit. Because that's only a tiny zigzag you've got there, isn't it? Yeah. What's it set on? Oh, it's set on one. You can change it. 
Yes, it's only a very slittle zigzag. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it's not a, yeah, it's got light. But you'll bolt. have plenty of bits you've cut out to have a little test anyway. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah, see what works best for you. Um, but the overlocker, of course, does allow for that extra stretch Right, as okay. Well. But once, we're not going to do the other shoulder just yet. <laughs> right. So. This is an off-the-shoulder t-shirt currently. No, no, no. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> currently. It could be. Um, so you could go for a deconstructed look if you thought you don't want you could be really edgy <laughs> put some safety pins through it and splat some paint on yeah, it yeah you could poppers yeah mm. but you can leave the edges raw cut them neatly yeah because they're not going to fray they won't fray Fantastic. and you can have nice little roll this won't because mm. this is quite heavy but the lighter weight ones will roll we'll quite roll. nicely oh, yeah. well you get a lot of t-shirts like that don't yeah, you you absolutely do so we're going to press this seam open let me just grab my ironing board because i like the way on the front of this neckline they've Put the stripes the other way so you could use a different fabric for the neckband yes uh, it's nice to make it out the same one uh, because then you've got it there to hand trying to buy jersey rib that you can put separately like on a sweatshirt oh yeah but you could use another color couldn't you if you wanted to say a contrasting one yes because you can buy jersey rib on a roll that kind of thing oh okay but it's difficult to find the the color that's right that's and all just that. right yeah. yeah and all that kind of stuff I remember talking to Patrick Grant about this on the sewing bee when we were making As you do. rugby shirts. I know, clang. I'll just put I like that. that. I'd like to have be able to say that sentence. I remember talking to Patrick. I was just talking to Patrick Grant on the to sewing say that bee. Sentence. Um, but, <laughs> <laughs> but we were doing rugby shirts, and they right. gave us all the bits we needed. Mm. But of course, he's got lots of tailoring companies, and they can get all this stuff, which I think they had for right. that particular challenge. Did they have rubber buttons? They had the prob they had what, sorry? Rubber. They always rubber have rubber but buttons, rugby no. shirts, oh, don't did they? they? No, mm. we didn't have rubber buttons, oh. we had a plastic one. Um, they obviously the weren't you expecting you to play rugby in them. Because no, the real oh, rugby shirts have rubber buttons. Oh no, well, they, they did examine it in a kind of, if you tugged at this area, you'd rip the placket off. Because <laughs> it's, it's not well, and I thought, we're probably not going to play rugby, rugby in that. this. But anyway, I see his point. Um, but we had ribbing around the bottom, oh, around okay. the cuffs. And it was and the right stuff. It was, because he said they have a lot of problems for his companies actually getting the ribbing that's the right colour and in yeah. the right quantities. And they have to dye massive batches of it oh. to make their own products. So I thought, well, it's not just me that can't yeah, find it. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's fine. Yeah, it is hard sometimes, unless you know the right supplier which to find will, all these things. Which he knows everybody, doesn't mm. he? So this is where we come to the magic. Magic, magic. Magic. So on your... Oh, I didn't realise you did it like this. Yeah, this is a different method to what I've done before, but this works really well. So you'll need to make sure you get, because there is a front and a back to this, um, which is why I've just kept... Oh, yes, yeah, so you've got centre front here and centre back, and that's going to be the shoulder seam there. So we need to fold this in half. I need my ironing board back, don't I? <laughs> So we need to iron, press this in half, first of all. And what we're going to do is just sew it while we've only got the T-shirt sewn at one shoulder. You can do it another way, which is to sew the, the, both shoulders together. Sew the, uh, this neckline to make a loop. And right. Then, and then you can insert it. So is there an easier? Is, is this been done because this is an easier way? I think way? this is probably a bit easier. Okay. Um, but you could do it as a whole loop and then put it in. Yes, absolutely. And you'll find that the, the neckline is actually slightly shorter than the, sorry, the, what's it called? The neck band is slightly shorter. Than, than the neckline? Yes. Oh, okay. And why is that then? So that it fits in. So you'll need to stretch it out slightly. So I'll just make sure I get the right way round. So I'm just gonna get my centre front first. And this is a slightly thicker t-shirt in this particular fabric. So if you're like me, and you can get cold anywhere. I've got this the wrong way around. Look. <laughs> I can get cold in Morocco. So I quite... I'm either cold or hot, but rarely the right temperature. <laughs> <laughs> that could just be. Very irritating, but that rarely. That could just be your age. I, mm. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't like to say. Rarely the right temperature. It's just but then you're only 21 hot. still. Well, I know, you? exactly. Maybe I'll grow into it. <laughs> <laughs> but as I'm officially shrinking. <laughs> well, this is it. My my dad is amazingly short these days. I'm sure he was never that short when I was a kid. Yeah, but wagon wheels have shrunk as well, so. 
Oh, they have, haven't they? Yes, they, yeah, they used to be an entire meal. I said that to someone the other day, and I realised then what their age was, and they had <laughs> a no idea what, what I was talking about wheel. being what a wagon wheel was. <laughs> you can still buy wagon wheels, but not like you used to. So I've pinned the centre front, the shoulder. I'm now pinning it round, and you're probably thinking this doesn't fit. But like I said, it it is cut slightly shorter. So do follow your... And you're just using normal pins, yeah? I am. Mm. I didn't find it a problem. Okay. But if is... you want to be cautious, then... No, no, that's good, though, because, clips. you know, it's it's much better to see this is how you did it, and you've got quite a thick um, T-shirt yeah. in there as well. So you'll find that you've got more T-shirt than you have right. neck band. You can put, Hopefully you can see that. So. But it stretches. We're just going to stretch it ever so gently. Mm. You don't want to stretch it out of shape because you want it to pop back into shape We've got again. a message. A very good morning, Rebecca and Mark. It's a perfect morning watching you both. Happy Sunday to ah. the viewers from Neve in County Clare. <gasps> Thank you, Neve. Oh, how is the weather in Ireland this morning? Do you think she's dressed? Is she watching us in her pyjamas? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> we should have come on in ours. We um, should. We should have done. Thank we... you for watching. Now, it is a lovely... I'm learning loads because I actually would really like to make a T-shirt. So, selfishly, I'm just asking all the questions I want to know. So, well, if you've got any T-shirt questions, just message in and I'll read them out to Mark because... Um, and hopefully I'll know the answer. Oh, we, we've got a t-shirt question. Oh, we have? Is there a larger size in the bilberry pattern? No, there isn't. It's a size 8 to 20. That is the size, which is a 33 to a 45 inch bust. That's what it will fit. Um, no, the, um, the jacket that we're going to do next goes up to a size 30, but the t-shirt is only up to size 20. Sorry. But you can enjoy some nice fabric bundles. Yes, lovely fabric, except for the turquoise. So there we go, that's, that's all pinned in place. And I've just stretched out ever so slightly. Now, the lightning bolt stitch, because it's a zigzag, does take a little longer to go through the machine than your okay. straight stitch. So you can't do uh, hell for leather. And just stretched out, I mean, we're talking a tiny stretch. And you can, if you wanted to, you could finish this off on the overlocker, or if you have a cover stitch, this would be a good opportunity yeah, to dust it true. off. Yeah, that's true. One day. <laughs> <laughs> but not today. And I was going to get an overlocker, but I've got my eye on the Elna 720 Pro. That's what I really, really, really want. And every day I'm getting closer to it, <laughs> to making that decision. Before I go for the overlocker. Splash out. Go I know, it's mad. there's nothing wrong with my machine, but I just know that 720 Pro is better. That's no excuse. There's I won't hear that no, talk. There's nothing <laughs> wrong with mine. Everyone needs... Well, it's not as good as it used to be. You can never have enough sewing machines. It's just the 720 is like semi-industrial, and I like sewing with inner tubes, and it just goes through it because I've tried. Inner tubes? Yeah. What, from bikes? Mm. If you cut them down the centre and then flatten them out and then um, wash them because they're full of talcum powder, they make lovely um, wash bags and pencil cases and oh, things. What inner tubes and bicycles? Mm. So what you do is you like get your base piece of fabric, a big square, and then you sew them all on top of it. So I often do it like alternately with say lines of denim and inner tubes. So you just make a piece of a zigzag them on, or you can top stitch, and then you use that to make something with. But you need a decent machine. Not that one, we've had that one. This is revolutionary. <laughs> I've never heard of anybody. I can highly recommend them. Good morning, both. I have my fabric and pattern. Excellent demo, thank you. Should I wash the jersey before making the t shirt from Susan in West Sussex? Mark. Well, this is one of those kind of a scone or a scone, or whether you like okay. or don't like Marmite kind of, kind of question. Mm. Um, I, I'm probably a bit lazy. I generally don't wash most of my fabrics before mm. I sew, but a lot of people will wash them religiously. But it can depend on what you're. Yes. What you're, what making. you're doing, that's yes. true. I made um, a dress the other day, a patchwork dress from various fabrics. So I did pre wash them all because some were dark blue and some were light blue, and I didn't want to risk the fact of running because it took me ages to make. But with a t-shirt, if it's one colour and it's light... It's a stretchy fabric. I mean, there's a good chance if you give it a good shake... Yeah. Good I guess if you're not like sure that, and you really are in doubt, just chuck it in the washing machine. Yes. And wash it. If you're talking fabrics which 
aren't stretchy. Uh, morning like... tea, may I ask what the fabric is that Mark's using, please? Yes, and Nikki's going to put it on the screen for you. It's this lovely pink sparkly jersey fabric. So I would say if you're not sure about the pre-washing, then just do it. I think so. But it, it, it won't hurt. If you're lazy like Mark and I, don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're using like a linen or a denim, yeah. then it's a good idea because those fabrics can shrink. I mean, we're not interfacing anything, so you won't have a problems with it shrinking against yeah. the interfacing. So don't worry. You could just go up a size. I know. I'm, I hate pre-washing because as soon as it comes in the post, that's it. I'm ready. Uh, ready uh, me to too. Go. Yeah, me too. And also, it, I like it when it comes. It's all pressed nicely, isn't it? You just need to give it a little iron. It's nice and crisp, and isn't it? And it's crisp, and it smells like Although new Although they fabric. do put... Uh, don't they put finishing uh, sort of mm. sprays and stuff on the fabric to I make know. it and it's really nice isn't it yeah. and I don't want to wash it <laughs> no. particularly if it's cotton fabric because it comes out slightly frayed it's very annoying mm. but um, yeah if you're in doubt at all the um, the, the fabric that Mark is working is the pink cotton Lurex jersey fabric bundle meter and a half for 22 99 what would be great for this is a complete jumpsuit wouldn't that be great be amazing matching shorts or onesie so I'm just pressing the seam allowance now. Make a nice nighty actually, wouldn't it? Yes. With that fleecy backing. Do you get cold in bed? Yes. Yes. I have an electric blanket. Do you? I love ah. it. We have we, we have one, and my husband. Do you never keep it on all night on low. No, I have it on it. It's on an hour's timer. Okay, in case you fall That's asleep. That's about enough, you know. <laughs> but he doesn't turn his side on ever. We had electric blankets that my mum and dad were given for their a wedding present in 1964. <gasps> and I'm not sure I'd use them. We were still using them up until no. the 1990s. But the, the little, they had a, like a round thing. You kind of moved the switch around, <sighs> depending on and off or level <laughs> one and two. And they broke the, these switches. Oh, wow. So dad just cut them out and joined the two ends together. I mean, what could possibly you go wrong? You should have been on a fire safety video. <laughs> It was the 90s. We did. Oh. We lived dangerously, didn't we? Oh, another mess. I've just bought the two floral fabrics and ah. now the sparkle. I'm enjoying the demo. Ah. My holiday t-shirts now sorted from Rachel Fabulous. Lewis. Fabulous. Brilliant. Well, I don't, because this is your, you know, once you bought the pattern, you can make loads then. And don't forget with patterns is you can trace them off. Yes. So if you're, people, my weight goes up and down, everyone is a bit the same. Mm. Or you might have someone else who's a different size to you also wants one. So if you chase it off, yes. you've got your master And then pattern. if you sort of change your mind that you it's come out too small or too big, you can change it. Yeah. Um, right, let's finish off so, that because we are half past gonna, nine and we've got to go on to the next one. Yes. So we're going to do the neckline. So to I've done the off. neckline so and I've just pressed it over. Now you could finish this inside seam on the overlocker if you wanted to and that would just lose all of that extra bulk. Mm. Um, otherwise you could leave it in if you wanted to. You could maybe consider doing a top stitch around the outside if you wanted to control that. But just give it a good press. And now we're going to just join it back at the other shoulder. Mm -hmm and sew down the other sleeve. So is that the, the sort shoulder. of trickiest bit to the whole t-shirt? I think so. I mean, the other bit is, a, is the sleeve. You've got two sleeves and then you're hemming it. Okay. And uh, for the hemming, you, if you've got a cover stitch, that's the perfect job for your cover stitch machine. Um, because you can just fold, and what the cover stitch will do is it will, um, on the outside, it'll run two rows of stitching, but on the inside, it gives you a kind of, like um like an overlock kind of mm. stitch on the inside so that it will secure all those loose ends okay um but on the outside gives you a nice tram line i mean this pattern is billed as absolute beginner so it, <coughs> i think so which is i guess why she's done the neckline that and the fact that you know the sleeves and the bottom are just hemmed by turning it over under by two centimeters and sewing so it is a real beginner and you can then learn from this and think, well, next time. Think, oh, well, I'm going to put this on or I'm going to make the sleeves longer. But it's lovely, isn't it? This is the one I'd be buying because having never made a T-shirt before. And it, the machine goes through this like butter. It really does. Here we go. Is the grey floral material a lot heavier than the turquoise material? I was looking for more of a traditional weight. It is heavier than the turquoise yes but it's not like thick it's not like super thick i mean if i get the t-shirt itself and show you the turquoise was quite a th go on slip it on slip it on well how am i going to do that and take my cow t-shirt off <laughs> i'll tell you what i will if you talk i'll go and put it on oh okay okay, okay. 
Yeah. I've got a t shirt on underneath. Do we have a special graphic for this? I think yeah. that would be cool. It's just oh, we do please have, don't oh, she's not in decent. Oh, God. I'm, do you know, I thought there was going to be Rebecca Reed stood there in her bra for a second. It would. Oh no, everything's coming off now. The yeah, earpiece is coming. Uh, she doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> We're going to a break, Rebecca, <laughs> quick. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I have got a t-shirt on underneath, so it might look a bit, ooh, it's a bit tight now. But I think I'm gonna... No, I think that's fab. I've lost my um, Do we have a big reveal? What a big reveal. But if you finish it, so I've just sewn the other, the other side of the neckline, and there you have the neckline finished, I've put it in the middle of the camera, Mark. It needs a bit more of a press. Mark is now our official presenter. I could do this. You could do this. Yeah, I could do this. I don't want to do the demonstrating of the t-shirt though. Well, you're a good sewer. Yeah, no, I haven't done, I told you, I've made a t-shirt before. <coughs> I've got all my microphones and everything in the wrong place. But look, what do you think? <laughs> now, I have Believe got it. a t-shirt on underneath this. <laughs> look, you see, to prove, I have got a t-shirt on underneath. So, But isn't that lovely? I wasn't shocked. I wasn't shocked. Uh, yeah, I didn't actually strip down to full underwear. I have got a t-shirt on underneath, but it's lovely, isn't it? Shall I give you a little twirl? Oh, uh, <laughs> you, the screen suddenly went straight. Went to the, went to the test card. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if, and I've got a t-shirt underneath, but it's lovely. I love the sleeve on it. So it's not, it's not really thick. It's not, it's not as thick as the one that Mark's using. No. I think, I think that's a lovely weight. And actually, it'll fit me better without my T-shirt on underneath. So I think this is definitely mine. Do you know what? John Scott would never have modelled that. <laughs> well, it wouldn't have fitted him. He's a boy. <laughs> He'd get one leg down, it wouldn't yeah. he? <laughs> um, well, I'm going to have to keep it, you see. Oh, that's it. You've got sweat on it now, haven't you? Yeah, that's it. Great demo, Rebecca. Thank you. Looks lovely on you. Glad I chose the <laughs> great floor from Pauline in Great in London. Thank you. I, told, I thought it was nice. It is. Actually, I was getting a bit hot in my jumper. Maybe in the break, I'll take off the white T-shirt and I'll just put this on. But it's oh, yeah, lovely. you could do that. But it yeah, is yeah. nice. I like it because I'm quite fussy about a T-shirt. And this oh, is a nice... You? Yeah, I don't like really thin T-shirts. No. But it's not thick, thick. But it's quality. It's, it's a nice quality thickness yeah. with that. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Mm. Whereas this is much heavier. The, 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 this pink, this pink yeah, one Yeah, that's a heavy. But that one will sit nicely, though. Absolutely. Um, but then I can mm. get cold anywhere, <laughs> so I'd be I'm very great, very grateful for a nice. Not many bundles of the grey left, guys. So if you want one, I think twenty two ninety nine is a bargain for that. If not, Rebecca's going to buy them all. Otherwise, I should be buying them all and making Mark will have to make me one. <laughs> <laughs> right, shall we move on to the jacket? Yes, was after that on the t-shirt. All you got to do is nail the sleeves on and hem it, and you've done. So do you and know it what? is absolute beginner. A morning. You'd have it nailed. Fantastic. So or sewn, or however you're putting it together. Right. So the jacket does come in two sizes. I've still got my, my wires on the outside. I'm sorry about that. Now, this, um, <laughs> this comes in two sizes. You have to choose between size 6 to 20. Is that one in the graphics now? That's size 6 to 20. So um, as a body measurement, that's a 31-inch bust up to a 45-inch bust. Or you choose size 18 to 30. There is a crossover here. Now, apparently, because we talked about this before, that the smaller one is designed for a B cup and the larger one is designed for a D cup. So if you are in the overlap, the 18, then choose whether you're a B or a D, whether you buy the larger one or the smaller one. So the larger pattern comes in a size 18 to 30. Now if you've got any questions about the sizes and the bus measurements just message us in or you can call the call centre if you want to know but we will be able to answer that because I've got all of the information. But there you go, quick take a photo of the screen. That's the sizes of the large one. Just coming in nice and close. So that's your body measurements for the larger one. Right, stay there. And that is oh hang on there we go those are the body measurements for the smaller one. Oh, i've got my fingers on <laughs> wrong fingers in the wrong place there we go those are the body measurements for the smaller one but if you've got any questions just message me in so um mark tell me about the jacket what what does the jacket feature and what does it do so What's this it is for this is a really lovely jacket it reminds me actually of the top half of your traditional uh overcoat like a mac Right. So should we bring the mannequin in? Yes. Shall I put that one on? Because I don't actually have to take any clothes off. Oh yes, that's a good idea. 
Does it go with my T-shirt? I, I think so. Does it really matter this late stage in the day? <laughs> no, not really. Not really. Ooh, let me have a little look. Now this one... Right, I'll come stand next to you. This version doesn't have all the features on. OK. Oh, right, show me what it does. <coughs> it's nice, actually. So you've got the gun flaps here and on the back. Why are they called that? I'm not entirely sure. I looked it up and that's what they're called. Oh, okay. They're called gun flaps. Gun flaps for hiding your guns. Maybe. Underneath. <laughs> The gun, well, these kind of guns. Oh, yeah, I don't, that's or, why I do wonder. I don't know. No idea. I, I think it's if it's a gun flap, is it for kind of resting a gun against? Yeah, it looks like you know when you get those um, coats when you go like poaching. Yes. Those sort of um, barber coats, they often have yeah. these on. So maybe it is for shooting. But this pheasants. continues on the back as well. If you I'll turn, turn around, so you got you got it there, and it's got the lining fabric on the underneath. But you can miss those off. You don't have to put those on at all. Oh, OK. Uh, you can turn around again there. Thank you. It does also come with a patchelette, which aren't on here. What's and in a patchelette? It's a little thing that, like, a sergeant would have his stripes on. Oh, OK. But it's an patchelette. But you can miss them off. Oh, OK, like you. these are. And it also has things on the cuffs. You can pop, like, a... Um, a like a... a, 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 a an extra sort of cuff. A, 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 like a buckle, like a belt right. thingy. Oh, I know, like you get on a trench coat. Yes. No idea what that's called. But you could also you extend the line of this. Yeah, because it's quite, this is hitting my waistline. Yeah. I'll just stand up there. So this is hitting just my waistline, but you could make it longer or shorter. It sounds to have a waistline at 60 still, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I know, it'll be gone next year, <laughs> along with these tables. So that's the jacket. Right, let me show you the fabrics because we've got a choice for you. So you've just got to choose which size pattern you have, whether you have the small, the 18 to 30, um, eight, 6 to 20 or 18 to 30. And if you've got any questions, let me know. Um, now, the fabric that I'm going to do, the fabric that I'm wearing first. Now, there is lining in this bundle so that you can line the jacket or you can use it for the um, binding of the inside mm. and for the pockets. Yeah. Only four of these left. So in the bundle, you get three metres of red linen fabric. It is beautiful. It's a real pillar box red. And you get two metres of the lining, 46 99 There's only three of these left. It's lovely, isn't it? I like red. Kind of goes with everything, doesn't it? I think so. Everyone needs a red coat. Everyone, everyone needs a red coat. And then the one that you're going to demo with is this um, camel. Would you say camel, camel? or sand? Or, or sand? I don't know. They say beige, but I don't like that word. So or what is that? Does that come out the dog? Beige. You know, that kind of it sounds like a rich tea biscuit, doesn't it? Beige. Mm -hmm. I don't mind beige food. Oh. No, no, this is sand. <laughs> or should we call it nutmeg? <laughs> <laughs> if, if it were a spice, it would be a nutmeg. Um, so you get, th and there's enough <coughs> fabric here for the largest size, because we looked. So you've got enough fabric all the way up to the largest size. So you get the um, three metres of the main fabric and two metres of lining fabric. And this is proper lining fabric as well. It's not cotton fabric, it's your nylon lining fabric, which is lovely. That kind of um, anti-static is there enough? Yes. 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 Um, then, do you fancy a black jacket? Classic black. Yeah, there is enough, yeah. Um, do you fancy a black jacket? That's a lovely smooth fabric. So that's not your linen, it's more of a suiting, this one. This would be lovely. Love this would be really good for work or for going on a night out or taking on holiday. It'd be lovely with your little floral print dress. And so you get your three metres of the main fabric and then you get two metres of the lining and this love, lovely lining fabric. Give, it gives you a lot more sort of structure, make your jacket look more professional. And then finally we have pink. Pink for the summer. So we've got three metres of the pink and again it's a lovely smooth suiting type fabric really smooth it's not super thick so it's got a nice drape to it if I give it a little swish you can see it's got that nice drape and then you get the lining fabric so you just got to choose between red black nutmeg <laughs> beige or pink sand 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 or a bit of each or a little bit of each yes so um, what are you going to show us on this what's the hard well, bit uh, there's such a lot or on should this. I say the interesting bit well there's such a lot on this mm. and you can really tailor this to what you want to get out of it if I grab the back of this you can see on here uh, all the details that you could put on if you wanted to so you can see here you've got the little wrist cuff straps the apachelettes up on the shoulder you've got pockets there as well 
um, if you wanted to and a little split at the back but you can pick and choose whichever of those you want to put on you can keep it nice and simple like the one Rebecca's wearing uh, or you can go the full hog the full fat version the full fat version the full <laughs> fat version so it's got <laughs> welt pockets now this is one of those things like an invisible zip that everybody goes oh, welt pocket mm. but if you wanted pockets without being welts you could just do patch pockets mm. if you wanted you could do pockets on the inside okay. i've got a pair of jeans that has the bum pockets on the inside oh but it's to me you could do here. You could put yeah. the pockets on the inside and top stitch them down. So you've got the detail on the outside of the stitching and mm. buttons. Okay. I'm just thinking off the cuff now. Yeah, that's true. But I think this is quite nice. I like a welt pocket. Yes. It's my. I I did one once on a waistcoat. And I did, to be fair, have a practice on something else first, mm. just in case I cut into my lovely fabric. But it does look nice. I know. I've got to do some in some really expensive silk soon. I know. I was going to grab some you. scissors. <clears throat> here we go. Um, morning Rebecca and Mark, do you know if there are any patterns for petite sized people? <laughs> Normal patterns don't fit my top half and oh, collection Greater what does Manchester. This go down to? Is it six? It Is does that... go to six. So um, I think I mean I know what I know what you mean. I have the same problem. The same problem. So I'm just seeing if the body measurements or the back length is shorter on this for the smaller sizes. So it does expect which I never really understand. Why do they expect people of size 20 to be taller than people of size 6? No idea. Because you could be as a petite size 20. Yes, exactly. Because by the point you're getting to making this, you're probably fully grown. <laughs> 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 so. Well, I was still growing in my 20s, you know. Were you? I thought I was 5 foot 11 for years until we had a medical at the bank and then they told us I was 6 foot. No. Mm. I was 5 foot 1 when I was 11 and that was it. Boom. Stopped. Five at 11. One. Never grew since. I was the tallest person in my year when I was 11. And you're on stilts now. Yeah, and that's it, then I stopped. How funny. I know, so tall at 11. I was in the netball team and everything. But now, that was it, stopped. You can barely see you over the table. Barely. Now. So um, I think you're just, it is difficult, I know. I think you just have to learn, you have to, it's not too bad, is it, shortening things? If no, you and this is quite a waist. short jacket. It is, yes. Um, Length is, I think length is probably an easier thing to adjust because you can just yeah. take it up a bit. So it's easier to shorten than or to lengthen. Or if you're very tall, it's yes. easy to want to lengthen. You could uh, just flare it's it out It's easier to do that than doing like width adjustments, isn't it? Yes, that gets a bit more complicated mm. because you've got to take into account so many different measurements. It is possible though. Mm. I have done it before. I've taken things beyond the maximum size of a pattern that hasn't been very generous on sizing. Okay. And as long as you keep following the same... Uh, formula so I where you got the different points say it's at a shoulder you get the points will stack up like that if you rule a line and then count up another one or two places then you can mark it you all around and join them all up like so if you to wanted dot. to shorten say a jacket or t-shirt where would you shorten it usually somewhere in the midpoint right um, like around the waist. it depends what you're looking for I mean if you're taking it off the length you might lose if it's got a, if it flares out, you'll lose that mm. that kind of flare at the bottom. If it kicks out, so like that jackets quite often do. But if you want to keep that, then shorten it in the middle somewhere. So, so at the point of which it's not moving, shorten yes. it at that point. Yeah. So I think that might have to be your answer. So if it was, so I've got a piece here that doesn't have the pocket in. I don't. Do you know anyone who does patterns for petite people? Because I can't think of any. Um, uh, there will be people. I can't think of one off the top okay. of my head. We'll have a think. But if you, this is another front which I'm not using. But if you wanted to shorten it, you could. You'd essentially go right like that. So, so in a place where there's no nothing going yes. on. Yes. Before you put the, as opposed to doing it like yeah. that. I mean, this is quite boxy. Mm. So, looking at this, it wouldn't make an awful difference if you just took a big, a okay. bigger chunk off there. But other patterns aren't always straight on the sides like this is. Anyway. Welt so, pockets. Welt pockets. So now, I have made a start on this just to help me along the way. So you'll need to get a nice pen. Now I've done it in this water erasable pen. You can get air erasable ones and, and heated one. one. What are they called? Heat erasable. Friction. Heat, friction pens, yeah. thank you very much. And I've marked them there, mostly so you can see it nice and boldly on the television. Um, so I've marked out where this goes. Now that's the outside of the welt, that is the cutting line in the middle. I've already 
interfaced my welt and folded it in half. Now there is a nice bit of maths going on here if, if it helps people to work out how it's going together. Now the opening of the welt is three centimetres. That distance from the stitch line to there is also three centimetres and that will cover that square I've marked out there. And then you've got your seam allowance of a centimetre and a half. So that's how it goes together and it overhangs ever so slightly so we can just tuck it into the sides. So now the next point to do Oh, it's also, before I move on, it's interfaced on the back. Okay. Which is really important because it helps it give a nice bit of structure. And when you're interfacing, make sure it's interfaced correctly. Because when I've been teaching workshops, I have noticed people just go with the iron and just go, and then it's off again. <gasps> and it won't stick. No. It needs to go. Wendy Gardner, so do you remember Wendy? Yes, yes. She went like that. She'd leave it. She goes one and to and up to 10 seconds or whatever you, that yes. product needs and then move it to another patch you can use a cloth as well right so don't just leave it on the fabric but don't just press it it needs you don't just go time. like that it won't it won't work okay so what we're going to do is follow this line and on my cutting mat and i'll switch to my scissors now and what you want to do is snip along that line but oh hang on a minute <laughs> Have you got your blunt scissors yeah, there? <laughs> yes. They need to work right to the tip. They look nice and fancy. Mm. It's just you, for shape. They're just our shapes. They just look nice. Yeah, they look good you need the, to snip right up to the rack. <laughs> <laughs> just absolutely useless. Right up to the stitching. And the same on the other side. This is probably the most nerve wracking part of it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Especially when it's your expensive material. No, I've missed a stage out, you know. Hmm? I've missed a stage out. Have you? I have. It's fine. Oh well. It's fine. Oh well. So what I should have done first is put this on. But it's fine. It's fine. So this is the lining. Now you can change these lining pocket shapes. If you want a bigger pocket, yeah. just make a bigger pocket bag. Okay. You could fill the whole bottom section if you really wanted to with a massive pocket. For keeping your jelly babies in. Exactly. Jelly babies. Gosh, I've not had a jelly baby in a long time. Mm -hmm. I like a jelly baby. So we'll just pin this in place. And the, the trick is to keep sewing over the same lines. And it will all just happen like magic. So the bit you missed out was sewing that is bit to on. to do this. So do okay. this first. And then cut. Don't do what I've done. Oh, and then you cut through that you and cut through. Th oh, right, you, okay. You've got it. You've got it. Uh, so, oh, so you just pin it on then? I've just pinned it on. You could tack it in place if you wanted to. Now I'm going to sew on these same lines. So just to so this is like doing a post box opening in, like when you put in a bag with a zip. Oh. Same sort of theory. Straight stitch again, Mark. Hang on a minute. I was doing a zigzag stitch. <laughs> That's not going to work. Oh, I do that so many times. I set it to like five or six for gathering and then forget and then get to the whole length of a seam and realise it's too big. There we so go. So this is like when you do a post box opening to put a zip in. You cut it and then you sew all the way around the lines. Yeah, so you're... It's a, exactly. And the welt will cover it. Mm. It's a very long time since I made... I did it, so I... I'd have to start from scratch. If you're nervous about this, then just have a little practice. You'll have off cuts from your fabric, mm. so just have a just have a little play and see how it feels before you dig into your main fabric. You don't have to mark it with big fat felt tips. If you felt confident, you could just use a bit of chalk or you could just Live life on the edge and eyeball it. <laughs> right, let's get my cutting mat back again. Let's just cut this last, just cut this last layer out. I'm actually going to do it from this side so I can see where I've, where I've cut previously. We're just going to cut into the corners. These triangles which you'll, you've got will be really essential later on. Why can't I cut through that layer? One message. If you don't have a cover stitch machine, will a twin needle work? 
I presume that's for the um, T-shirt you're talking about, Lisa. Uh, it won't do quite the same job because on a cover stitch machine, it's actually creating a a, a looped effect on the underside, like right. an overlocker. Yes. Um, and what that does is that then encases all those raw edges in underneath that. Okay. So you won't get that, but you will get the finishing on the out on the front. on the outside okay. yes you will still get the, the correct finishing effect so a cover stitch you'll get the sort of the twin needle effect plus the finishing on the back yes but it depends what you or like i said just leave it un, unfinished yeah. i mean like this one but it's fine have you got a cover stitch i do but I do, I'm not mm. one for you so you much. You do do quite a bit of dressmaking, though, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't do much. Well, I don't do much in the way of stretch fabrics, really, usually. So it's really important on this to get your, your slit right up to that point in the corner. There. OK. So now we can pop everything through. And you need to give everything a jolly good press and you'll see it's coming together mm. so where's the side of me lining oh it's fine yeah we've only got fine. a couple of minutes and, and then i'm going to run so through if the I products start again to press this into place you'll see that that's your welt coming together so you'll end up that will get pushed inside there this is why you need to sew right up get it nice and mathematical that will be tucked you'll tuck that through okay and then the welt oh i see it covers the opening that's it and then you'll give it a press i haven't got time to press it properly now but you give that a nice press and then the next stage will be to put the lining on the back and to sew those triangles to your welt uh, okay so it's just nice and neat so that yes and that will so that will fix that down and then you get your other lining piece i haven't got it in the right place yet but you'll pop that together like that and you'll whiz around fantastic thank you very much for that that's Smash lovely in. lovely thank you for my two garments um <laughs> we will see you back here in an hour i'll be here all about the jean yes Jean Jean. To that. I like making trousers at the moment. I know well, you've got a notice short. No, no one can see them. I can I see them. I do you. have trousers on, I promise. <laughs> yeah. He's actually got his brush cotton pajama bottoms on. <laughs> <laughs> no, he has got his jeans on. Um, so we'll see Mark back here in an hour. I'm just going to quickly run through the um, two patterns again. We've got the t-shirt pattern, the Bilberry t-shirt. This is in sizes 8 to 20. 17 pounds gorgeous and as you can see it is for the absolute beginner so if like me you've never made a t-shirt but want to have a go and honestly it's worth it so i'm wearing the one that mark's made it's lovely very it's yours. nice t-shirt it's yours it's mine it's, it's mine it, i think it's my color and i think it looked much better when i've got another t-shirt on underneath <laughs> um all the fab i'm going to do the other patterns that we i haven't got long left have i um all the other fabrics are on the website. If you click on sewingstreet.com, click on watch live and scroll down there, you will see we've got the gray floral one, which is one I'm wearing. In the bundles, there is enough t-shirt fabric to make the largest size. You've got plenty. Um, there's the gray, the turquoise are sold out. We've got the gray floral, the navy floral, the mustard, and the pink sparkle. So they are all on the website. There's enough fabric. Any questions, as I say, message in. If you want to make the jacket that I'm wearing here, the um, smaller size, size is 6 to 20, is this one. So that is £17 for that pattern. Beautiful. Really good jacket, actually, for the summer because you can make it in, you know, one of them, we've got some suiting fabrics and some linen fabrics. So ideal jeans white t-shirt little red jacket lovely over a summer dress you can wear them really nice when you want to just dress something it up a bit without it being too formal um, and then we have the other size which is the size 18 to 30 that's that one that's on the screen now this one size is 18 to 30 we've got four different bundles for this the red linen we've got black sand and pink and there is enough fabric in the bundles to make up to the largest size it's so, not pink it's not pink it's rose it's rose yes it's not pink 
It's rose. Rose, yes. <laughs> it's not beige. It's rose. <laughs> so um, have a look on the website if you want to see them. I'm going to um, go now because we've got to get Anna on today. We've got Anna from Alice Caroline here in just a couple of minutes' time showing us how to make row two and three of this absolutely beautiful quilt. So if you want to um, make yourself a Liberty quilt, have a go at EPP. I'll show it. see you back here in a couple of minutes' time. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us.
If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Welcome back to Sewing Street and to this fantastic, I'm going to stand to one side, beautiful Liberty quilt. It's amazing, isn't it? It's so beautiful um, and it's so fine, fine, because it's using EPP, which is just a beautiful, fine and perfect technique, using fantastic Liberty Tarn Lawn as well. So even lovelier. Um, it, we, when were you first on air with this, Anna? Can you remember the date? April the 3rd. Right, April the 3rd. Third, I think, yes. Okay, where we did work, so it's been split into sections. Into rows, Into yes. rows, and why is that then? Well, just so that we can do it over okay. time. Because it's time to make it, gives you Caroline HQ. <laughs> so in theory, it's so that when you buy each row, you make it ready for the next row. Yeah, it's okay. kind of like a sew a, sew a row as you go, I suppose. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's gorgeous. It's got 70 Liberty Tana Lawn prints in no. it. Yeah, it's kind of, we, we like to think of it as a bit of a, an heirloom quilt. Right, You know, yes. people like to date their quilts by mm. the fabrics, like the seasonal fabrics that come out. Okay. So uh, it, it's got everything that you need for an heirloom quilt. So, you know, you can, you can say, this is my quilt that I made in 2022. Yes. Well, it's, it's Liberty Lawn, isn't it? I mean, some of these prints are really old as well, aren't they? Yeah, some of them date, you know, they date back to when Liberty first started producing fabrics. When you know, was like, that? Well, well, 19, 1930s and 40s. Gosh. You know, so some of them date, so there's some really famous prints in there that, um, you know, there's some William Morris prints in there. You'll, you'll find oh, the wow. plot that I did last time has got a few William Morris sort Which of designs. Which are the William Morris ones then? So you've got the Loddon up in that, that pink one up there. This is a William Morris. Oh, okay. Um, there'll be a Strawberry Thief somewhere. Is that a William Morris? That's a William oh. Morris. That's, the people on Gogglebox have that on their chair. They do, you know do. That? yes. Yeah, that's yes, a Yes, they do. That, that's why I was thinking that's a William Morris. And Strawberry Thief is bound to be in here somewhere, um, which, uh, that's a William Morris. Okay. Yeah, so there's, there's lots of sort of heritage designs right, and okay. prints that go throughout. And the I guess if you had to buy 70 different fabrics it would cost an absolute fortune wouldn't it well it would and you know it that's what that's why we produce these kits mm. so that people can you can have just the right amount of liberty because liberty you know it is at the higher end of the quality and the price range but you know to buy a smaller bit of it to make your heirloom quilt is just perfect it is lovely. So talk me through the design process. How, how did it all, how did you start with these things? Yeah, so you go into the studio. We have 700 prints at Alice Caroline. We have... Wow. Yeah, so we, we have... Well, 700. Of, yeah. I was quite impressed when you said there's 70 of this, but you had 700 to We have 700 from. to choose from. We, we like to choose fabrics that are like a range of seasonals and classics. Okay. So that and the seasonals help you to... to the process of dating the quilt. Lots of people quite like that heirloom dating right. of, of the quilt. So there'll be seasonals in here. There'll be you know tea dress fabrics from the 1950s. That kind oh, up there. Oh, this one, this yellow one. That yellow one. You oh, took a bit wow. too short to reach the top of the quilt. Yeah. So we get we get all the fabrics so out. We put the ranges obviously together. Obviously, ever discontinue anything. They, they do. Yes, right. they do. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So they produce two seasonal collections a year. Literally. Okay. So those are a lot for dressmaking and right. you know for uh, well not always but, mm. but they are designed quite a lot for shirt yeah. making and dressmaking so they will sell those to you know the Paul Smiths of the world to make mm. to make shirts and things um, so we use a lot of classics in what we do because they're much more uh, they're better for um, EPP they're better okay for, so Liberty is perfect for EPP because you know so the the higher the high thread count in it of means course. that there's such intricate designs i mean look at look at the design in that and i mean yeah the it's fine lines i'm always of it. amazed because it's such tiny scale but it's yeah. so perfect that's that's why it's perfect for epp because right. you because you're basically cutting up pieces of fabric and into mm. smaller pieces and wrapping them around paper then it's you know it's perfect for this process yeah, it is. yeah. 
but then you've got some planes in here as well yeah we've got some planes they're quilting co they're high quality okay. quilting cotton right so th everything else is tarna but all the planes are high quality quilting quilting cottons you know it works really well together doesn't it and yeah. I love the heirloom thing I like the fact you've got your tea dress here and you've got your William Morris here yeah yeah and then you've got this my my favorite one the Betsy the Betsy oh you were telling me that I you know. made a quilt out I of made Betsy. a quilt for a friend of mine for her first baby and it was birds it was called the blackbird quilt all the birds face one way except for the black one that faced the other way oh, so the oh one. that's a really good that's i know a good idea but i made them all in liberties instead yeah. and they looked um but they were all in mostly in the betsy which is beautiful yeah it's my favorite one it's one of the most popular liberty prints the betsy so the ones that you keep in stock are obviously the more timeless ones although well, 700. We have 700. But 700 so we have a lot of liberty wow, in stock that is a lot <clears throat> yeah so yeah we're one of the biggest liberty sellers in the world wow. so um yeah and this is why we can produce kits like this you know mm. because we've got that huge range of choice which you need don't you you, you do you can't do it with just a few and we love a rainbow at alice caroline so everything <laughs> yeah. about us is a, is a rainbow so we we that you were asking about mm. the design process mm. so we, we would put all the bolts together and choose the bolts right you know, and go through that process and you know and then you know a lot of it is working out the the, the sort of geometric maths of of the design yes because they're all hexagons they're all hexagons but they're different patterns within different the hexagon patterns. you're gonna ask me how many patterns aren't you uh there are i, th I think they're all different they Don't look, quote me on that. They might all have an slight, intricacy of slight the changes, slight but they're all hexagons joined together with triangles, but prints within those. But yeah, it is, yeah. I mean, this is such a unique opportunity to be able to it is. buy these yeah. rows. It is. So when we did row one, we sold out. We did sell out, yeah. I'm not surprised. I know. It's gorgeous. I'm not surprised either because it's beautiful and, and lots of people just... They simply love making just love it and even if you don't mean need to go to make it now it's something you keep isn't it i Absolutely. feel it's an investment in your retirement <laughs> we don't have to be retired to do it i'm obsessed with EPP no but if I'm you're thinking retired. i haven't got time now then it's, it's an investment isn't it because well, you're gonna have loads is, of time the thing well, yes but the thing with epp is for those people who don't know what it is mm. it's it's slow hand stitching it's you know you can take it out and about with you you can take it to oh i mean i'm endlessly on the football sideline <laughs> of a football yeah. pitch so i would just take it out and about with me yeah it's really good for the train or absolutely yeah and i like to keep my hands holiday. busy watching t you know watching tv mm. in the evening that's when i that's when i do mine but so. even if i think it's if you haven't got time you think well i've got too many projects on the go it's really nice to have something like this to dip really in and out easy of easy to pick up and put yeah. down yeah you're dipping in and out is perfect because it, you know when you're sewing a garment or something mm. you have to really sort of concentrate and you probably well do, you forget do. yeah sometimes you forget where you are but yeah. with epp you don't have you to don't, worry about it you can just it. pick it up and then put it back down again i have like a little a pouch where i keep all my pieces in mm. for that particular block you can keep your and then you just when you finished a block you just lie them flat you know store them until you're ready to to put wow. it, piece it all together and i absolutely love it so what's the finished size of it it is 61 inches 61 inches square 156 yep. centimeters yeah. so you could use it as a wall hanging it's nice as a lap quilt it's a lovely wall hanging you know on the sofa yeah it is yeah, isn't yeah, it it's gorgeous yeah i'd like to say picnic quilt but i don't think i'd want to sit on it <laughs> it's a bit nice for a picnic i know quilt, isn't it? but it's the right size indoor but picnic i quilt. just yeah i just don't think i would but as long as you don't have dogs but wouldn't it be a lovely <laughs> cot quilt as well it would absolutely. yeah or a single bed you know put on the end yeah like, you know I made my mum and dad one actually and it and they have it on the end of their bed it's beautiful it's, it's isn't gorgeous it? so let's go through the kits to start yeah. with and then we'll have a chat about epp because you're yeah, going to yeah. show us how to do it exactly so yeah. um we sold row one before and we sold out completely however if you missed out or if you didn't see the last one we do have a very few left in stock so <clears throat> but we're going to be concentrating today on row two and row three so actually you can see row two, this is row two because row one's a bit high and this is row three so if you've already bought row one and you want row two that is this one here um i'm allowed to open it as well which is even more exciting so you have got all of the fabrics wow look at them how where else would you get all of these you've got all of the fabrics and obviously the instructions to make row two 
let's just have a look at the fabrics. Look at these. So these are, um, you're not waste having to waste money on Liberty Fabric you don't need. So they're all cut to exactly the right size. Um, as Anna said, there will be little scraps left over so that, you know, if you're like me, I, I'm not very good at keeping fabric scraps, but I do keep my Liberty scraps. So there will be little bits left over, but you're not really paying for what you don't need. So look at the colours in red too in row two. I love this. I mean, again, all the prints are just tiny and delicate, aren't they? Look at the prettiness of that. And what I love about Liberty Fabrics, it doesn't matter what the colour is and what the print is. They just go together. Oh, you're absolutely right. Why is that? They just do. They just do, don't they? That's why we do everything. In, well, we don't do everything in a rainbow, but we do a lot of things in mm. a rainbow. But they it? just go, don't they? Yeah. So, they and do. in other fabrics, that sort of wouldn't happen. And exactly. I never understand that. Well, they're all fl mainly florals, aren't they? Florals or foliage. Yeah, but they're very so. different colours. They are. Yeah. So, you know, you've got really bright, like, look at this red, and then you've got very pale pastels like this. But they go together. They do, yeah. Beautiful. So look at these, are all of the ones you get in row two. So you've got reds and pinks. Very, very busy. If you want row two, you need to get checking out. You, in, get, if it's in your basket, you need to be checking out because it's very, very busy. Look at those two. Oh, there's that. That's the Almost Morris. half the stock has already <clears throat> gone. There's the William Morris. Mm. Can spot that one. Yeah. That's beautiful, isn't it? I absolutely love that. But if you have missed out before, if you missed out last time, then we do have a few of row one left. So you can get that one and then put row two in as well. Oh, I missed two of those. See, look at the colours. I mean, these look, these two are the same prints. They absolutely are. Absolutely That's a really famous beautiful. one called Capel. Oh, is it? Yeah. I know. I recognise them. I never. I, the only one I know is Betsy's. What its actual name is. And that's Mitzi. That's also a really famous oh, one. Yes. Based I'm... on Japanese cherry blossom. Oh, is it? And mm. I love this <clears throat> one. Oh, yeah. It's gorgeous. Is that one quite old? It is. Because the <clears throat> colours look really like the vintage. 19, 1950s, I right. think. Right. That's beautiful. Let me show I'm going to hold that one up for you. They've probably so recoloured it since then, though. That's what they, they take the old prints and then they'll change the colourways right. when but they produce new classics. But it looks very 50s, it doesn't does, it? Yeah. I love that. And then you've got your plain fabrics, obviously, that you need for the background sections and for the leaves. But, where's my little envelope there? You? you also get an envelope, which is the most exciting part. Well, no, the fabric <laughs> is the most exciting part. Particularly good part of all the paper shapes. So you haven't got to print out in large cut out or anything these are all cut especially for you they are all the paper shapes that you need this is super busy super busy if you want to get roto you need to get checking out i mean we only have a quarter of the stock left i mean this is the best bit for me because cutting out these shapes is hard isn't it yeah yeah i mean the pre-cut shapes are and even a definite if you're bonus. slightly off it means it doesn't all join together when that when epp was first invented i suppose in like the 70 was mm. it 1780s 1790s they would have had to have drawn their shapes on they used old <laughs> letters and old newspapers and all you know and, and that's how lots of these quilts can be dated when they okay. first well, came when out when i used to do epp as a teenager i drew them all out and cut them out yeah i did as well right <laughs> But these, you've got them all, all of the shapes you need. So you've got triangles, diamonds, big hexes. It's all in there, all in the bag. So what a beautiful quick. You really do need to check out. We have got loads of you with this in baskets. So you really need to check out. That's row two. And obviously, all of the instructions. You've got a picture of the whole quilt and then all the very detailed instructions. And I like the bit. It tells you about your fabrics in here. And where they come from yeah we love doing that just I because lots of people lovely. are really interested in the heritage of liberty so that yellow one i like aiden edenham's timeless design draws upon their archive floors and features a fresh graphic layout with bright colors and wider spacing so you've got all of the information um in the instructions about them i think that's really our betsy ann it was small scale virgin I so shouldn't. you're down the rabbit hole of Liberty yeah, Fabrics it. already, I'm aren't down you? this now, I'm reading all of this. So um, everything you need to know, see it tells you all about all the fabrics in here, it's all in there, everything you need. So that is for row two. Don't forget, if you've missed out, we do have a very few of row one left, if you want to get that as well. I'm going to do row three as well, because those are the two we're selling today, and then I will put those back. Which one is that? Have I got that's row three. So row three features. Oh, I love love this fabric. Oh yeah, that's stunning, isn't it? 
It is. And I like the colour of that. That feels very vintage. I think I must be drawn to the vintage ones. But this is one of my all-time favourite Liberty fabrics. I love that. Yeah. I don't even know what colour that is. Teal. Teal. Blue. I'm so drawn to teal. Yeah. <clears throat> so in row three, because those are the two, we're only selling row two. There are five parts in total, by the way, because row four, and then we've got a finishing pack that will be number five. June the 10th. June the 10th is the row, it's row four mm -hmm. and then the finishing. And that's a Friday. I'm normally on at the weekend, so oh, okay, that is a Friday. Friday. If I bought my first pack today, how long would you guarantee the other packs would be available so I'm not the quickest sewer? Uh, well, I would recommend that you buy them yes. all, and then it doesn't really matter how quickly no, no, you No, you just sew, got them then. But <clears throat> we can guarantee, you know, like if you... If you want them, they, you know we've made yeah. we have made quite a lot of them. Okay, so, you know I'm sure. But especially so if you get them now, because then you've got them already. Because if you definitely want to make it, but you won't have to buy them all because you can only <coughs> buy one, two, and three up till now. Anyway, we haven't got four and five on sale. And then those will those will be available in June. But in we'll June. probably do full quilt kits in June as well. Okay, depending on you know depending on numbers yeah. and things. So yeah. Um, yeah, but I would get them if I was you. Cause, but you don't. You can have it already, can't you? So packs, um, row three. Look at these fabrics. Look at that. Oh, one of the question. Oh, that was the last question. <laughs> <laughs> On a day's holiday, I've managed to get both rows today. Busy doing a warm up to it by doing <laughs> the wall hanging with Dresden plate, apple core. Ooh. From the last, from the show. last, yeah. Show. So we did an over the rainbow Dresden plate. You can still get some of those books oh, okay. actually on Sewing Street. Yeah, that's that's also a really, really it's nice. It's beautiful quilt. that one, isn't it? Yeah. Well, lucky you having a day's holiday for it. Hi, what is the finish size of the quilt, please? It's 152 centimeters square. Can I know that? Which is 61 by 61 inches. That's the finish size. So this is row three. Look at that. That's my favourite one. Oh no, this is gorgeous. So now I'm going to have a look in here because it's going to tell me about that one. So you've got in the instructions, let me just show you so you can see for row three, you've got, um, I'm just waiting for it to come on screen. 79.99 for row three, 79.99 for row two. Now these are both available on split pay as well. So if you want to um, spread it across two equal payments of 39.99, um, it is interest free. So what happens is you pay your 39.99 today and then you get sent it straight away. And then the next month, the other 39.99 will be taken out, but you don't pay interest on that. You, it's just a way of you spreading the payments. So row three, this beautiful fabric is, because it tells you all in here, um, Capel, is that how you say it? Capel. Capel was inspired by a vintage style of Liberty floors dating from the 1930s and has been part of the Liberty collection since 1993. There we go. So the instructions have got all the, all the pictures, <laughs> all the pictures, information about all the fabrics, layouts and cutting guides so you can see look exactly which fabric is used in which which section really easy and i like the fact you've put pictures on makes it a lot yeah, easier to understand the yeah because lots of people because you need a, a quarter inch seam allowance if you cut it the wrong way you, you might you know particularly right. with the large hexes do pay particular attention to your cutting so we're going to be going through the intricacies of EPP and is going to be demonstrating that for us in a minute so we know exactly how to do it but I think that's brilliant because it makes it a lot easier for yeah. cutting out and then you've got all of the EPP instructions you've got individual diagrams of the finished blocks as well so this is the same for whichever pack you buy you will have this for all of them so this is row three but these fabrics oh I love this one these are like little pansies that's in row three this is the lovely um, dark coloured one that's on the points of one of those hexes. This is so lovely. Gosh, it must take ages to cut all these out. What, what do you mean? Well, rectangles, in, you know, yeah. all to the same size. Oh, we've got an amazing team <laughs> of people who... <laughs> who <laughs> love cutting out small rectangles. <laughs> I know, yeah. but just think, if they've got to all be cut out and folded and kitted. I mean, that... It's yeah, takes they a long it, time, and they package them so beautifully. They as well, are so they look really nice. Absolutely beautifully packaged. So these are beautiful, aren't they? These are, you've got pinks and blues and florals. Another lovely vintage. I'm sure that must be a vintage one. I love that one. 
but it's all the sizes that you need so you're not having to pay for extra fabric which I always think is a bonus and some nice yellows as well that's your Betsy favorite so this pack row row three is just as busy as the other row so if you want to get it it's um very very low in stock now so if you want to get it you need to get it in your basket you can choose when you come to check out you can choose whether you go for the split pay option or whether you pay it all up front entirely up to you um but i would suggest so is it june the 9th that you're back uh 10th 10th Friday. june the 10th um, Anna will be back to do row four, the final two parts. So I would suggest, you know, get these now and then don't forget, put a note in your diary that it's due the 9th, that she will be back for the next two rows. So that's rows two and three. If you want row one, it's on the website. I'm not going to open all the pack, but that's the one. We've only got a few of those left. Um, and one final one that has nothing to do with this. But at all, everything to do with liberty. That's upside down. Oh, sorry. I could have sunflowers yeah, at the top. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have clocked that when I'd seen it. This is glittery. Is it glittery? Was it just. No, it's not. No. It's just the way that the. I thought it had glitter. It's the way the um, camera picks up the reds. It makes it look almost shiny, doesn't it? Um, so tell me about this one, this little wall hanging. So that's our summer mini sampler. We, we did a spring one. We're going to do an autumn and a winter one oh, as okay. well. Uh, yeah, so it's a, it's a mini quilt. So it's a sampler quilt. So you so have that's this three one different here, techniques it? in it. So you've got your English paper piecing. So this is an English paper piece block, mm. English paper piecing. You've got raw edge applique oh, okay. blocks. And then you've got... Um, a piecework block there. Oh, that's lovely. So, if you wanted it? to have a go at like different techniques, so if you've never done patchwork piecing before, it's mm. really, really simple, but you know, like a really um, a basic one, it's a really great way to learn new. Yeah, so new you've techniques. got your applique here. Yeah, and it's a really sweet, it's a really, really sweet pretty project. So you could use it as a cushion cover or a Oh, that's true so it's 17 and a half inches square there's the um kit on the screen now but if you want to have a go like um and sort of lit little areas do some applique um do some english paper piecing do some piecing it's really pretty i did a demo on that on the 3rd of april so right, if you okay. want to go back and have a look so have a look you on youtube put in sewing street 030422 and then you'll be able to see the demonstration for that that's 59.99 and that that's all the materials on top of that you would need some wadding but it's all the backing fabric and the binding yep and all the pieces and, and the all session, the instructions yep. a big it's a big kit isn't it it's quite a, a full one so if you want that one that's 59.99 it's the summer mini sampler kit there's the kit for that one okay right Anna tell me about EPP and where do we start when so I've got my pack home so you've got your pack I'm very home. excited you read read it mm. pay attention to the cutting diagrams because you need to obviously cut the certain amount of of prints so of does it tell you about how to cut out the fabric because that'd be my bit like oh i don't want to get this wrong you, well you've got your cutting guides okay so you can there's two ways of cutting out the fabric right. you can either use a rotary cutter okay and you, if you've got the same size prints and the same amount you can you can multi-cut so uh so you can use a rotary cutter for it or you can just use a regular pair of scissors i think one of the brilliant things about english paper piecing is that you don't need many tools for it you can get lots of tools mm. if you want to but yeah you know, i'm just going to use i'm going to cut it a quarter inch seam so you can see so do you, when you cut yours do you just guess i've done quite a lot of English <laughs> <paper> piecing, <laughs> so i yes you, you yes i do but you'll it's probably the best piece of advice is to so for example you get if, I'll show you on this one you can you can layer up your pieces so to sh if you're worried about it get your cutting guide mm. and there are templates for these there are templates so for example you can you can layer it up I need to get such and such amount from this piece you with me yes so yes. lay it out first okay because it says in the instructions it shows you a picture of the fabric <coughs> and it tells you how many pieces you need to get out yeah. of them so it'll be 6 12 it, it, the hexagons work on um, sixes obviously it has six sides so I'm making this block 
So I've got one okay. piece out of that middle one, and that could just be a square, so you only have to get one piece out of that one, so that's a good place to start. And then you have to get six pieces, six half hexes out of the out of the blue. So it's 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 very it's all one of the things that we class ourselves on. Alice Caroline are doing very easy instructions. Okay. So um, well, you've been doing them for a long time. Yes, and <laughs> English paper piecing is, you know, it's not complicated. If you wanted to start a new thing, you know, it's gr it's a great way. So um, you, you follow the instructions to make sure you cut out everything properly from each yes, piece of fabric. Yes. What I, what I would do was I would cut out, I would cut out all six of those, and then I would move to my basting. So right. basting, you can use either thread basting. Some people really like thread basting. I prefer glue, so I'm just going to use a, a glue pen. I'm sure you have these on your website. Yes, well, we normally those have those on the website. I don't know, have we got them at the moment? The hemline glue pens. So some, I always used to be very anti-glue because I thought it was cheating until I used it and I realised it was marvellous. <laughs> <laughs> some people really do agree with you. And until they use it. <clears throat> uh, so I'm gluing the paper. Well, I think you get a more exact, precise finish. What, with, with glue. glue basting? Well, uh, if you're careful about your thread basting, it doesn't really matter. No. But the only thing that you have to do at the end, obviously, is to take the yeah. threads out. And don't be tempted to use a print stick. I tried that. No, don't. don't. No, don't, don't. use a print stick. It's really hard <coughs> to get it off. Some people are a bit scared about the fact that it's blue and they worry about it staying <laughs> in the fabric, but it, it doesn't at all. And because it's water soluble, it's if, you, if you prepare them all and sew your block, and then leave it for six months, which is mm. quite common. Um, and it, it can, the glue can have set a bit harder, but it just, just a little bit of water would get it off. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yes, what I was amazed at is you can glue them quite some time in advance and they stay glued. Oh yeah, they do, yeah, yeah. They're great, these Soline glue pens, they're, they're, they're brilliant. And so you can just use thread if you wish. I showed that at the last show. Okay. So. <clears throat> Again, you would just sew through the paper and the... Well, it depends what you prefer, but you know, if you've not tried EPP before, then give both methods a go and choose which one you like the best. Yes. Yeah, obviously thread basting does take longer. But there some people that. really do swear by it. You need to not wrap it too tightly around because you need to be able to catch the threads of the fabric. Okay. So, you know, a snug fit, you can see from that that it's a snug fit but not so tight that you've got no flexibility. So when you base them as well, I know that's something a lot of people wonder, is all those ends that you've got sticking out, do you, what, what's well, they the, get... So when you're basting, if you've never basted before, yeah. as in tack them or glue them around, <coughs> you just leave them sticking out, you don't fold them in or? You leave them sticking out right. because, well you can see, so I've started this because I wanted it to look like a thing, otherwise, because yeah. it, take, you know, it takes a while. You can see that they're going to you know, get tucked inside. Yeah, I know it's just something that people ask. They think you need to tuck them underneath as you're basting. So you, you don't just need leave to. them sticking out. You don't need to at all unless you're, unless you're going to applique this onto right. the end of something. Okay. So I, what I do is I work in a sort of a circular motion around the outside. You can follow your Right, so your yeah, guide each set of here. instruction has a... So You've that's got this the lovely guide which basically shows you... you assembly. Know, yes, exactly. And so we're going to move on to sewing. I can actually pick that up. So I'm going to use a gold tip needle. Okay. Because they What sort are, of needle is it? It's, uh, this is a 10, but I would recommend between a nine and a 10, sharp. Sharp. Yeah. Because the, the Liberty fabric is quite fine. Right, okay. Because some people use between, some people use milliners. You can you use, use a sharp. Whichever is your, pref I use sharps, but right. you can use whichever is your preferred. And what about thread? I'm using Orofil, so we 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 use or I do sell Orofil here. Yes. We sell Orofil, and uh, it's my preferred one. Okay. It's it's lovely, fifty weight. Just so normal. Yeah, normal. You can if you want to use a cheaper thread. You can. I mean, they do. Does the price of Orofil is more expensive, but um, but that's just your normal sewing weight. It is. Okay. So I've used a thread conditioner, thread magic, or beeswax, or okay. whatever is Why your is that? preferred. It stops knotting as much. Mm. I say as much because I'm bound <laughs> to get a knot. <laughs> it stops most knotting then. <clears throat> and also, I quite like to anchor the thread here, which means uh, tying a little knot in it. 
because it stops endless rethreading. Okay, and that still goes through the fabric? It does, yeah. Can't actually pick it up. It oh, so where do you, oh, that's, I've not tried that. So where do you knot it? Just at the top. Near, so you knot it round the needle? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, that, so some people might, might not like that, but no, you know, no, it's like an extra all knot. All I, I love the fact that it stops Absolutely. it pulling through. So I'm very just, heavy handed, you see, with so my sewing. So once you threaded it, you just knot it around the eye of the needle? Yeah, knot it around the bottom for your, for your thread anchoring at the bottom and then just knot it around the eye. And then for people who've never done EPP before, all we're doing is we're putting right sides together. I just need to tell them, we've um, got more people who've got row one in baskets than we've actually got in stock. So if you want row one, you need to get it checked out. Just do that now quickly. Um, Great. Row two and row three, we've only got less, well, less than 20 of each left. So you need, if you've got them in your baskets, you need to check out or you're gonna miss out because we did have quite a lot in stock. Okay, sorry. Yeah, Anna. no, that's fine. I wouldn't want people <laughs> to miss out. Just needed to warn everyone. If it's, it's sitting there <coughs> in your basket and you're watching. So all we're doing is we're trying to catch a few threads of each. Can we, are we are, oh yeah, we are nice and Can closed up. Can you see up. me? Yeah. So starting a thread, how do we, where do we start? You start at the very But do you join. knot it or how do I've you knotted it at it? the bottom, yes. Okay. Yeah. All, it will all be hidden. Yeah. Basically, behind, behind the, um, the block. So I'm, yeah, so you're just catching as few a threads as you possibly can, which makes it invisible in the front. It, I, I, I'm not a, you know, some people want it to be completely invisible, but I, I love seeing hand stitching in, in well, hand stitch done, projects. Well, they would have done, wouldn't they? Mind Absolutely. you, this, this one, I have to say, is not, can't really see the hand stitching in here. Oh, that's definitely the block I made. <laughs> <laughs> we all, everyone at Alice Caroline made Oh, Each I of see. Us, oh, well, really? lots of people like pulled together to make the blocks because we had to get it ready for the show. Right. <clears throat> and um, you know, each block just takes several hours to make, so we wanted it to be ready for for the last show. So we were all we were all wow. frantically sewing it, trying to get it ready. I know, but some of them actually look machine stitched. You can't see anything. There's no amazing. machine. Yeah. Well, that, that probably won't be mine. <laughs> That's quite amazing. <laughs> yeah. Some of them. I'm fast. There's not a lot like, of difference, but, no. though, but I think the hand stitching <laughs> is what gives EPP its charm anyway, isn't it? Oh, absolutely, yeah. So how close do you put your stitches together? Because I know this is often something people say. Yeah, is. I so don't know how I'm probably to doing together. about uh, 10 stitches per inch. Lots of people do 20 to 30, <gasps> but that's like... That would be... Uh, I think, I I'm, like a, I think I'm a bit of a lazy EPP. -er. I think I'd probably do less than 10, to be honest. <coughs> I, I think, think I'm I, just... A... I think I'm quite a lazy EPP -er too, but mm. I'm... It stays together, though. It does. Sometimes. Yeah. Well, it's all enclosed. <laughs> I haven't had... I haven't known to have a quilt that's, you know, develops holes over time. But yeah, you so just, have I. It's really easy to, to sew them back yeah. together. And I'm annoyed, I get annoyed about that, because I think I've started that off really securely. I went over-sewed it several times. How yes. has it come undone? <laughs> yeah. Um, what are the top tips? Oh. So you put a knot in to start with, and then that's what secures yes. the beginning. Yeah. And then what I would do is I wouldn't, when you finish a piece, this is why I sew sort of in a circular motion, so I would carry on sewing all these green pieces around the outside. Right. Because you can just carry on with your thread. You don't have to finish mm. it off. You would just carry on sewing the next piece on. Okay. Rather than fin the, the less finishing, the better, because obviously, you know. So do you kind of work out a path? Yes. So for this one, I would sew all the blue ones round, then the green. But what about, so do you then go all the way around? What about these sort of lines? So you go like <coughs> that way and then that way? They are, yes, well, you would do this. Okay. Yeah. And then start. So you'd sew this piece on. Then you would sew this piece, so the three joins there, then the three joins there, okay. then the joins there. So that's how you would work that one. This one, I would probably sew these at the same time as the purples, so that you're going from this, this junction here yeah. to this junction, like around here. So you can see the, part, the sort of path yeah, of mean. it. And then these ones you'd have, you could sew this one here and here, and then you'd have a bit of a gap. I wouldn't cut off the thread. I would just, that would be hidden behind it and I'd just carry on sewing. Okay. So that's the, that's the idea. So how do you take the thread from one place to another if you don't want to cut it off? 
you would just tuck it underneath here. Okay. And then it's just... It would show on the back of the piece, yes, but, but I mean, the back of it... No one's going to see it that. It depends, doesn't it? No. You can see I've done it here. Oh, let me have a look. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you just take it across as one long stitch. Yeah, I suppose because some got... people might mind that, but I don't no, mind that. No, I wouldn't that. mind that at I all. I don't mind that at all. No. It's, uh, this is very neat. You have to say that, really, don't you? It's very, very neat. Very it is very neat. No, I wouldn't have said it if it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have just said, oh, that's lovely. I can't believe this is the first time we you and I have been I on here together. I all that's... this time. Yeah. So, talk to you about the stitches then. Yeah, so it's a whip stitch. So, I'm just going in one side, out so the other. So, your stitches are straight. Yeah, when they go so through here can you see that yeah so i'm mm. sort of clutching it here but you can use clips if you want those little clips right uh, and then just going in and if we turn it over i'm definitely a lazy rep <laughs> you, you can put see. me to share i'm going to start doing my stitches closer together yeah well I, th I you do need a certain number because uh to stop it from coming apart maybe that's why <laughs> wow. and you don't use a thimble I don't use a thimble. Lots of people do. I've got. I did bring a couple of thimbles to show people. Okay. So, this is the finger that that mm. gets the most. Yeah. Um, you know, wear. So if you want to wear a leather thimble, is quite good because it's, um, you know, kind of moulds to your finger. But I don't really. I don't like wearing a thimble just because I, I like having the, the sort yeah, of. Yeah, I know. But I've always the ends of my finger. I think it's never. It's always hard. That finger, it's always... Is been, it? Yeah. Do you hand sew a lot then? What's your... Yeah. What's your favourite thing well, to sew? Well, I like it. I have been doing a bit of EPP lately. I like have embroidery you? as well. You like embroidery? And I just always end up... And I do quite fine embroidery, so I just always end up hurting. I mean, I do use a thimble, but not for embroidery, so I've always got holes in my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have I have been through them, my finger on Yes, on I've air always before. got holes in my fingers. <laughs> Just don't bleed over the fabric. Just don't no. bleed over the liberty. Yeah, so as you I can see, it's a fairly, it's a slow process, but it's also it's lovely really though, relaxing. It? It's so um, lovely. But then it actually grows reasonably fast because, you know, yeah. before you know it, you've got one side on. Yeah. And then you think, oh, well, I'll just, I love that absolutely love that yeah, one yeah you're right it's um it's definitely a, a it's sort of like a vintagey one and that's the lovely that's why people love liberty so much is like they recognize prints from like their childhood and that's what that look it, it's just that shade of yellow isn't it it is and i and you see and if i was choosing those fabrics i'd never put those together but they work yeah but that's why yeah. i'm not very good at choosing colors but because they, they, they really work together don't they some people are amazing at choosing colours. I know, very jealous of that. So Alice and Laura are the guys at Alice Caroline who who do put all the colours together. Oh, okay. So you can see I've finished that section. Mm -hmm. Just going to start the next one. So I would just start here and just carry on sewing with my. And it's, you can sort of fold it back and around some people are like oh I've got to keep it flat but you don't have to you can fold it along the joints to you see I folded that piece back so that I've, I've got that and are there enough there. paper pieces so you don't have to reuse them you don't have to reuse them but I would recommend you keep, keep them, them. They can for another project yeah yeah absolutely um, I've recently found EPP I'm absolutely hooked yes it's <laughs> slow but so mindful it teaches we need to slow down sometimes sent from georgie yeah you're it right is. well i'm glad you found it it is lovely isn't it and it is well it is slow but oh that's the joy of it that's the point isn't that, it that is the but point. i like the fact it's so small and portable like you say you only need a little bag to put it in yes i've got a little pouch so i would i would probably prepare my pieces in one go for a block right and the then i yes. take it out and about with me so you've got your pieces all you need then is your needle and your thread and your mini pair of scissors that's it, yeah. That's literally all you need. So great, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's 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 lovely, isn't it? And it does feel so heirloom as well, doesn't it? Well, I think that make that's why it goes so well with Liberty. Yeah, the two things go together. Yeah, exactly. And it is like having your own little pieces of history. It is <laughs> absolutely right. Lots of people ask about um, papers, taking the papers out. Yes. So I will, I'll just, so, so you, yeah. I, I would recommend that you leave them in 
until <clears throat> you're ready to assemble your block. It keeps them nice and flat. Oh, right, so completely. But the point that you can take them out if mm. you wish to, if you haven't got a place to keep them flat, all you do, once you've sewn around every side, yeah. you so have to So it doesn't matter, so you can choose whether you take them out now you can, or... You can choose, yeah, but I, I would probably leave them in until you're ready to assemble oh, the I whole quilt. Oh, I guess because otherwise they crease, wouldn't they, the fabric? Yeah. But I mean, it's easy to press out. I mean, Liberty is very easy to, uh, easy to Just iron. put the graphics on the screen for row one because we only have a very few of these left and this is your last chance. And there are more of you within baskets than we've got left. So if you want it, please do check out. So I can take this one out because I've sewn around all the sides of this one. So you just, see, and it comes off really easily. Yeah. I think I must need more glue than you. It takes me a bit. You don't need much glue. You I know, I think I, glue. I have it all over. You need literally this amount of glue. Yeah. Like that. So I have too much glue and I don't do enough stitches. <laughs> I've learned loads. I'm going to go back, go back to my EP. <laughs> but I wouldn't take those others out because I haven't sewn around no. all the sides. But of I them see yet. what you this mean. That if you don't take them out before you've, finish the block then that fabric will get creased yes yeah but uh, but lots of but at the point where you're assembling the quilt mm. it gets big yeah so that's the point you need to take them out because otherwise you can't you know you mm. you're like trying to sew yeah because it's all sewing like some cardboard together yes but it's so nice taking them out oh it's very Isn't satisfying it? it's just, I just oh. I think on my massive quilt and I made a huge quilt I think I paid my children to take them out because <laughs> like, just so many it's quite satisfying at the start but if you do it all in one go at the end it, it's uh, there are lots of them question for you Anna good morning I'm a lover of blanket stitch would that be okay to do this blanket, blanket stitch stitch uh, blanket stitch is more for repliqueing around the outside isn't it but I mean it is basically it is a you, if you're doing a well it's like blanket stitch to be honest but without is. putting the thread under the needle yes it's yeah, the yeah, same yeah. yeah because blanket stitch you're just going straight through all the time you I are. don't know I've never done have you I've never done, done EPP, stitch with EPP I've never done blanket stitch with EPP but uh I don't I don't see why not because you see that yours needle there the only difference between that and blanket stitch is your thread would be the other side of it yes and Give some people go. go away from you some people sew away. Do I, I sew towards me. Um, Which way do you think you sew? No, I don't know. Um, do you know, I think I sew from the other way as well. Like right to left? Yeah. <laughs> We're just like opposites of each other. Opposite know. EPPers, aren't we? Yeah, I'm going to have to have it. I don't know, actually. No, I think I do sew right. Well, Nikki says, what's EPP? It's English paper piecing. Oh. English paper piecing, because um, I'm going to make this up. It was invented by the English. <laughs> I don't know. Yes. What? I just made that up. It's I'm really guessing. famously invented by the yes, English. Yes, I'm sure it was invented by the English. In the 1790s. In 1790s, when they sewed bits of scrap fabric around <coughs> bits of paper because um, they couldn't afford quilts. Uh, well, so actually, it was made by the West. I just made all it of that. Made, shall I tell you where? Yeah, God. <laughs> so it was made by generally wealthy people because paper was a really expensive commodity. Oh, okay. So paper paper was you you only had paper if you were rich right and so that's so it was invented by you know those ladies who had nothing to do else to do exactly than and that's why there's lots of these heritage quilts in museums which have like love letters inside so they would cut up old oh, letters wow. and put them into their quilts and they would leave the papers in actually um okay. for an extra layer of warmth and probably never wash them <laughs> ever <laughs> Well, they didn't have machines, did they? <laughs> no. Or oh, you want actually? Well, once mm. you've made this quilt, you probably won't want to wash it in the machine. Ever, you want to wash it in the bar, like hand mm. wash in the bar. You can. You know. Oh, that's the other question. No need to pre-wash Liberty fabric because it doesn't shrink. But you might want to pre-wash your quilting. Oh, weight right. Cottons. Okay. Would you recommend that? Yes, I would. Right. Uh, so. So I never knew. See, I thought it was a bit like patchwork, like in the. Um, the pioneers in America, where they did it, they made them because they couldn't afford. You can't give blankets. the Americ You can't give the Americans no e English paper piecing as well as it. No, otherwise no, it would be called American. No, I thought piecing. it was the same thing that it was made because they needed to use small pieces of fabric to make bigger uh, things. I didn't realise it was the rich. Oh, I see. Yeah. It, well, yes. Basically, it was mm. invented by by wealthy people. Um, yeah. So you get all these. Um, love. Oh, how nice. You get the love letters in some of them in the in the heritage ones in the museums. Yeah, so... Uh, oh, that's like real history. It is. 
this is real history too, yes, right? But if you want to use love letters, do feel, it. You know, yes, I feel free, you but then do. you would have to cut out your pieces. Yeah, love text. Or you could just write words on here yeah. and here. <laughs> I think that's quite interesting they kept the papers in though because I guess it did give them extra layer extra of warmth. Extra warmth, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so there, so there are. we are. That's why it's called English paper piecing, not American paper piecing. No. Rebecca? <laughs> well, no, I knew it was English, but I thought, well, we, because the Americans, when they made their quilts back in the pioneer days, they did it to to use up scraps so yeah. that they could actually create things because a yeah. lot of them were made from clothes and things, weren't they? Yes. This well, is English paper actually, piecing. Actually, lots of people do English paper piecing from old clothes yes. so from like your old children I can't I can't pick the needle at once and put it down um yeah so you like you could use you could make a beautiful matching cushion with your children's well clothes I guess once you've got the pattern and you've kept the paper pieces yes then you could use it's a really good thing because I think a lot of people keep those special items of clothes and which I do I've got a big bag full of them and then wonder what on earth to do with them but Abs yeah what a lovely thing to make I know really nice isn't it so you can see it builds fairly quickly Yes, it's, I know it's slow, but each piece goes in quite quickly, doesn't it? You do feel a sense of if you sit there for an evening, you think, well, I've, there, there is where I have progressed. Yes. I mean, I, may, I can make, I think I made one of those boxes. I can't remember which one now, but I made it in four hours. Really? Yes. That's not slow then at all, is it? No, well, no, but I mean, it's not as fast as machine sewing, is it? But no. It's not... So you've got to do row two and three by June the 9th. You haven't got to do it, have you? <laughs> no. But I'd love to see what pe if people have made them. Yeah, if you've if made row one, could you send us a photo? Because Anna would like to see. <laughs> well, you won't have been able to join it yet because you've no, got the, the joining question. stuff in the finishing. Oh, pack. when will the autumn sampler quilt be launched, please? That is in July. Okay. I can't quite remember the date. I think it's July the 11th. Be nice to join them all together. To make a bigger quilt. Yes. Yeah. That's I'd like that. Yeah. We'll have to get some more springtime ones in, won't we? Yeah. So we could maybe do a, you know, a, a pack at the end. That'd be nice with some sashing between the four. Some nice liberty sashing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess what you could do actually, you could use your binding, couldn't you? To yes. go between you for could. the four of them. Yeah, you could. Uh, we're very limited on row two. Very limited. And row one. We have a few left, but there are more in baskets than we've actually got. And there are lo there are more in baskets row two than we've actually got. So if you want row two, you need to check out. Otherwise, we'll sell out and then you won't be able to have one. And it only takes four hours per block. And there's three and a half blocks in row two. <laughs> I so that's a weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a weekend of dream sewing. That would be my dream weekend. Just to not do anything Just but so. Yeah. We used to have this section, that I worked, used to work on Needlecraft magazine, and it was called Weekend Workshop. And some of them I'd say, I think this might be bank holiday or maybe the whole Easter weekend. A little yeah. bit optimistic. Yeah. I think, you know, what can you actually achieve in a weekend? I think you're never going to have done that in the weekend. <laughs> right, so I've just finished using one. And so I don't, I don't thread on. TV no. because I can't. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't blame you. Yeah, how do you finish off a thread? So I've just over sewed okay. several, three, four times, and then I, then you start the next. And you bit put of a thread. knot in. Yeah, then you then you just start oh, again. Okay. So you can just sort of keep going, and then that makes means that you have less joints. And is there anything special about that knot? It's just a normal. It's a, I wrap it. Well, I don't know what it's called actually. Is it? A, you just wrap it around the needle and then pull it down. Oh, okay. Some people have never seen it actually. And no, I, I haven't. No, I don't think I've seen that. Looks like I've got one. And is that the too. same? I'm amazed that you're not round the needle. So um, I, uh, this goes is how I the fabric. Yeah, it's you know very you get fine. A knot in your thread. If you've got a very thick thread, that might it might. Okay. Not so this is how I tie the knot right, at the can end. We, I think you need to be all here. Oh, hang on. There you are. Here. Marvellous. So all I do to knot the... Okay. I pull that towards the end. I just wrap it around three or four times. Yeah. Pinch it and pull it down. Ah. That creates a knot at the bottom. Okay. Yeah, see, if I knotted, I'd just do a knot and then it probably wouldn't be thick enough. Yeah. Well, it's, well to be honest with you, you don't need a hugely thick knot because Liberty is so... F yeah, like we, we talk about the, how fine the mm. fabric is. Well, no, but that looks like quite a secure knot that wouldn't come undone as well. Yeah, well, that's it. That's a good place to start, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that might solve my, um, my EPP coming undone in places. 
Yeah, so you can see, I mean, anybody can do it. This is what I love about this, is that anybody who, even if you haven't sewn before, yeah, yeah. You, you know, all you're doing is putting the needle in and out. Well, this is a nice treat as well, isn't it? You start with row one, and by the time you finish the first blot, you'll have cracked it, won't you? You know, you'll have Absolutely. done them. You'll have got your stitches finer. You'll have worked out the knotting. And, Absolutely. Um, yeah. It's a really lovely way to learn it. I do recommend using some kind of, I don't know what, what you sell on here, really? but some kind of, I, okay. I use thread magic, but you can use beeswax. Just or, to stop it knotting. Yeah, it just, it, it's, it's a thread conditioner, so it, it, it means that it just glides a bit more easily through without... Maybe <coughs> protect your fingers. <laughs> As in, if it slides so easy, <laughs> maybe that might help the ends of my fingers. Yeah, worry about the ends of your fingers. No, I know. I, th I think this is, I've, they've constantly got holes in. <laughs> but you know when, when you're sewing things, there's always a lot of hand finishing, you know, if you're doing a quilt and you need yeah, to hand yeah. stitch the binding. Do you, you, you like hand stitching your binding? Yes. I'm quite... A, yeah, so we've... In the instructions, we have hand stitched the binding. Sewn it with a machine to the front. Yes, and then, and then hand, hand stitch. And I'd like to not <laughs> because um, it takes time, but it never looks as neat. Never. No. And it always misses bits. And it's a hand sewn project. And, and it looks I quite lovely. like when you. <gasps> oh my gosh, she's got Liberty on the back. It has, yeah. <laughs> Does the final pack <coughs> have that then? No. No, have you have to, to have that to special. Backing. Yeah, oh, it is a bit of a treat to have the Liberty on the back. That's beautiful, isn't that's it? One of, that's from our. Um, we did a summer edit. So we, we, one of the great things about Alice Caroline, we work so closely with Liberty, we can recolour prints. Wow. And this is an Alice Caroline exclusive, this one here. Oh, is it? And this is a, re, a recolour. So it's a, That's it's a bespoke that gorgeous, we did with Liberty. That's isn't it? But I just find if I machine stitch and, you know, you top stitch, I always miss a bit on the back and it's just not as neat. So yeah, the yeah. time it takes, I just sort of set aside time and do that in front of the telly. I love the fact that you do that because I do it too. Mm. I think if it's a hand sewn project, I think it's really nice to, yeah, just to hand finish. Well, even though even if I've machine sewn a quilt, I'll hand stitch that. It just looks neat. Yeah, yeah. Because otherwise, I've only got to go back and hand sew all the bits that have missed anyway, so I may as well just start <laughs> by hand sewing yeah. it. <laughs> right, we're just going to recap the um, rows. So row two, I've unpacked everything, so I'll have to get my un-unpacked ones. This is row two. <clears throat> row two. So in row two is all the fabrics you need, plus the instructions, all the, pe all the paper pieces as well, which are pre-cut, even better. Now remember, when you've done it, keep the instructions, keep the paper pieces, you can make another one, or you could just think, well, I just want one of those blocks, but you've got all of that. So there are only 15 left of row two, 79.99, but if you do want to split pay, two equal payments of 39.99, and we won't charge you interest on that, that's just an easier way, but when you get to the checkout point, you can choose whether you want to pay for it in one go or not. It will be sent to you straight away. So that's number two. There are only 15 of those left. If you've got it in your basket, you do need to check out or you're gonna miss out. Um, row three, that was one. This is row three. So that's the three and a half blocks you have half ones on the edge um, that are in row three and again you've got different Liberty fabrics remember there are 70 Liberty fabrics in total in this quilt um, all the paper pieces all the instructions all the templates are all in there 79.99 or you can split pay it if you prefer um, do we have any of row one left before I do that Right, row one, we have three left, but there are six in baskets. So if you're one of those people who's got it in your basket, you need to check. You've got, yeah, you've got a 50-50 chance. You need to check out if you want row one, because there are only three left of those. And finally, if you want to make the summer mini sampler quilt, I'm just going to hang it, hold it up. Make sure I've got it the right way up this time. <laughs> I was hired upside down some flowers. If you want to make the mini sampler quilt, which features a plique, EPP, piecing, binding, quilting, it's all in there. 
then that's 59.99 remember again the kit in the same way as the sample it has all of the liberty fabrics beautiful and they are all cut to the size you need so you're not paying for liberty fabric that you don't need and then it has the white cotton fabric and it has the binding as well absolutely gorgeous so it's 59.99 uh, message well i bit the bullet and i bought all three I just hope I can manage it. I've only made an EPP cushion before from Lynn in Yorkshire. Of course you can, Lynn. Oh, well done. Oh, you'll be addicted. You won't them. regret it. I no, tell you, by you the time won't. you finish that first half a block on row one, you'll be addicted. You'll yeah. be hooked. Send us some pictures. We'd love to see them. Thank, I think that's great. Do it because this is absolutely gorgeous. And when they've gone, they've gone. Um, thank you, Anna. We will see you back Pleasure. on June the 9th. 10th. 10th. June the 10th, which is You'll a... You'll be here on June the 9th. Where's the quilt? Which like, is... 10th, 10th, Friday. On a Friday. Friday. Friday, June the 10th. Anna will be back with row four and the final finishing. So thank you so much. It was lovely to work no with worries. you today. Yeah, really nice pleasure. to see you. Um, I will be back in a couple of minutes' time with Mark, who's going to show us how to make the perfect pair of jeans to fit you. See you very soon. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433.
In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn? bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com if you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favorite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Welcome back to Sewing Street. I hope you enjoyed that last hour for you with me um, with Anna and her beautiful Liberty quilt. But this is a really good one because it's all about jeans. Now, if I don't know if you're like me, I can never get jeans to fit. If I get them to fit around the hips, they're always too big around the waist. And if they fit on the waist, I can't get even do them up. So um, if you want to learn how to make a pair of jeans, because I was talking to Mark about it earlier and said, oh, I think that looks quite scary. But he said they were surprisingly easy. Is that true? It is. Yeah, well, easy might be pushing it. But okay. it, was, it was a nice project. I really enjoyed making them. Right. Because I did get it. I think, oh, I've got to make a whole pair of jeans as a sample. That's mm. going to take ages. And there's a lot of detail. But actually, actually, I, I genuinely did, did enjoy Ooh, yes. making them. Bring your them. jeans forward. Shall, shall we have a look? Now, this is, there are three views on these. Okay. You probably can't see them. But these are actually a, fl a slight but flare on them. I like them. They're them. your kind of bootleg. I was going to say, almost a bit of a boot cut. But you can't that easy to alter. I mean, it does have options for a straight leg and cut off what ones oh, in there really? as well. But like with the jacket uh, at nine o'clock, you can pick and choose which of the details on these that you would actually like. Um, so if you did want to have the rivets on, you can put rivets on I it. I like the little rivets. If you don't like rivets, just don't, don't put, bother. Just don't put them on. Exactly. And on the back, it looks like a pair of jeans. I mean, that's what you, you are making jeans like they do in the shops oh they got oh 
Ooh, I like that. So it's got the yoke yes, at the back yeah. there. You've got the pockets there as well. Oh, if, so you go if for I lay them on the bench, straight leg or cropped. You can have a look at, a, at an overhead shot. Nice. So this is levelled at intermediate. But yes, you wouldn't I think say it's not difficult then. No, not particularly. Okay. No, it's, uh, the difficult part probably is putting the fly in. So if I just turn them over, um, there we go. So I've gone for the silver, mostly because that's what I was sent. But we do, <laughs> but we do have other options available. Yes, and we've got all the hardware. You'll be pleased to know. I'll go through that in a minute. There but we, we have go. all the hardware. It has pockets. Has a nice functioning zip. Because the bit that was made me go you know it's putting the zip in but honestly the instructions are so good okay in this that you won't have a problem they are called the ultimate jeans so let me just go through the patterns with you now these are available in two sizes so size this this one size the 18 pounds this is sizes 6 to 20. um i won't give you the bus measurements sort of irrelevant <laughs> does it have it on there yes but they, <laughs> it does. Um, it's waist. So they go from a 24 to a 38 inch waist or a 34 to a 48 inch hip. Right, these are going very quickly. So we've got a lot in baskets. So this if is you a want pattern you can out. buy and keep in your stash yes. because it, jeans don't, they've been around for a long time. They haven't changed an awful lot. Sometimes they're flared, sometimes yeah. they're straight. And you they know. don't have to be in denim neither. No, 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 exactly. Just because it says jeans, yeah. they don't have to be in denim. You can make them in stretch lycra if you like. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Do we have that in the bundles today? No. <laughs> it does say corduroy, twill, denim. Linen. So that's the smaller one. Um, the, the next size, which is size 18 to 30, um, this goes from a 38 to a 50 inch waist. And in a hip, that's 48 to 60. Now, if you need to know, I'm going to show you the back of that. If you need to know um, any information, just message us in. We will let you know. But those are the body measurements and the finished garment measurements. So what I would say to you is go and measure a pair of jeans you've got that fit that you like and then check what the finished garment measurements on here. It doesn't matter what size it is, you don't embroider that into your jeans, so nobody will know. You go for the size that fits you. And let me just show you the back of the other one. But I often think that when I'm making something, if I find a pattern that's got finished garment measurements, that's what I go by, because I know it's, it's a fit I like. Mm. Because yeah. different, well, shops and patterns give a different amount of ease. So they might think, well, your body measurements are this. You know, when you buy something and they say, oh, it's an ease fit or a flattering fit. So if you go by garment measurements, at least you know that's what it will be. Yeah, when I was at the bank, they changed how they measured the uniforms for one year. And, <laughs> and uh, they said, oh, that we've, we've sorted it all out. It's the same as the shops. Now, what they meant was they've removed all of the ease completely. It was just as so everybody had to send their uniforms back. It was just right. It was horrific. So finished garment measurements are the best. Yes, I think so. So those are the two patterns. You just need to choose which size range you want. Now, fabrics. I'm going to start on the lightest. So we've got three levels of denim. Now, in these, uh, no, this is 93, because this is the lightest one. Oh, but it'll be a bundle. NHL J93. But I wonder whether they put a different code on because of it being a bundle. So light denim is this one, light blue. Okay, that's just coming up now. 28.99, now you get three meters in here and i'm just going to double check that is enough fabric for the largest size <laughs> and any of the versions because obviously version one and two needs more than version three because that's cropped so that's enough denim for the largest size for the for the biggest and that's in the light blue 28.99 it's lovely isn't it really nice really summery look lovely with the white broidery anglaise blouse i'm feeling <laughs> Or the t-shirt from earlier. Or the t-shirt from earlier, which I've taken off because I got cold. Oh, no. I was too, yeah, it's Ramp cold up the heating. Here. Ramp up the heating. I'll, I'll put it out the, out the back. 28 99 Right, that's the light one. Now, the one that, um, this is the medium one, and this is the one that Mark made the jeans in that he was just showing you. So this is your kind of traditional blue. 
28.99 again you've got three meters it's a lovely weight denim i think it's a four ounce weight so it's not your super thick workman's denim but it's not like very thin dress denim oh it's eight ounces is it oh okay i think it's eight that's what i'm wearing right oh maybe it is then. which I you probably can't see four. very much over these super no, high desks eight anymore ounce. sorry it's not it's eight but it's not your really um you know some some jeans are very very super thick it's quite a nice weight to mm. it i thought it was I did the other day that was four. It's an eight ounce denim. Right, that's the medium blue. And then I've got the dark blue, which is, you know, often when you see different um, jeans colours, this one's often called indigo. But it's a very dark blue. So those are the three. If you want to see any of them again, just message me in because there are three denims. Now, I've all, also got two corduroys. So this is the one that Mark's going to be demonstrating with. This is a lovely teal green. I love this. You could do so much with this. The jacket from earlier would look cracking yes, in this. Yes, it would, wouldn't Absolutely it? Absolutely soup. You could really play with the stripe and the direction that it all oh, goes yes, in. Oh, that's true. You could have the gun flaps going other directions or, you know, you it's could go lovely, wild. It's a lovely wild. cord, isn't it? It is. It's really soft. And it's yeah. not... Um, it's not heavy. No, it's not. It's not a stiff cord at all. It's a really nice. It would work really well for a pair of trousers. So no, it is kind of a teal green, but it's quite a wide, a wide whale. It was an, a thick whale. <laughs> it says I, four and a half whale. Is it a four and a half whale? Well, according to the screen over there, oh, yeah, it four is and anyway. Half whale. Which I believe is that's how many ridges there are per inch. Yes. I believe. Yes. Yes. It is whales. Which why, I think why is a whale, thing. though. I mean, uh, a whale is how you measure cordial. It's how many um, yeah, ridges why, you get why? per inch. Why? Why a whale? I have no idea. I need to Google it now. Yeah, but they, it is called whales. I've oh, always known that. Are I don't know why it's called whales. It just is. Um, and then we have it in a brown. Now I would say this is um, milk chocolate. And this is a very, this is a needle cord. It's a very, very fine whale, but this is like a, a really is a needle cord, but it is the color of milk chocolate. Galaxy, I'd say, <laughs> and the chocolates very are available. <laughs> yeah, but that's a slightly different color, isn't it? Not Would an arrow. No, 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 this is your galaxy, other chocolates are available. <laughs> milk chocolate, definitely. <laughs> Again, this is a nice light weight, so this isn't you super stiff, so it will have a nice um, drape across you. But, but again, if you the want, jacket from earlier would look... Jacket would, would look, look lovely. So that, remember, that, you I know, did. a lot we find often when we sell these, a lot of people will buy the fabric bundles even though they're not going to make the pattern. So mm. if you... Because we do do really lovely dressmaking You could fabrics. do a whole suit. You could make the jacket and the trousers. Wow. Buy two bundles, everyone. Whole I want to suit. see suits. Suit, that'd be absolutely <laughs> brilliant. So because all these... <laughs> Double Question denim. Question about the corduroy. Morning, Rebecca and Mark. Are all corduroys extra wide, please? Oh, what is the width of both of them? Well, I don't, not necessarily, but let's see how wide they are. Well, these are really wide, aren't they? Because they are. that's probably, half of it. Probably wider than you're capable of holding up. Well, yes, but I have a tape measure. My oh. goodness. See, John Scott has just has long arms. I don't have long arms. I have a tape measure. <laughs> it's the only way I can do it. Yeah, so that's 140 wide. And it's about the same, isn't it? I think so. But I will double check that and so is that. They are both 140 centimetres width. Any questions, just ask. We are always at ready with the tape measure. If we don't know, we're for the Monta Stuart Hillard. <laughs> and he'll hopefully know. Well, you, you can't guarantee anything these days, can you? <laughs> Oh yes, sorry. Now let me get a, also if you for your pockets you need a cotton. So we have a plain white cotton fabric. This isn't is this isn't is this our normal cotton fabric? Uh, yeah, no, it's not something you'd want to make a, a quilt or a no. top out of. It's something else. Is it, plain is, lifestyle white and yeah, cotton it's fine fabric. for pockets. I mean, you could have a bit of fun if you got some scraps or some leftover liberties from your quilt yeah, or whatever. Yeah. You can have a bit of fun with the pockets. I would. I'd go for a bit of like cape. Oh, I, I always do. I always put something odd, something mm. not odd. Something yeah, that, there's something fun. Yes, always something that blends with the colour palette, yes. but is just a bit of fun. Yeah. But if you want, this is good fabric for pockets because it's nice and strong, but it's cotton fabric, half a meter 
to £3.79. Your handkerchief uh, won't fall out. It will not fall out of that. I always find that a lot of pockets in trousers you buy are too thin. I'm constantly mending my husband's ones because yeah. like, things fall. Because I don't know what they make them from, but it's so thin. I, I had a coat. I've mended the pockets no yeah. end of times because it keeps falling through all the time. Mm, they just. But this is good. This is good. Now, I've also got all the other hardware, so I'm just going to quickly run through that before we go to Mark so you can see it. Now I've got the zips. The zips you need is a seven inch, 18 centimeter zip. I have them in three colors, white with a brass tooth, white with brass teeth. You just got to decide what color zip you need. The zip you won't be able to see anyway. So you just need to decide which one you want because it goes underneath the I, I, I was I had flap. to use a white one on the blue denim. Oh, okay. So I didn't have it, that's, because that's what I was sent. But if I just open it, it's, I mean, it's behind the flap, so it's unless someone's work. inspecting it closely. But it's quite, I think it's quite nice then if it's not seen to use a colour yeah. that just stands out a bit. It pops. It pops, a little pop of colour. They're all the same length. So that's the white with the brass teeth. Then I've got black with the silver teeth. There we go. Black with silver teeth, One ninety-nine. These are proper metal trouser zips. And then black one's very popular. And then we have the neutral like a beige colour, <gasps> no we don't say that, sand, with beige brass teeth. I'm going to have some beige bread with my beige soup for lunch. <laughs> I'm going to have some beige cheese. And some beige cheese. And a beige coffee. <laughs> I just, it just sounds beige, doesn't it? It sounds a bit boring. Right, now if you want the right um, buttons for your jeans, they're special metal ones that you hammer in. You don't need a special tool for them. I've got them in copper. Copper. Two ninety nine. Obviously, you get a lot here. You get eight of them, and you only need one. But that's another seven pairs of trousers you could be making. But two ninety nine if you want the right. These are the you know the proper. Well, you could change the fly and have a button fly across. Oh, you could if you if you wanted to. Yeah, that's that true. That might be jolly fun. And then you'd get and you'd still would have more than enough. Mm. And then we have buttons in nickel at two ninety nine. Because these are the bits that are you know that you need that are often hard to find. But at least you can choose. So everything you buy separately. There's no sort of complete kit. So therefore you can decide what colours you want and how many. You know whether you. Oh, I've got a zip, but I haven't got the buttons. That's the buttons. Now, if you want rivets, we have those as well. The rivets are optional. I mean, they are sort of decoration, but they are also put on the. Um, <coughs> The sort of the main tension points I guess. They were really easy to put on because I haven't mm. put rivets on anything before nothing's actually come up with that yet. Okay. So when I finished the jeans it was the last thing I did so I was a bit nervous about getting me my little, my little gadget and stabbing holes in it mm. at various points <laughs> and then but I don't know what you know you worry I worry about these things anyway but it was fine they went well to especially because if you've made it and you put the holes in yeah. um so we i'll show you a minute we've got the all to make the hand the holes but these are just they they i mean you can use them as decoration you can put the, they're put on the edges of pockets stop because that's where the pressure point is but you can use more of them as decoration you get 20 sets there um we've also got them in silver you could put them all around the waist bandana your leg oh yeah you could put your initials on oh yeah all sorts because yeah. i like they're really nice i mean they're little they're tiny they're only like it's half a centimeter bigger. yeah they're very small but they are perfect to add decorative features to jeans or bags um the if you for making the hole you need because once you as mark says once you have made it your your pair of trousers you need to make the hole for the rivets to go in that's what the tail is all is Taylor's all is also really useful for holding your seam allowances flat while you're sewing. <laughs> you know when you need to, when instead of your seam allowance flapping over, I often use these as a little pokey thing. <laughs> a little pokey thing is very useful. Well, it's actually useful if you're trying to get fabric through your machine yeah, and it doesn't want to pull it all mm. at the same time, or your machine's not, it's not mm. going, then just give it a little kind push. of, just just a little push and yeah. off it goes. I do use mine that for that as well. It's really useful. I used to use my stitch ripper, but... Um, or if you... If, if you're at a loose end, darts. Darts, yeah, very useful for that. But the stitch rip I used to use, it's too fine the point to get thick fabric through, so it's really good for that. Um, we have got interfacing, which you might need for the waistband. It's all, it's all on the web. It's, it's all on the website if you click on Watch Live and scroll down from there. We just put the interfacing in. Two ninety nine for a pack. 
And finally, finally, we have two different sorts of um, genes thread. We've got this one. This one code ends in 20. Um, you've got one, two, three, four, six different colours of genes thread, 100 metres in each spool. Now, this is lovely because you've got the um, shades of black and grey, but, all you know, <clears throat> quite traditionally, top stitching on denim is done with these sort of goldy, orangey tones. This is also slightly thicker, so it's ideal for stitching on denim, and it's 100% polyester. Oh, no, it's not thicker because it's number 50. Um, but it is 100% polyester, but you've got the denim colours. It's really useful if you do a lot of jean mending, which I will seem to. This is quite good. Um, that's the smaller pack at 13 99 And that only has the one blue. But if you want more shades of blue, this one is better. Because this has more in it. So let me just show you this one. This has got 12 spools. It's number 50 thread, 100 metres on each. But in here, if you look, you've got three different shades of blue there. You've got um, black, green, grey, white. You've got two neutrals and then you've got red and the two goldy top stitch. But that's lovely, isn't it? So, you know, when you do the pocket detail, it's ideal for that. But it's really good if you're doing, if you, even if you're mending or hemming jeans, you've got all of those different shades. So anyway, 24 99 really useful pack to have that. It's the one that I would recommend. Right. Where do we start then, Mark? Should we do some okay. sewing. Shall well, we? Well, I'm Shall kind of we? picking bits and pieces of this okay, to yes, show let's you. Let's concentrate on the interesting bits. Now, if I'm working on the corduroy, so if I do love corduroy, I want to make a jacket out of this. It's so I hope gorgeous. it doesn't all sell out so I can buy some. <laughs> um, but I, do you know what? You need to make sure, if you, it, look, you can do what you like, it's your project, but make sure the nap is going the same direction. So stroke all it. All the way around. Stroke it, stroke it. Now mine's going, it doesn't really matter which way around it goes. You can get different appearances from your garment by it going up or by going down. Okay. It's really up to, up to the sewer and what you're looking to achieve. Mm. But if everything goes in the same direction, you'll, you'll be, on, you'll be on to a winner. Okay. So just check everything that goes in the same direction. Now I have made a back leg already just to show you all. And because corduroy does have that uh, grain running through it, you can have a bit of fun. Because we've got the yoke up here, so I've put the, the Ooh, grain like of the that. yoke going along the top. Um, you it could, looks like a different colour when you do that, doesn't it? Exactly, yes. So you can get different effects, and it's mm. exactly the same with velvet. If you're making yes. something in velvet, depends what you want it to look like mm. and how you want it to it sit. It changes colour when it look, goes the other way, doesn't it? Yeah, if you rub it, it gets it looks darker and it, a little bit. Yeah, but because you've, you've got the stripes going horizontally there, it, it looks completely... I like yeah. that detail. That's a nice... I, I love things like that. If you've got mm. an option, if you've got a directional fabric like this, then it's nice to play around yeah, with I the way it that. goes. It's really nice. Uh, so rather than just hammering all your pieces onto the fabric and cutting it out in a, in a vast flurry of <laughs> scissors and, and <laughs> pins, then just think, well, actually, which way am I going to do this? Because you could put the pockets at jaunty angles. You can leave the pocket off altogether if, mm. you weren't, if you don't like back pockets. But let's have a look at this, shall we? How do we do this? I can hear you all begging to find out. Yes, how do we do this? How do we do how this, Mark? How do we do this? <laughs> now, if you're doing denim, you could have a, a, even more fun if you haven't had enough fun already by with your directions, because you could sew things onto the back pocket. <gasps> you could put your, you could write Rebecca on one yeah. and read on the other. Yeah, indeed. Or read yeah. me. Anything. Oh. Anything at all. I mean, I did put something on here, but because it's just a sample and I was doing it quickly, I just did some straight lines. I had to mend a pair of trousers for a friend once who's a carpenter. Mm. So I put new pockets on and one of them I embroidered screw, spare screws. <laughs> and the other one I put more spare screws. <laughs> I had he a, loved them. <laughs> well, a friend's mum, when I was a kid, she, and this wasn't, it wasn't really fashionable for home sewing in the 80s particularly, but she did and she made all her own jeans and she put her initials SP on the back of each pocket, Fantastic. which was which is just such a lovely detail. Mm. So you can take some time and do that, yeah. mark it out with some chalk or whatever, and then stitch the design in your top stitch thread. That was just done in a regular thread, to be honest. I didn't, I didn't, okay. crack, I didn't crack out. But you could put some nice patterns or embroider a flower or a bit of a plique. Yeah. It's definitely, or you could have something coming out of the pocket. Yes, or flowers. I, I saw some greetings cards that had the design on the front was actually an iron-on patch. 
Oh, and nice. you could peel it off afterwards and put it on your clothes or because, bag or whatever. Because you're making these, you can do what you like. You, so can, you put can embroider a patch like a bunch of flowers coming out of your pocket. Oh, Go yeah. all Morrissey. <gasps> yeah. Anyway, that's enough about that. <laughs> but you get the idea. Um, you can have a bit of fun with that. Well, but use this opportunity to do something a bit decorative anyway. So on the top of the pocket, I've just folded it over a centimetre and pressed it. And I'm going to fold it over again. When you are sewing on velvet, you, you uh, sorry, um, corduroy, you, your stitches can sink into the fabric a little bit, so it doesn't matter if that happens. You may not want to do as much top stitching on the corduroy that you would otherwise. Oh, we've got a message. A oh, message. I have those top stitch threads and they do seem thicker. They stay proud and don't sink in the fabric. Oh, from Jan. Thanks, Jan. Well, I thought they were thicker, but I've looked and it says that they are number 50, but they do feel a bit thicker, don't they? Well, thanks for letting us know, Jan, because um, it's your feedback that, that helps because I thought they were, because I've got them. I thought they were thicker. Oh, we should mention needles actually. Yes, let's. Because uh, if we're using denim, you might want to use a denim needle. Yes. I mean, I did mine with a universal needle. <gasps> you it, did everything. I did. I did. But do you know what? It was absolutely fine. It was absolutely fine. But okay. if you do use a denim needle, it will just slide through right, that, that okay. bit better. The corduroy will probably be fine just with the universal but if needle. You, well, I always, I always start with the universal and then if, I, if it starts struggling or it breaks, <laughs> Well, that's, yeah, that's then what I, I do. To a and, it, and it didn't struggle. Right. And it didn't break. So I just carried on. Okay. Um, but if you're doing top stitching, you might want to get a top stitch needle, which is yes. a bit easier to, to thread through and it will work better with a top stitch thread, which is a bit thicker. Yes. Um, but you, if you'd wanted to save yourself swapping them about all the time, you could have two machines. <laughs> Yes. If you had two machines, then it wouldn't be a problem, would because it? Because let's be honest, a lot of sewers don't just have one machine. They'll have. They'll I know have, I've got two at the moment. Yeah, well, we, we're the same. Mm. So if it was me doing top stitch throughout, I would have one with my regular thread yeah. and another one with the other thread, and then I could just keep swapping oh, that would between be lovely, the machines. Wouldn't it? Yeah, not everybody's got that luxury. Or you could <coughs> put a juke in your basket, couldn't you? <coughs> oh no! Where did that come She's from? ill. She's ill. No, I'm not. I'm just sneezing. I think I dust up my nose. <laughs> It's, the, it's probably the uh, corduroy. Yeah. Well, I was covered in bits from actually all the um, the, the jelly rolls. They always get covered in bits. Oh, well, John Scott starts um, coughing and dramatically losing his voice, doesn't he? He did, yes. That's true. Awful. So what I'm doing now is just pressing under about a centimetre. Okay. You could do more. and Or if you wanted bigger pockets, then you could just make the pockets bigger. Do you know the... My weight's gone up and down quite a lot over the years, and I have been as heavy in my 20s as 21, 22 stone. But the benefit of being that big is that mm. you could fit an iPad into the back pocket on your jeans, which was extremely useful. Do the pockets get bigger as the jeans They do. do yeah, they? yeah they, they get bigger. Because I had an iPad, I could fit, I could pop a whole no. iPad into the back pocket of these jeans I had when I was really big. It's so useful. I didn't know that they actually get that's interesting <laughs> well I hadn't until I lost weight and then I went to put the iPad in my back pocket and it wouldn't well, fit thinking where well, I did my iPad that's great <laughs> I've got to carry it now oh how strange yeah I mean these pockets are all the same size but but you could have bigger ones to fit your yeah, iPad yeah if you wanted a smaller pocket for smaller hands for a smaller bottom yes or if you wanted a bigger bottom or, or if you had a bigger if bottom <laughs> Well, well, you, you wanted might want... a bigger bottom. <laughs> well, this is it's an aspirational thing. Yeah. Particularly if you're a Kardashian. I maybe. know. But then you have to it has to be a certain shape as well as size, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, which I don't I don't understand. You wouldn't go for surgery? Yeah, and no, I just don't understand why you would want to do that. Have a bigger bottom. No, I just don't get it. Don't understand that. I mean other than it might be more comfortable to sit on. Well, I suppose you could adjust your body to fit your clothes, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Rather Probably. than actually probably slightly cheaper to go on a dressmaking course <laughs> <laughs> just ever so slightly <laughs> ever so slightly so what i'm doing now i've taken the pattern i'm going to mark where these back this back pocket is going to go it is marked on the pattern of course and i've already got holes in my pattern where i've now this is just the way i do it you can put the patch pocket wherever you like if you wanted it at a different point then do just do as you wish but this is how i do it 
and then I just position it on the fabric. Yeah, I guess they don't go on straight, do they? They don't in this particular case. It, it's not too noticeable with the corduroy I found. So if, so if you have a look at that one, it's not actually, it's not a no. big, no. It's not. And is that, and that's because of the um, crotchy bit. The crotchy. Technical term. <laughs> We're full of them today, aren't we? Hmm? Oh, message. Hi guys, I love the corduroy. For top stitching, I use the stretch stitch, which is double stitching and looks great as it's a as a finishing stitch from Hillary and Harbourshire. Thank oh, you for yes, that. That's Have a good you ever idea. tried that? No, no, I haven't actually. I'll just do a straight stitch. But then well, like, the, the top stitching on the on the sample pair I just did in regular thread with a regular needle. Oh, okay. Because I was doing it. A stretch for that's a quite sample. Should try that. I didn't uh, I didn't crack out the top stitch thread. Um, the, the pattern in the size 6 to 20 is very busy, very, very busy. Loads and loads of you have got it in baskets, so if you want that, you need to get it in and check it out. So that's this. pinned in place. When you're pinning uh, pockets on, do... Now, this goes against the grain a little bit, but leave them sticking out because you want to be able to get them out quickly. Right, OK. You can rivet the top of these pockets, of course. You could line your pockets, couldn't you, in a Liberty? I always think oh, everything yes. is better to once lined in a Liberty. <laughs> <laughs> no one will ever know but you. So what you could do, if you're doing your pockets, you can sew these, the little triangle at the top. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm not yes. doing it in, in this particular moment, but that will give it strength. Or you could just leave it to the rivets if you're using rivets and stitch as close to the edge as you can, keeping it nice and even if possible. And just watch the corners so that you stop in the right places. And take your pins out as you go along, which I am doing today because Clive will watch and tell me off otherwise. Yeah, I think, I think everyone has to confess their sewing secrets. And mine is I don't, don't often take the pins out. And I put pins in my mouth. Oh, I do all of those things What's as well. What's your worst sewing confession? Uh, probably the pins the same as you, actually. Um, <laughs> do you sew over your pins sometimes? Uh, quite well? often, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm being that. good today. Yeah. Um, because I have been on air and I sewed over some pins because, frankly, they get out of the way nine times out of ten. Yeah, 99 times out of 100, I reckon. They will get out of the way. Very occasionally. But on air, it didn't. No. It broke the needle. Oh. It bent the, lead, the pin, sort of that kind of shape. It drew blood. No way. It was horrific. The machine, that never happened. The machine wouldn't go. I still had 10 minutes of the demo left. Oh, no. I can't think who I was on with that day, <laughs> but they told me off. But that never happens. No, no. actually, I find, particularly what you're using, it's kind of those horizontal pins keep it more stable. Like, if I'm doing a curve, if I'm sewing something around a circle that's got a very tight curve, you need those pins in. You do, absolutely. I quite agree. Mm. Uh, like putting sleeve heads in. That, yes. That kind of thing. Yes. There we so, go. Um, or if you're doing, like, a curved corner on something. Worst sewing, that's, that's a good sewing confession. I like that. Because most yeah. people won't admit to it. No, they go, oh no, I take every pin out. Yes, like, I count every pin out and every pin in. <laughs> I bet they don't. Yeah, I bet they don't. Um, and they've probably had the same pins for 25 and years as well. I've never sneezed whilst having a mouthful of pins, so... Could the the dog day. ate my pin cushion once. No, did it? Yeah, he did. Because we were measuring... Because it doesn't cut... We don't have the sewing stuff in the house. I've just lost a piece of fabric, which I needed next. Um, but... Um, I've got these. Wasn't this big piece of fabric, no, was it? No, it was a little piece. But if, if not... Oh, it there it is, on the floor. Oh, there it is. Well done. Good spot. That's because you're nearer the floor than me. Yeah. That's why I'm loving my it. half a trouser leg. It's good, isn't it? It's lovely fabric. These are the cut-off spots that are actually even too long for you. Ridiculous. Um, yes, yeah, so we were... We were these are not the cut-offs. Th these are the cut-offs. Well, who were they for? Somebody who's six foot eight? <laughs> these, these are the cut-offs, I can assure you. <laughs> well, <laughs> they are honestly not just touching the floor, they're on the floor. But luckily, easily shortened. Oh, absolutely. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yes, yeah, so I was, we were pinning someone in the house, so we had my pin cushion in the house. And then I realised 
the dog was chewing something up. Now he doesn't have soft toys because he just rips them up yeah, immediately yeah. and there it's a waste of money. Um, so he doesn't have them. I thought, what's he got in his mouth? It's it's got a toy mm. from someone. I realised it was my pin cushion. No. But he had carefully removed all the pins before he destroyed it. That's quite impressive. There was a little pile of pins on the floor. He didn't like those. Oh, it's really annoying. My dad does that. Or oh, I find him with a crocheted square in his mouth and I go, just, just give it to mummy. <laughs> 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 Very gently. What's your dog called? Luna. Luna. Luna, she's a red cocker spaniel. Ah. Oh. Very, very naughty. Looney Luna. Yeah, absolutely. And gorgeous. And totally out of control, but gorgeous with it. There we go. So that's the, the yoke on at the back. Oh, is that what it's called? I didn't realise you had a yoke. I'm pretty sure it's called a yoke. Yeah, well, he don't always. But no, I didn't know that was called. I knew I'm I, like, sure it's I called think the of yolk. yolks on um, blouses. <clears throat> but that make, I like that. That looks nice. Now, you can it? top stitch that, if you, particularly if it's in denim. You probably wouldn't bother if it's corduroy because you may not see it, but it's entirely up to you. And on the inside, you could overlock that seam down. If you really felt like it, you could do a flat felt seam. Yeah. But life's a bit too short for that sometimes. <laughs> life's then, too short for a flat felt short. seam. So that's the back. You'd oh, learn look, message about whales. Oh, Morning, yes. loving you two together. The word whale comes from an old Saxon world for the ridges in a ploughed field. From Enid in Nantwich. Well, thank you very much, Enid. We've thank been you. Do you reckon she ages. writes good books, Enid? Hmm? I reckon she writes a good book, Enid. Yes, I think that's brilliant. Ridges in a ploughed field. Whale. There are some fields okay. in Kenilworth which used to be ploughed by the monks yeah. in like many centuries past. And you can still see... The whales. Yes. The whales. You can say that next time going, oh, look at oh, the prominent oh, whales. Let's count the whales Oof. in the field, everybody. Yeah, and, every, and then when, and look at them in disbelief when they say, what are you talking about? Go, oh, does not everyone know that word? <laughs> Thanks, Enid. We Thank can you. be, Mark and I are going to be very intellectual from now on. We, <laughs> yes, of course, they're whales. Let's talk pockets. I'm going to move on now Moving from on. the back. But you would sew the two back seams together yes. uh, down the bum and uh, and you could park those for a while. You can use that as a point of adjustment as well, of course. So if you want, you could leave that bit open if, as, an right. as an alternative method. And if you needed to kind of cinch them in well, a that's, bit. Well, that's my problem. So if you need to get it in at the waist, yes. where do you do that? Well, you can't do it at the fly. You can't do it at the sides because you eat into the pockets unless you don't mind doing that. Right. This is before the waistband goes on, yeah. of course. So the, the next best place is to do it. OK, because it's never a lot. You just need that little bit. It might bit. just be an extra half a right. centimetre or something really small. So if really you do small. that on the back seam. And then just taper it back uh, okay. into the and correct... And that's quite easy, that's not yeah. serious uh, yeah, taking exactly, in. exactly, because it's... Okay. I mean, measure yourself first and you shouldn't have a problem. I'm going to give it a go. Yeah. So these are the pockets. Now, if you want bigger pockets, it's quite easy. Uh, so you get a piece like that. I've already so top stitched in place the facing for the pocket and then we'll sew across the bottom and it's, I'll show you how to put it in, it's going to sit like that. So if you want them bigger you just mean longer? Yeah, these aren't the most generous pockets, I must be honest. No, I'm not um, going to get much in there. I would prefer personally <laughs> a bigger pocket. pocket. Um, and I, yes, I want to get my iPad in it, however... <laughs> I still can't um, believe you can get a pocket big enough for an iPad. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got the jeans to show you anymore I'm afraid, but it was huge. Um, so we'll just sew the bottom, but yes, you could extend that length of that pocket, yeah. just extend it down. This line follows the edge of the trouser, and then that's just folded double. So it's very easy just to alter it, or even make it, you can probably go an extra inch or so, depending on the size of your pocket, of your trousers. Yes, okay. Depending on how much room you've got. So we will turn those the wrong way round to start with. So we're doing a little French seam, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't have to do this if you weren't feeling up to it. You could just run it through your overlocker and that would also be absolutely fine. Does it fine. say in the instructions to do a French seam? This is the method in the instructions, okay. but I quite often just overlock my, my pockets. I thought you were going to take your trousers down and no, have a look what yours were doing. Them up. I you need just a pair of braces like oh, yours. I've just lost something down there. I'll find it in a minute. As long as it's not me... As long as it's not me uh, what do you think it might have been? I, it might have been my uh, zip foot. Oh, you definitely. Right. I, <laughs> I will get it. If you could just um, 
Hold the fort. I will hold the fort. So we're going to press that <laughs> over, and then we're going to pop it through the machine again. It fell off the table. <laughs> did it shoot? Did it go far? No. There you Thank go. Thank you very much. Rebecca. See, they didn't know even you. Oh, smash him. John, see, John Scott wouldn't do that. They would. <laughs> I know, but he's very important. He would make Elliot come out of the gallery and do it for him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've used, well, you're used to presenting now. You had to hold the floor while I changed my T-shirt in the last hour, you see. Well, it could just be What it is, it's a very slow subliminal training, and then by next week you'll say, so, Mark, um, can you do five hours next well, Tuesday? <laughs> uh, do you know, I'd love that. Would I'd, you? Yeah, I'd do that. Yeah. If you're watching, Hayley. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, but I do lots of WI talks and for other organisations as well. Nice. Yeah. All what do you talk to them about? Me. I mean, sewing, obviously, me. but is there anything more specific? Me. Just you? Me. Oh, you don't have to go, oh, this is how to make a dress. Well, I l no, no. I mean, I've, I've learned from talking to other WIs that um, what they like to hear is the story. Okay. So, who I am, right. my background, where I've come from. Sewing be gossip, of course, that has to be in there. Mm. I take my makes along. And uh, I show off my oh, makes. Nice. People could come and put them on if they want to, which they have done sometimes. I put on the dresses and the jackets Fantastic. and things. Fantastic. And then we will have a cake and tea afterwards. It's brilliant. Just, it's that just sounds brilliant. wonderful. Um, but yeah, it is Victoria a bit of a What do you talk about? It, well, it's. Well, yeah, no, I just wonder whether they have specific things, right? Like we want you to talk about dress fitting. No, that hasn't come up. I haven't been asked to do that, but I could do. Um, but at the moment, it's I'm talking just about, about you. Yeah. About I hope you make stuff up as well. Do, you, know do you embellish the truth a bit just to Oh, no. No, it sounds, it's, it's exciting enough as... <laughs> I don't need to. <laughs> I don't need to. I don't need to embellish the truth. I'll just tell it how it is. So it's, um, it's, a, it's a nice little talk. I quite like doing it. I've done loads on Zoom and I've done loads uh, now in, in person. I always think of that. You remember, have you seen Calendar Girls, you know, when they have the WI talks? And they're always really boring. And then they come yeah. along and then they talk about wanting to make in this calendar. <coughs> and it's like, oh, no, no. I'm sure it's not like that in real life at all. Now, I'm surprised by how well kept all these village halls are all over mm -hmm. the country. Because I'm imagining them to be this kind of beige, beige. 70s <laughs> kind of tatty nightmare of a place. Mm -hmm. But they're not all very well looked after. Amazing toilets Well, I guess all they're used by so many people, aren't they? Yeah. And the, the late, there's such a mixed group of ladies that go to them. And it's not WYs. There's all sorts of quilting groups and village right, social circles things. and all kinds of all kinds of things i used to go to a village hall for a toddler group and at the end of it we used to have to spend ages sweeping on all the floor and i never understood they said it's because the puppy training class is always after the toddler group and the puppies would just eat all the biscuits because <laughs> the <toddlers laughs> <had dropped. laughs> it was weeks i was thinking why don't you know we had to really be careful we're paying a cleaner for this surely yeah. <laughs> but otherwise the puppies wouldn't train because they were eating all the biscuits the toddlers oh dropped. no mm. so Love we're that. putting the pocket on. Let's go back to the plot, shall we? Yes. Sorry, so, we are supposed to be um, showing no, our no, trousers. Right. I, I was. I forgot. We got carried away. Yes, we were chatting. By the WI. So on the other side, that's where I got the facing, and I've twizzled it round so that it's facing that way round. Mm. Okay. So you've got the other half. The facing half is folded yeah. in half on the pocket. There. We'll go round that. If you get muddled up with which way things are supposed to go, a good tip I find is to kind of do an exploded view of how it's all going to go together and then kind of work backwards. That's, right, that's sometimes okay. how I, if I get lost in, in, a, in something. Now make sure you don't sew through the other half of the pocket and you're only sewing through the trouser part and one layer of the pocket. Go around the corner as carefully as you can. And if you need to, take smaller stitches this type of pocket's called a frog mouth pocket. Called a what? A frog mouth pocket. I was going to say, why is that? But that seems like a really stupid thing, doesn't it? Yeah. Is it because it looks like a frog's mouth? Yeah. Is that actually the name, the real name? Did you yeah, make that up? Yeah, it's called up? a frog mouth pocket. I've never heard of that. You can get other versions of them. Other versions are available. Other versions are available <laughs> of frog mouths. It's quite an old way of doing a pocket, actually. Um, in Victorian ones, they'd be quite squared off. Um, and so made what, what are they normally like on trousers then? Well, you either get the slanted ones like I'm wearing. Yes. So, uh, which I probably can't show you I've very well without sitting ones. on the desk. You've got the, yeah, that's a frog mouth. Is that a frog mouth? Oh, so it's not the inside, it's the outside it's the, that it's makes it. It's the shape, it. yeah. It's the shape that makes it the frog mouth. So you've got that curved, oh. that curved seam. Snip your seams. 
trim it. I won't trim it now because we'll crack on, but do trim it. Give it a press and wrestle it into shape. Now, they do give you options to put the little coin and oh, frog yes, I was frog concerned, I've things. got a little coin pocket in my frog mouth. Yeah. I think they were originally there for pocket watches. Oh, OK. It's my understanding. And I don't know why. And sometimes you get them in trousers, but you don't can't even get your finger in them. They're just there. Yeah. Like well, I, I didn't put it on for timing reasons, but also personally, I, I you put whatever finishes on you like on this because mm. it's your trouser. But I don't use them, so I didn't put it on. You very good for the um, pound coin for the s supermarket trolley. Oh yes, mm. but then it gets lost in the sub when the washing machine. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, but useful then. Just pop them in. If you're worried about flattening the pile of your corduroy with your iron mm. you can put a cloth down or a towel uh, if, if you if you didn't want to flatten it but I think it's fine because I tend to iron most things anyway um, so but I guess it would come back if you gave yeah. it a little swish wouldn't it yeah some people might say oh you're flattening the pile by doing that but I think it's fine and your um, answer to that is whale darling whale <laughs> whales yes <laughs> we are the prince need. of whales now, now we know what whales are um, fold it round so you don't see the white so that disappears. If you wanted to be really posh, you could get a lining that matches. Oh, that would be nice. Hey, do you think that's why Wales is called Wales? Because it's full of mountains, like ridges. Oh, maybe was it, it is. totally unrelated? Well, it's spelt differently, isn't it? It's got an H in, has it? <laughs> no, that's no. Wales in the sea. Oh, yes. I'm thinking of Wales. The country? Yeah. Oh, yes. I don't know. Who knows? Mm. Who cares? Could you let us know if anyone knows? Does Enid know? Yeah, Enid. Is that related to Wales in, in Anglo-Saxon? The next thing you do on this is just put some stitches. If I put it back in the middle of the screen. There we go. Put some stitches to anchor it there and there. That's your pocket done. Wow. And then that's... that's do you do the rivets whenever... Oh, I suppose you do that after the waistband. Well, I did mine at the very end. Right. Once I'd finished it, that's when I decided where I was going to put my rivets because um, you'd want to get your, se your seam. I suppose you could do it now. You could do it now and then leave yeah, the seam allowance. Yeah, but then it'd be hard. It wouldn't be buttered up nicely. You'd to have to get a zip foot and all sorts, wouldn't exactly. you? Exactly. So do it at the end. Yeah, I think do it at the end is, the, is a much okay. easier option. How long have we got? We've got a few minutes to talk about zips, Should we just we? talk about the zip? Because I don't want to scare I wasn't, you. I wasn't keen to do it live on air. No, but if you could just sort of I have made a little through. start on this. Just talk us through it, but not actually do it. So... Uh, it gives you brilliant instructions for the for the fly so don't worry about doing a fly I mean if you prefer a button fly you could just put a button fly in um, I do a lot of button oh, velcro flies would be nice. velcro why don't we just do that all the time just put velcro in folks take the buttons off the uh, <laughs> off the sewing off the off the website so much <laughs> Velcro. You could even put spots of Velcro, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah. I think it's a great um, idea. But no, it's not actually that difficult. Take your time. Don't do it when you're rushing. If it's your first time, uh, I do. I did leave out the instruction book. I haven't got a proper book, and I've got a photocopied one again. But you can see it gives you instructions at every single stage there, and so you won't have a problem. I know that if you wanted a book to so look at, so you've sewn your um, into a bit of, onto a bit of fabric, your zip. Yes, so what you have, where have I put it? So here we go. So you have on this side, you have a facing, which I've top stitched into place. That is interfaced on its own. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and you cut a little notch just down to your last stitch there so you can fold it around. Then you can lose that side for a little bit. Uh, and then you've got this. So this is the, the, the bit the zip actually sits on. It's actually sewn in half. Okay. And I've I've just folded it over and I've overlocked it down the other side so it's nice and neat. And you pop your zip down and sew it on. You will need a zip foot if you're not sure what it looks like. It's one of those little jobs. So you can sew it in either right or left-handed positions depending which bit you are you are working on. Your machine should have one. Yeah, it, they nearly it, always I think do. nine times out of ten they come with yeah, one. Yeah, it'd be odd if it didn't. So the next bit you'd do is to, once you've done that, is to pop it in on there and sew down. Now, okay. what you need to make sure is that you move the zip foot, zip carriage out of the way while you're doing it. So if I show you, so if I pop that zip off, mm. that foot off rather, 
and which way do I need it to go? That way, I think. That's on. It's as easy as that. Or some machines do have a little screw, don't they, to, uh, to do that. Yes, yes. Depends so what it's nice machine. to do is just to pop the zip in the middle, just like that. Just like that. Oh, the slider. The slider. Is that what it's called? Mm. No, I do know that because I wrote a feature about zips and I had to look up the anatomy of a zip. Oh. Because to know what the, all the different pieces are called. I, called I've always called it just the zip carriage. No, it's the slider. I think I must have made that up. <laughs> now I know. So it goes to the machine. This bit is sewn with a one centimetre seam allowance. It just changes around by the zip a little bit. So do pay attention. But everything else on the garment is one and a half. I wouldn't advise sewing over your pins here because you've got a lot going on with the zip. Now, I'm coming up to, I can feel my, my what was it? Slider. Slider, see I've forgotten already, <laughs> is here. Your undercarriage. I like that word. So what you can do <laughs> is stop, lift your foot, lift your needle a little bit if you need to, but don't take it out of the fabric and just pull hope you should get it past with a bit of wrestling <laughs> come on there we go thought he wasn't going to get out of the way then and now we can carry on oh I've hit something there we go it's waiting mine does that it says motor overloaded yeah I hit it it moved the zip and you the, go, the, yes, I know. The needle hit the zip. Was it, it moved out I of the way? I often wonder why it waits. I go. feel like I'm being told off. You'll wait as long as I make you. <laughs> I think I know I hit something and I've actually broken the needle as well. Oh, I... I, I, did think, it, I think and if it thinks you've been really naughty, it makes you wait even longer. Now, if you do like me, mm. now, you probably <laughs> may not be able to see it, but my zip has... To, my stitching has just gone a bit wonky. It's close enough for tennis. Yeah, for well, what, I did say you didn't have to do doing. this, but... There we go. I've got a bit of lunch, just ignore that. But no, it was just the process that I wanted to get because it's got all these different flaps and bits. It does. And then you need to marry the two together. Yeah, okay. So that's how you'd that's how you'd pop that together. Yeah, but actually the way you've explained it, because you've got like a flap on one side that goes under them and that bit, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. So it would And if it's not completely straight, it's covered anyway. Isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. So it I does, like that point yeah. of it as well. Your zip's not on show. So it's going to sit like that. That's yeah. how it will. That's how it will sit together. And you'll pin it in place, and you'll open it up, and you'll sew that bit of the zip mm. to there. So if you haven't got your line, your top stitching completely straight, it won't matter anyway. Not particularly, no. No. I've done the first zip I did worked, and it was fine, but it wasn't right mm. i didn't have enough of a of a flap covering oh, okay it, and it wasn't i i knew it didn't it wasn't quite mm. proper um <laughs> but no one else did well there we are then does it matter does it as long as no one else knows yeah well that was brilliant thank you so much Marvelous. for that thank you so much so finish those now. um if you've done a bit of dress making then this is kind of your next step I and mean, it's not I like horrendous so. it's not like i think a, i think a jacket's worse i've been i've been avoiding trousers for quite a while oh. and i have done them in the past mm. but in recent uh, last couple of years i haven't done them and i've got a bit kind of oh it's a pair of trousers that's really complicated but then i actually i've, I've broken the ice on right it. you've done it now you can make the trousers and before doing it so now i came to do this it's like oh okay a pair of trousers um, I, but although mine have all got buttons, but this had a zip. Mm. Um, but it, do you know what? It's okay. Good. Just well, I think it's great, and I think it's nice because I think they'd be very easy to adjust, like you say, the waist because you just take a little tuck take a bit in. Out, take a but bit also the, the length as well, and get them right to begin with. Yeah. And these the, these ones are they're not slim fit. They're not skinny fit no, jeans. No, no. But they're not like super baggy either, no, are they? They're just it's a, a nice, nice middle ground. I, and I think fit. for the most part, if you get your waist right yes. and you get the leg yeah. length right, then you're 90% of the way there. Yeah, I, because that's my biggest problem. That's why my trousers keep falling down because the waist is just too big. So as soon as I pull them up, they fit nicely. It's a constant <laughs> thing. But I know that to sort it out, I've got to take the waistband off, take it and I can't. You have to sew too. them to your t-shirt. To yes, I should do actually, like an all-in-one. Yeah. They used to do that in the... Um, in the in 50s? During the war, didn't they? Oh. used to sew kids into their underwear for oh, the winter. Oh, did they? 
never really understood that. Did they really do that? Was that one of those urban myths? Because how did they go to the toilet? My sister had a favourite vest and she would never take it off. <laughs> and I had to go on the radiator to keep it body temperature warm when she was in the bath. So mum only had her bath time to wash this, re this wretched no. vest and get it back to her before she kicked off. I love off. that. That's brilliant. I mean, she's a little girl. She's got over it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's 52 <laughs> now. <laughs> she's still wearing the same vest, but it's... <laughs> <laughs> she probably is. I have to ask her next time I see yes, her. Yes, I hope she's not watching and is so pleased you mentioned her and her vest. No, it's, it should be should be off drinking wine somewhere. <laughs> uh, well, thank you so much. When are you back with us? Uh, May the something. That's I should have looked it up, shouldn't I? May, the, May the... Vaguely? May the something. 14th? Mark will be back something with like us that. in May. I, I'll, I'll be back. I'll At be back. some I'm point. I'm always back. Yes, well, it will be lovely to see you then. If it's yeah. a Monday or a Sunday, or whatever day. Covering you for five hours. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, talking on my own. Because you're fully trained now. I am, yes. <laughs> Just give me an earpiece, I'll be away. <laughs> you can listen to them talking about their lunch. Um, anyway, <laughs> that was brilliant. I'm just going to do a quick rerun of the um, patterns, but thank you. It's been a joy, as always, working Pleasure. with you. Um, the patterns, let's start with the size 6 to 20. This is a um, 6 a 31 to a 45 inch no i'm not saying that because that's 24 to 38 inch waist let me give you a little close up right there are 15 of you who have this in baskets who need to check out or you're going to miss out that rhymes so that's the smaller size size 6 to 20 and then the larger one size 18 to 30 um that's this one remember there's three versions bootleg straight and cropped and there's the size unless is. you're four foot one then it's regular length yeah unless you're four foot one like me Ooh. um but these are very f easy to shorten because you don't have even even with the bootleg you can shorten them halfway along and if you shorten them on the straight part not the bottom then they'll be p fine and also the finished garment gives you the inside leg measurement so do measure a pair of trousers you've got already um, all the bundles and all the other fabrics, everything are all on the website. Um, we're going to go for a short break now and it's Yarn Lane next. Now, if you've not shopped on Yarn Lane before, it's the same account as your Sewing Street account. All the products are already on pre-order, but they're on the Sewing Street website. Don't forget that. We, we've done that just to make it easier, so it's all on there. Now, we've got a whole selection of kits, yarn and books, and it's all 20% off. We need to clear some space because we've got some great shows planned and we need a little bit more space um that will only be till midnight so i will see you back here in a few minutes time once we've got mark off and all the yarn and i've been on. kicked out <laughs> yes and that could take time no no once we've got everything cleared up we'll be a few minutes and we'll be back with yarn later i look forward to seeing you in a couple of minutes time miss the live show don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. 
And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Morning, afternoon. I'm never sure what it's 12 morning, afternoon. Afternoon. Um, welcome to Yarn Lane. Now, we've got a great show for you today. Um, it's a Sunday and it's Yarn Lane. How exciting. We've got a bit of a clearance show. We have got 20% off everything that I'm showing you. 20%, not 20% off everything in Yarn Lane, but what I'm showing you. And I'm quite pleased by what we've got because we've got a lot of yarn and pattern books by West Yorkshire Spinners, which is fab. And we've got quite a few adventures in crafting kits. And as you know, I love adventures in crafting kits, so that's even better. So I'm going to start with my favourite pattern book because Nikki said I could do whatever I like, which is great. So um, this is NRW 947. Yeah. Now, this was a pattern book that we launched on your Yarn Lane, gosh, a year ago probably about that and um, sold out we kept it we kept reordering it and reordering it I need to move over a bit move my I'll move my little yarn shop over a bit right there we go we've only got 
16 of these left. Now, it's absolutely brilliant, and I know how much you love it. I've knitted from it. I bought it for my mum for her birthday last year, and she's knitted two items from it, so I know how great it is. Now, it's all for home, and I know a lot of you love home knitting. Those of you who don't want to do garments, I'm not sure, but there's something hand-knitted um, items for the home are incredibly expensive to buy. But if you knit them yourself, they're obviously not. So in this book, it features... Now, all the yarn that's featured in here is West Yorkshire Spinner's yarn. It's um, undyed natural yarn, either the Blue Face Lest or the Jacob's Sheep. We have got some of the yarn here. But obviously, you can use whatever yarn you like. So let's just have a little quick flick. Now, the normal price for this is £12.95. But we are saving £2.59 it's £10.36 and look at what you're getting in here it's got all of the information about the yarn so you can buy the yarn if you want or you can use your own and these are all the projects we've got the little pictures there but let's have a look at them in bigger look at that's beautiful the lattice lace throw absolutely love this this is all knitting by the way there's no crochet it's all knitting and it's either using a double knit yarn or an Aran yarn this one uses a double knit um, if you want to know anything about um, quantity, yarn quantities, just message in and I can help. Or you can see when you get it at home, the diamond bed runner. I mean, you imagine what these, these sort of things, you go into these posh shops, what they cost. I love the poof. Beautiful. I'm trying to find the one. I mean, that's gorgeous. Look at the blanket. When we first launched this on air, we had all the projects in the office oh wow they were amazing they were soft and they smelt of sheep in a nice way and you've got the cushions i mean look at all this all of this for 10 pound 36 it's amazing value there's the cushions this is my this is my favorite one this is the one that my mum knitted when i bought it for a bit the peacock plume throw and the ripple cushion absolutely gorgeous and it's a beautiful thing to knit because you knit the center section which just has these little lines of garter stitch then after that you knit the borders and sew them on and it honestly i've seen it in real life now it is beautiful the photography in the book is beautiful and i love the way i mean they're obviously it's, they think about knitters it's a ring bound so it lies flat so if you want to copy a page from it so that you so that you can um cross it off and not ruin your book or if you want to keep it on your lap it makes it so much easier but there's that's the matching cushion for the a peacock plume throw um this one was extremely popular the checkerboard trellis blanket and gorgeous isn't it so look all of these all of these patterns and the patchwork blanket throw i love that because you knit these squares individually and then sew them all together it's lovely isn't it and um cushions to go with it there's so much here the instructions are brilliant they work and they're easy to understand all of the special stitches especially when you've got cable all explained very very clearly really lovely book 10 pounds 36 pence six homeware projects i mean it says six but it's actually more than that because there's six sections so one project might be two cushions and a blanket so you actually get more than six in there but that's a beautiful book isn't it anyway any questions about that let me know now i'm going to move on now to the west yorkshire spinners yarn itself because we do have some of this left so let me sort it out in two types so we've got Jacob's double knit, little sort out. <laughs> blue face Lester and blue face. Oh, that's okay. Those are Aaron's. Right. So Jacob's double knit. We've got in four different colours, and let me just tell you about this yarn. Um, <coughs> it's a double year, It's a double knit yarn. Obviously, it is undyed, and that's why I think it's amazing. Now these are all, all of these four come from the Jacob sheep so it depends what sh part which sheep they've they've chosen because these are actually they are two different that's medium and that's like yeah so they just choose different parts of the Jacob sheets now the great thing about West Yorkshire Spinners yarn is it's run it's sp spun and sh sheared in Britain so it all comes from Britain and it's beautiful isn't it absolutely gorgeous now it's lovely for homewares particularly blankets but it is all natural when you smell it I mean it sounds like it smells like a sheep it's just gorgeous so I'm gonna just which sounds really bad doesn't it but it, it smells like a clean sheep it's so lovely it smells like you've got a hundred grams in a hank 225 meters so I'm gonna start with the cream one which is QIW924 
we'll start with that one so this is a very clean jacob sheet but it is undyed now normally this is five pound fifty for your hundred gram hank double knit but because we're reducing it by 20 percent it is it is it is <laughs> It's coming, it's coming. So £4.40, saving of £1.10. Now that is fantastic value for money. Now if you want to know, so there's a lot of projects in here that are using the Jacobs Double Knit. So if you want to know which those are, just do ask. Because as, as I say, in here, the, a lot of the projects are using Double Knit and Aram. But it is a beautiful yarn. That's the cream. Then, well, I think it's a crew actually. Then we've got the light grey which is GW956. That again will be reduced by £1.10 and be £4.50. It's a 100 gram hank, 440. So it's very close in shade. Let me just show you together because that's the light grey and this is the medium grey. They're very close, but they are, they are different. So they're very lovely to use together because it gives you that slight colour change. In fact, there is the colours that is, I think, I think it's used in this, um, oh no, that one's the Aaron. Can't remember which one, I'll have to have a look in a minute which one is which. So if you want to do the, um, what is called the medium grey, that is normally <coughs> 550, but is reduced to £4.40, £1.10 off, but only until midnight. This isn't just across the board, we're just having our special 20% off sale today. Only on these items that I'm talking about as well. £4.40. And then we have this one that's called Brown Black or Black Brown. Which is just like you imagine if you see a really dark day Jacob's sheep. The Jacob's sheep are the ones that have those really curly horns. I think they're like one of the oldest sheep breeds in the whole world. But you know the ones I mean. But this is very, very, very dark, like um bitter chocolate colour but totally undyed now that's what i love about them because they're so natural they i mean and together gorgeous aren't they right those are the double knits good afternoon looking forward to the show the pattern book is beautiful rebecca your jumper jumper is lovely where's it from sent from heather and cornwall oh well i've just bought it i bought it from this little place um in brighton little shop in brighton it's got a cow on it as well look i have to stand up show you the cow look it's got a cow I'd like to say I knitted it, but I didn't. I just saw it and thought, ooh, it just it gives me joy. I'm going to buy pattern jumpers with scenes on from now on. Um, now, this is all Jacobs again, but it's Aaron. Again, it is um, reared, sheared and spun in Britain by West Yorkshire Spinners. Um, you, it's a 100 gram hank again, and you get 166 metres. So we'll start with a crew. So it's exactly the same as the double knit, but it's the Aran, it's the same colour, but it's the Aran weight. Don't forget that. So the price for that. Oh, hang on, that's the old, that's the old one. Yeah, shall I give you the code for this one? VLW906. So <clears throat> the price for this, £5.50 for the Ecru Jacobs Aran Yarn, 100 grams, but obviously reduced today to £4.40. So you just have to decide. Now I'm going to find my, my blanket. So this blanket here <clears throat> is knitted using this because it is used the Jacobs Aran. So you can see, it's lovely, isn't it? And in fact, it uses all the colours of them right so that's the accru aaron now we're going to move on to the light gray aaron five pound fifty for 100 grams but reduced to you today and today only for four pound forty it is gorgeous don't forget if you buy hanks you must wind them before you knit with them or you will have yarn knots all over the place. If you go onto the Yarn Lay website, you'll see that we do the, um, the yarn winders on there. But don't <coughs> be tempted to knit straight from the hank or you'll get yourself in all sorts of tangles. £4.40. And finally, in the Aran shop, is medium grey. 
I just think it's amazing that they're not dyed. That these sheep are running around the fields in all these different colours. That is the colour of the sheep, yes. Um, y no, you... Shall I give you the code? Yes, it does. So this is the medium grey Jacob's Aran yarn, 100 grams from West Yorkshire Spinners, £4.40. That's lovely, isn't it? Right, I've got <coughs> also, let's do another, another um, book, because I love this one. I actually should move the things out of the way that I've done. I'm going to get confused. <laughs> yeah, poor Nikki's like, what are you on about? I've got yarn and books all over the place. Another beautiful book by West Yorkshire Spinners. Again, um, a book that we featured on Yarn Lane and Chloe Birch, who designed them, also came on. So we talked her through the patterns and they are gorgeous. And what I love about these is they use a chunky yarn but you use it double, so it knits like a super chunky, so it's really quick. Now, the normal price for this is 9 95 and you've got five designs in here. So five designs for 9 95 and actually you've got various colourways and variations within that as well. So you've actually got more than five for 9 95 But the price to you today, 7 96 That's a 7 96 and all of these. And now, obviously, as I say, if you... The blue, um, the West Yorkshire Spinners yarn is what they are knitted in, but you, as long as you use the same weight, you can use what you like. So let's have a look at the designs. This was my, look at the, the Shilo bubble, look at the sleeves. Absolutely gorgeous. And when I spoke to Chloe about it, I said, oh, you know, they look really hard, but she's, they're not. It's just the way that they're designed. You've got a, um, just a special bubble stitch going on there. And the way that the decrease is done so that the cuffs come in nice and tight. And then you've got these beautiful sleeves. And then you've got the Frida in lovely stripes. But what she does is that she's always quite aware of is that when you just have to knit something like, you know, knit 18 inches, it's so boring. So she always puts a few extra interesting little stitches. This one's got, um, a, a pattern within it just to make it more interesting to stitch love the grace jumper and this one is really easy because you just keep swapping the yarn you're not using um you know it's not like fair isle or intarsia you just pick you just skipping yarn that's really easy i was quite amazed by that one um the cable cardigan it's got the hat scarf and mitt set and then the patterns are lovely i mean i just love that one and you and a lot of them, although you know it says it's five, like this one comes in a jumper and it comes in a gar in a cardigan. And there's nice, uh, they there's a lot of attention to detail here. So they've put photos in of the back, not just because it looks nice, but as a knitter, you need to be able to see the back and the front and the sides. So you, when you're looking at it and you're doing, you can see that if you're in the right place. I love that one and nice close-up shots as well. Um, the Frida. Now that comes in two colours as well. The flex stitch. And that's a jumper and a cardigan. So although it says five patterns, you are getting a lot more than that. I love that one. So cosy. Nice to start now as well, isn't it? Um, the Grace jumper, meaning beauty and joy. I really like this one when we have this one in. It's beautiful, isn't it? Nice chunky yarn. £7.96. That's amazing price, isn't it? And then you've got this lovely one. I love this. This is, this is like a massive cable and it just twists over so you get that lovely chain effect down the front. I think that's really nice. And that's all. That's the one that is also um, shown, I showed you earlier, in red. Exactly the same, but you can see the lovely pattern that goes down there. So all the, pattern use, all the patterns use a chunky yarn but they use it double. So I guess it comes up a bit like a super chunky. So you can use whatever you want. Once you get it home, have a look and choose through. And I think that's lovely. You can get this, um, this one also comes in a single color if you prefer, but it's a, just a really nice set. And, um, you know, it's really fashionable as well, you know. So if you're thinking, I want to get ahead a bit, I want to start knitting for presents, things, that's really nice. But I think even in the summer, you need a big, thick cardi for the sort of cooler evenings even when you go on holiday it's quite nice to have one but these are quick knits but they're really interesting and I think that's really important I like it when I speak to designers that they because they're all knitters themselves they think about the process they think well actually I, I need something a bit more interesting a bit of a fleck but doesn't it the same pattern but doesn't it work really well in the one color as well 
So you, and they're all using 10 mil needles, well, 10, nine or 10. So you can see it's lovely, big, chunky knitting. Anyway, £7.96 for all of that. Bargain. That's where Shorkshire Spinners. Um, now, I've got two packs here. I'll do one at a time. Now, UJW961. These are um, where Shorkshire Spinners yarn. But these packs were put together for a crochet along that was designed by Anna Nikiporovich. And the patterns are free for the crochet along and are on the West Yorkshire Spinners website. Have you got that one? UJW961. I can't remember what it's called. Hang on, we're just having a look. I'm sure it was on my sheet. Didn't want to do my sheet. Okay. So in here, now it's up to you. If you want to make, if you want to knit the blanket for it, you can. Um, no, it's crochet, sorry. If you want to crochet the blanket for it, you absolutely can. But you need to go onto the West Yorkshire Spinners website to get the pattern. It is free. Or, because obviously we've got money off this today, um, you can just have the yarn as it is. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six balls of um, Bow Peep Pure double knit 100% Falkland Islands wool. Um, yes. So you've got 11. Now look, there's the picture of the crochet long blanket. So this is the yarn pack for it, 64.99. It's all 100% wool. It's all double knit. And you've got two shades. You've got the, um, I wonder what they actually call it. Oh, dandelion. I like that. Dandelion and natural. And this will crochet the blanket but obviously full price is 64.99 but 12.99 off 51.99 if you go onto the west yorkshire spinners website you put in the hidden treasures cow you will get the pattern on there but this is the yarn pack i think at 12 pounds off that's amazing isn't it only 51.99 very worth it we've also got the same blanket but in a different colourway. And that's a separate yarn pack. <clears throat> and again, it's, uh, yes. The, again, this is in 100% British wool, Bo Peep Pure. It's a double knit wool. It's 100% and it is gorgeous. So Bo Peep is um, West Yorkshire has been a sort of baby wool. So it's very, very soft. Now look, that's the colour. So there's the yarn pack. And, oh no, that's the one on the screen. There's the um, actual blanket that you make. It's exactly the same as the other one, but obviously this is a different yarn pack. It uses more colours, so it's got more yarn in it. There were 17 50 gram balls in here, whereas the other one I think had 11. So um, the full price for that, normally 94.99. Isn't it lovely? It's like a real heirloom crochet blanket. Saving 18.99, saving 18.99, so only 75.99 you are getting 17 50 gram balls of pure 100 percent wool from west yorkshire spinners the pattern is free if you go onto the west yorkshire spinners um, website designed by anna nikoprovich she'll be all of the information is on there and she has tutorials through it as well but we were just selling the yarn pack i think she was on air to launch it with us so you just need to choose whether you want the dandelion and natural one or this multi-colored one but it's beautiful isn't it and i think the the yarn itself is so soft because it is their the bow peep is their baby range what a beautiful thing to have have a look anyway go and have a look at the pattern see what you think 75.99 that's an 18 pound saving have a think and see what you want to do um right let's do a couple of kits i want to do i've got to find the kit i want to do first uh, the granny square jumper so love sam sabido love adventures in crafting so oh let me give you the code uh yes HSS691. Let me find the picture. I love this. Now I've um I've made this one. Yes. It is, yes. Now I've made this one. I love it. Wear it all the time. I made mine in the blue colourway. This one is gorgeous, isn't it? Isn't this lovely? So this is the summer one. So 
the pattern is brilliant and i know because i've made it and i wear it all the time um it goes from a size let me just read the sizes 8 to 22 so big size and all the information is given in the pattern how you change the size you can change the neckline of it you can change the bottom of it this is the summer colorway you can see the picture of it on screen but let me just show you so the normal price for this is 34.99 which i think is fantastic because you get six does it say oh no six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty four fifteen eighteen balls of yarn and today 27.99 27.99 for the all of this so you're getting you're saving 6.99 6, 18 50 gram balls so you're getting 900 grams of yarn you're getting the pattern and it is amazing honestly it's the one thing that i wear probably the most because it's warm and cozy and gorgeous this i love this summer colorway was well, perfect for this time of year you've got say well they've got lovely names actually i was thinking of this one as sage this oh look at that yeah you've got sage it's called sage sky sage sky carnation sax and this lovely bright pink and fuchsia those are all the colors in it but you it's the very simple if you've not crocheted before um really simple to do if you have a look back if you put in um granny square jumper sam speedo and yarn lane you can catch up on youtube of when sam designed it but the kits all come as well packaged in these cotton drawstring bags which are absolutely ideal and there is enough yarn to make the largest size there but have a go if you've crocheted a bit or you've done some granny squares you think i want to have a go at making some garments it's really simple you do all the granny squares and then you just sew them together nice and i absolutely love mine actually lives in my car most of the time so i can wear it when i'm cold um yeah let's do it let's do another one let me find one right so this is the also the granny square jumper but this is in the black retro so um this sends in yes so this is the black retro have we got a picture of this or have i got something more i love this one this was sam's favorite one so you've got exactly the same you've got the black but you've got a black background this time but all the other colors in it are real jewel colors i'm not going to get them all out but you've got um really bright turquoise blue you've got emerald green you've got yellow bright yellow and then you've got red and that's all against that black background the um can we show you there so again available in all of those sizes which i now can't remember and i'll find the button but per this is perf perfect for those sort of summer evenings great for festival makes but lovely if you're going to a festival or a, you know evening party but it's really fun isn't it lovely thing to make for someone else yes goes from sizes 8 to 22 and all the instructions are in there how to do it so it was 34.99 but today and, and this is today only 20 percent off 27.99 that price if we have any left 6.99 saving that will go back up at midnight but what a wonderful price for the pattern and all of the yarn you're talking 900 grams of yarn then and it is gorgeous they are so popular these jumpers they're just just everywhere at the moment so that's another one do we i don't yeah i'm looking for the other jumper um i've got bags oh okay oh i like the gut yeah i've just got to five got bags of different things here oh maybe this is it because that's quite a big bag oh there we go i found it so oh uh, this is the garden of a hobbyist jumper so sam designed a whole um group of jumpers that to do with different hobbies we have the pet lover um with the sewing but this is the garden lover so have we got a picture of this one okay it's lovely isn't it so it features uh, all different flowers and then look at the colors that are in it so the main color all the background the sleeves the sort of the, the strongest color is um cream so you've got all of that but then you've got all these other love well they're just pretty floral colors and what have we got Ye yellow green mauve rose and fuchsia it's really pretty so some of the squares 
are empty squares some of them have flowers on it's up to you how many you you put on there's enough that goes is oh, really small so it goes from sizes four to 24 plus and i think sam did that in the thing that it would then fit um children or younger teenagers as well but isn't it pretty but we're going to take 20 percent off that that's not your full price 34.99 was and now 27.99 now you can also if you want if you don't want to make a jumper you can make a blanket instead and in the pattern because obviously this whole jumper is made from um granny squares so if you would rather make a cushion there's a picture of it using the pack or you would rather make a blanket the information is given in the back of the pattern here that will show you how to make a blanket in, instead so you don't have to make a jumper so if you love the look of that you would love to crochet yourself a cushion or a blanket then the instructions are in here to do that instead of the jumper entirely up to you and i know that when we sold it on air there were a lot of people went oh no i really want a blanket that would look beautiful so it's all about the garden lover full of lovely flowers and the the colors are beautiful in it aren't they so 27.99 that's only till midnight mind then it'll go back up again let's put that at the other end of my table um let's do some socks now, if you've never knitted a pair of socks before, which I hadn't, then I asked around when we first launched Yarn Lane and said, who do you recommend as the queen of socks? And lots of people said to me, you need to get Christine Winnick Mum on. So we got her on and we brought her in with the super socks pattern and it is absolutely brilliant. I decided, I, keep, I kept saying to Christine, so I'm gonna do this and I've, and I've done it because the best thing about this book is it talks to you like you have never knitted and you've never knitted a pair of socks either and what i love about these is it tells you how to measure your feet so that you knit a pair of socks that fit you and i've done it i'm so proud well i've done one and a half the first one fits me i haven't finished the second half yet this is the second half of the second one i've got a bit sidetracked but it fits beautifully so you measure the circumference of the ball of your foot and then you knit it to that. And then when you come to the length, you and they fit beautifully and they're soft, they're gorgeous. But the whole book goes through in detail exactly how to make these. With, you know, and with things like what needles you should do. She also gives you all the different methods. So I know some people prefer to work with a long circular needle. So she tells you how to do it with that. Some people prefer to work with double pointed needles and others prefer to work with just um, short circular, which is what I chose. But she tells you in detail how to do it really, really clearly. And so if you've never knitted a pair of socks before, I highly recommend that book. Um, 29.99, but 19 pounds and 19 pence. Um, and at the back, so the, basically it is to knit the perfect pair of socks in your size, but there is also the pattern for extra long. 23.99 was 19.99, four pound 79 saving. So that's super socks. That's the beginner's book, but she then knitted, they, she then made the red one. So that really does explain exactly how to knit the perfect pair of socks and going through in detail um, more super socks now this is great because this gives you even more techniques so she because you might want to then move on to pattern so if you've never knitted socks I would start with super socks because it really is easy to understand so we're going into more detail now <clears throat> sock stitch calculation I mean I looked at that and thought oh how am I going to do that but actually it really works it's because you want your socks to fit you so now you've learned how to do socks i mean to be honest you can start with mo more super socks because she does start from the beginning but if you've never knit socks i would go for that and then you go into these um the new patterns easy cable socks lace socks love the patchwork socks and color work socks so when i knitted mine i used um west shulker spinners color changing yarn which is designed by christine but this one it, it shows you how to do all these different patterns so now i've cracked that i'm now gonna i'm gonna move on to cable socks 
saving 479 saving saving 479 new price of 19 pound 19 but it is absolutely brilliant so if you've ever found a kit or a pattern that just tells you to knit a pair of socks they won't fit you exactly because they are just generic ones if you want to knit a pair of socks for yourself or for someone else you know they take hours to knit you may as well knit a pair that actually fit or if you've struggled with the short circular needle or you've struggled with um turning the heel flap honestly it's brilliant i am so chuffed with mine so anyway this one has got lots and lots of different patterns in it so it, depending on whether you're it's not more like a beginner and an advanced it's just that this is the basic one this one has more patterns highly recommend you get them um should we do another kit oh well we've got sock patterns should we finish off our sock patterns so these are all designed now if you just want an individual pattern because you know how to do the socks but you just want something a bit different um she actually puts in different sizes here which is great so she does the size to fit um she doesn't say f shoe size because kind of shoe size is irrelevant when you're knitting socks only because if you've got a certain shoe size that's the length of your feet but you might have really wide or really narrow feet so she does explain exactly how to, to fit the ball of foot circumference different inches and 24 centimeters so the first one we've got impressive socks they are quite impressive aren't they was 5.99 oh that's the now the new price right sorry the pattern was 750 it is now 599 so um if you want to knit some impressive socks really good i can guarantee her socks patterns are brilliant and um, they've got a lovely cable pattern as well 599 then we've got the boxy rib socks just a little bit of a pattern just a bit of interest work really well with your um self color changing one um yarn these were 749 they are now 599 boxy rib socks um love spoon socks love these and they're called love spoon socks because they actually the pattern on them does look like love spoons going all the way down the center so if you want something a bit more interesting imagine knitting those and giving them to someone beautiful um so these were the pattern was 749 and now it's 5.99 so good saving there um and oh no i've got two more the carousel socks um they're called that because the horseshoe pattern at the top and the island eyelet columns remind me of the poles of a fairground carousel oh that's nice so again was 7.49 this pattern reduced to 5.19 so if you like knitting socks or you want to knit something a bit different pop a few of these in your basket and check out because you're making a saving but only till midnight and then the final um, winning mum sock pattern magic diamond socks these are lovely again was 7.50 and now they are six pounds so one pound fifty off they look lovely love the colors change going down there but you've got some nice diamonds so um if you want you know instead of an ordinary pair of socks you want something a bit more different have a look at those and pop one of those in your basket yes shall we do tapestry tra tapestry crochet so these are lovely i'll give you the code one moment uh bls650 so this kit is for tapestry crochet which I know a lot of you really like. Tapestry crochet basically is like the, the crochet version of um, like Fair Isle and Tarsix. It's colour changing. It's where tapestry crochet is nothing to do with tapestry. It's where you change your colour whilst crocheting. This is gorgeous. I love this one. It makes this beautiful so all of these i've got a few here are all cushions but they just make different designs this one makes this lovely dandelion cushion isn't that gorgeous so you've got the full bloom dandelion and then you've got the clock as well so in the kit you get all the yarn you need so you get the platinum yarn for the background um, you get the leaf yarn the yellow and the white and you also get two nice big chunky wooden buttons to put it together with so all you need to go with this is um, a four and a four and a half mil crochet hook and the cushion inner because you've got the buttons as well 20 percent off so it was 19.99 now 15.99 
saving 3.99 now this is ideal if you've never tried tapestry crochet before have a go if you search on youtube and put in um adventures in craft and tapestry crochet yarn lane you'll be able to see um watch back sam's show or message us in and we'll be able to help and i wish i was hope because it's like i'm holding a biscuit i wish i was I'm quite angry um well, mini cheddar, but it is lovely to do. Basically, you follow a chart and you crochet along and you change colour. It's lovely to do. Once you get your head round to how it works, really simple. And what a beautiful effect. So that's the dandelion, and I do have others. I'm going to do the bee. Oh, I'll do with there. I'm just picking up the one I get first. So let's do the bee. The bee. So in the bee, you get the pattern obviously you get two buttons you got, oh, there's the bee there's the bee you get this lovely denim blue is the background you get 350 gram balls of that you get um white and you get mustard and then a little ball of black which you need for the stripes so everything you need bar the crochet hooks and the cushion insert and again, follow back on the show. It is, it, if you have had a go at crochet, it's probably good that this isn't your first ever project because you're color changing as well. But if you've done a bit of crochet and you want to move a bit further and try something else, you follow a chart. Look, it looks like this. So you're following a chart to create that. And it's lovely to do because, you know, you tick off each line as you go. So you go five blues, three whites, one, you know, and it's a really nice thing to do. So have a go at it bees are so trendy aren't they but it is i do love them now the normal price for this was 19.99 but today and only till midnight it's 15.99 so it's a 3.99 saving so if you haven't tried it before or you know someone who likes crochet because they all come packaged in these lovely cotton bags it's a really nice um gift to give someone isn't it nice little yeah, gift right now i've got to find the fox because that one is because that one is um Mickey's favourite. Oh, Poppy. There we are. I've got the fox. So still staying on the um, tapestry crochet theme. Foxy fox. He's lovely. You've got those little bits. So he's nice. Now the background for this is a really pretty, like, uh, well, it's called silver. I was going to say it's a really pale grey, but it's almost like a bluey grey. But isn't he lovely? So again be really lovely be not, I mean you could put that in your living room put it on the bed really good for children it's very sweet well Nikki you need to make it yeah so Nikki said her daughter would love that because she's into foxes actually so is mine well you need to make it and you get the two buttons so it was 99 19.99 but now fifth four pound saving four pound saving 15.99 and it's really worth, it's also quite good because with tapestry crochet, if you go wrong on one row, you see immediately that you've got wrong. So you just undo it. It's very simple. It's not, it's kind of easier. When you undo knitting, you've got to get all the stitches off you needed. But if you go wrong on one row, you see that his tail's looking a bit wonky. So it's quite easy. You just undo a few and start again. So you kind of learn yourself if you're not sure about when to colour change. Although I have to say Sam's instructions are really good. But if you're not sure, it's so, it's so easy to see when you've gone wrong. But it's a lovely thing to do it's nice because it's you you have to sort of follow the chart and really think about it so it doesn't get boring at all which sometimes these things do don't they um a okay, chicken and the sheep right i found the sheep and there's the chicken let's do sheep i love the sheep yeah i love the sheep you got a picture of the sheep look He's lovely, isn't he? So he's um, he's skipping on a lovely, I love the yarn for the background. It's called parsley. Parsley. He's skipping on the parsley. And what I like about this is that Sam is very carefully because you only need a little bit of yellow because there are flowers here and there. I guess they're buttercups. You need a tiny little bit of green for the flower in the sheep's mouth and a little bit of black. So rather than charge you, for all of the, you know, like a 50 gram ball. She's wound these little balls herself 
so you've just got a little amount because otherwise you'd have you know the kit price would be more to be able to put it all in so that's really nice um now it was 19.99 but today and today only it's 15.99 fantastic four pound saving if you would like to have the sheep cushion and finally in the tapestry cushion department we have chickens sam's got her own chickens lots of chickens so um i think this was based on her chickens so have we got oh look there's the chicken he again the chickens on the parsley background was 99 1999 but now 15.99 and the chicken is um crocheted in ferret what a great name i bet a chicken would not want to be crocheted in a ferret but that's the name of that one um and white and then you've got a little bit of orange for the beak and the feet and also a little bit of red for the comb so she's put extra yarn in so that you've got the orange for the feet and the red for the comb and the tiny bit of black for the eye and those little touches I think are really important obviously you do get the two buttons for the cushion back so this is 15.99 save yourself four pounds okay Right, let's whiz through what we've got left. Should we do um, me Daisy Meadow Bag? Daisy Meadow Bag. Let me open this one. So if you fancy, oh, sorry, it, um, it's 6.04. So if you fancy crocheting a bag, this is brilliant because it even comes with the sticks. I'm going to, oh, they, these are great because they really do come with everything. I shouldn't have poured it all out. I'm not going to get every single one of them out. Right, so in this kit, I love these bags. Right, so these were 30, 30 pounds and 99 pence. They are amazing value for money. I'm going to go through the kit to show you what you get. Save six pound 19, they're 24.79. Now a lot of you um, bought these originally to use for, you know, work, working craft bags to put your current sort of knitting project in but then I saw loads of you had put pictures online you use them for all sorts of things really good for storing things for taking out people use them as their they use them yeah of um use them for picnics and they're lovely so in the kit now we've got a few different colors I'm not going to show you one I'm going to go through this one this is the vintage rose colorway so you get the background colour of the vintage rose, you get the colour for the daisies, which is, you get 100 grams of avocado. Now this is all acrylic yarn, but it's really good quality, soft acrylic yarn. So fine for anyone who has allergies to wool or anything, but it's very soft. It's not rubbishy one, it's a nice yarn. And you get white, then you get the yellow yarn for the centre of the daisies, and you get the black yarn because the pattern, can you see in the picture, there's a little bee a little bee and a daisy so in the um, instructions you've got the yarn for the bee you've got the stuffing see this little bag that's the stuffing for the bee you've got in this little bag you've got the key ring I'll pour it out then I won't have to go through all the others just to show you what amazing value at 24.79 you've got the magnetic clasp you've got the key ring and the lobster clasp and if I just can you see those you've got two little bees eyes gorgeous isn't it and that is all in the kit and you know and I think that's great because it's not just the components it's the time it takes to source them and pack them can you imagine packing all these little eyes wonderful and more importantly you get the two pieces of dowel that are used for the handles. Now, to be able to source, and I know Sam told me her husband cut all of these himself, but he was going mad. So it's beautiful bag. It's really nice. You know, you just hold the handles and then you've got the, the rest of the bag like that. But loads of people, I've seen lots of you use it for different things. I think now is the time to get it. 24.79. Obviously, very, very clear, easy to read instructions, easy to understand. Again, made from a granny square and then turned into the bag afterwards. You can line it or not line it up to you but let me just show you all of the information is in here about how to line it if you want to so that's that colorway and I'm not going to get the others out let's just talk about them so I've got the daisy meadow bag in forget me not 
Okay, well, we'll show you, see the picture of that one. That's in Forget Me Not. So the background colour, I mean, the, the whole thing is exactly the same except for the background colour. And the background colour for this one is a denim blue. So again, reduced from 30.99 to 24.79. So the other one was like a rosy pink. And then this one is a denim -y blue. That's the background. Other than that, all the other components are the same. Um, the last one is here. Poppy. No, we've just done vintage rose. Poppy. And Poppy, amazingly, has a bright red background. So you get the, exactly the same things. You get the pattern and the components to make the bee and the daisy key ring. You get all the um, metal components. You get the wooden handles. You get the pattern, 2479. And then the background color of this is a lovely cranberry shade. So what a lovely, lovely thing to make. Really good for this time of year, actually. Really nice to take out with you on picnic. It's, really, it's the sort of thing, you remember you used to see people kept their knitting inside it. But actually, when you go in the shops, you see these sort of bags, quite a cool thing to carry around. Be good to fit your laptop in, actually. Everybody loves a bit of crochet. Right, should we just... Um, Oh, let's just, shall we just do um, the West Yorkshire Spinner Zandra Rhodes book? It's quite fancy. I absolutely love this book. We didn't manage to get Zandra Rhodes on air, but we did manage to get um, a life-size cutout, cardboard cutout of her, who I stood next to. Um, she designed this collection exclusively for West Yorkshire Spinners. She also designed and chose her own yarn for her patterns. But let me just show you the patterns in here. So the full price of this is £16.95. There's a lot of information on Zandra herself. New price today, but today only, is £13.56. £3.40 saving. So look at the patterns you get in here. They're just delicious, aren't they? Um, you get a striped jumper. Ooh, let me move over. And it's lovely because she's kept it sort of reasonably safe with a nice cow neck and a grey and then gone mad on the sleeves. Um, the rib striped jumper. I love this one with the puff sleeves. So 80s, isn't it? And that's all back in fashion now. She's got the one with the striped puff sleeves, um, a cardigan, poncho. Um, the rainbow scarf, massively popular, and the striped scarf. And then she's got smaller things. So if you want a Zandra Rhodes hat, there we are, or a shawl. And she's even got socks. So she's got ankle socks, long socks, and of course, she's got knee-high socks with flowers. All of the patterns are in here. £13.56. Isn't that fab? Absolutely love that. Um, the majority of it uses double knit yarn. A couple of the socks use a four ply. So again, you know, once you get this home, you can use your own yarn for it. The patterns are gorgeous and they really work, but have a little bit of Zandra colour in your life. We'll do one more pattern book because we've only got two minutes left. Um, we'll just go through the Fleece Family Collection. Again, this is a West Yorkshire Spinners pattern book. 13 hand knit designs all using this natural undyed yarn, beautiful blue face Leicester this is. Some of it is double knit, some of it is Aran. Let me just quickly turn to the page. So this was 14.95 and in here you are getting patterns for the Fair Isle. 11.96 for the Fair Isle yoke cardigan, the ladies, how much? Three, three pound, three pound saving. Um, you've got a coatigan, a crop sleeve jumper, another jumper, a cardigan. You've got accessories, you've even got men's jumpers and scarves, and then you've got children's jumpers, cardigans, hats, hoodies. It's all in there. Loads. Anyway, look at those savings today. Amazing. Thank you for joining me today on Yarnline. It's been great. Tomorrow on Sewing Street, we have got Vix presenting, I think. Um, eight o'clock is Fabulous Fabrics, a whole hour of those. Uh, nine o'clock, Wendy Orlando is on air with the guide to quilt as you go. That will be great because her shows are always fab. Ten o'clock, it's all about the quilting tools. Eleven o'clock, it's Pandemonium of Parrots Fabric with Wendy. And it's twelve o'clock, it's Monday, it's Yarn Lane. Wendy is back on at twelve o'clock with her granny stitch cushion. So thank you for joining me on Yarn Lane and Sewing Street today. It's been a pleasure and I will see you, I will be back on air on Tuesday just for an hour's show and I will see you back here next Monday. But thank you for joining me today.
In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! <laughs>